What's up, everybody? I'm a little bit late today. Because, uh... Sleeping... Sleeping late today. More like I was working all night, and then I went to bed late. <laughs> but it counts. Alright, we good to go here? I think so. Get my, uh... Thing working here. Excited to try out Magic Archer today. I have to get to it, though. I am, uh... A little far off. Somebody was making a thumbnail last night. It took me a long time. <laughs> my fighter thumbnail took me forever to get that right picture. What's up, Endless? First time being early to Sheen stream? Nice, dude. What's up? What's up, Christopher? I'm pumped now. I love Magic Archer. Love it to death. This one's going to be a tough one. This one's going to be a tough one. There's a lot of really, really good skills. Also, a couple I haven't tried, so that's exciting. Very, very exciting. The tough one to test is Martyr's Bolt, because everything dies too fast. You know what I just thought of, by the way? I was wondering. I wonder if I can one-shot the, um, the Sphinx. I, don't, I think she's attackable at the current time. Where I'm at in the game. I assume I probably can. That'd be kind of cool. Just to see. Um, I got the best bow in the game. So I got that. I don't know if I have good armor, though. I can't remember what I had for the class. It's been a while since I've played Magic Archer. I can manage both roles myself. All right, Magic Archer. Frost Hunter? This is the Bolts of Ice. So this is the first one. This one is good. And I think it free yeah, it could freeze pretty well. Uh it's just not it doesn't hit that hard. But you got to keep using it and then it'll do a bunch of damage. I think I like the other ice one better, though. Alright, Frost Hunter Bolt we're going to put on the left here. Condescent Orb is, I think, only usable at night. It's good against Undead. So I'll go to the Misty Forest and, and test that one. Condescent Orb. Then we've got, let's see, we'll put that one on top. Ricochet Hunter, which is awesome. I, mean, I love Ricochet Hunter. Need some caves for that one. The, uh, the turret ability. Ricochet Hunter we're going to put on the right. And then Saporphic Bolt. This one I think is the sleep. Yes, okay, it should apply sleep to the enemy. Saporific Bolt, I think it is. Alright, so we're going to use this one on... I heard it was good on Medusa, so we'll try that as well. I actually don't have too many of the good ones right now. Blaze Fang and Arctic Bolt are two of my favorites, with Sagittate, obviously. And then there's a couple down here I haven't tried. Alright, so for Augments, let's see... I don't even have this one. There's the amount of time taken for Fallen Pawns to revive. Hmm, okay. All the Magic Archer ones are pretty bad, though. Increase the likelihood of being targeted. Increase the damage dealt by your attacks when targets are not in battle stands. Increase stamina. I have endurance on. Increase damage taken into vitals. Always have late. I, lethality should never leave your freaking slots. Um, let's see. There's a major one I need. Augments your stamina recovery speed, that one. We'll do... Instead of that one right there. I think that's all I need. Let me double check. What was zeal? Reduces stamina consumed. Yeah, this is a pretty good but setup. I think. Me. Did you need something? Always a pleasure. All right, so let me figure out what I have in my inventory. I've got four weapons I can't use. 
Ah, remove these. There we go. I get so few customers, you see. How exactly do you unlock Magic Archer in DD2? Is it unlocked by default? Uh, so Magic Archer is actually at the end of the game. If you may, well, you don't have to get it at the end of the game. You can get it early too, but you have to get to the end area. There's a dwarf that's just kind of on the path, and you have to speak to him and do his quest, basically. It's actually a pretty decent quest. We help him and his elf wife. They're, uh, trying to, he, he has a bad back, basically, so you need to walk him to and from some of the places. It really is one of the better quests, in my opinion. Just because you get to know the people, it feels more personal. I don't know what rings you're going to run, though. I don't think Stagger really is that important for this run. Alright, where is my magic bow? I only have a couple of them. I have the magic crutch, which I think is the first one you get. I got this one. It was in a chest. And then this should be the best one. Which it is. I have high knockdown power. I have 592. I think I did Dwarven on that. No, I did Elven and then Dwarven. All right, Magic Archer does have an armor set. Let me figure out what it is. Uh, let's see. I think it has an armor set, doesn't it? I could have swore it did. I might have to go buy an armor set. Okay, we could wear this. This looks pretty good, actually. I don't have a helmet. Oh, I have the hood. Yeah, I was using the hood. I don't really have a good armor set for Magic Archer, I don't think. Ooh, that I do have. And I think this one works. The Dapper, maybe? Yeah, Dapper should be the one I... Oh, no, here we go. Forest Greaves. Those look really good, actually. All right, rings. What's up, the Hitman? How's it going, bro? So you could run straight forward off the bat? I think you could. I think you could. As long as you get around enemies, yeah. Damage dealt when attacking foes from behind. That could actually be good with Magic Archer, because he has some weird stuff like that. Slightly reduces time taken to incant spells. Does that count for Magic Archer? Maybe? I don't think that's super important. Some damage ring, or damage negation rings. Increase likelihood of being targeted by foes. What about stamina? I could just increase stamina. Slightly boost maximum health. That could be good for later. Moderately boost stamina. Let's just do stamina. I, I don't I don't see any reason to really run too many rings. Do come again. What do you think will be the best skill aside from the Meister? Uh Ricochet. Yeah, it's the which one is it? It's the one that like summons up a bunch of balls, lightning balls, and then it sends it at the enemy. I can't remember the name of it off the top of my head. I actually think I can look in here. I just said it, but I can't remember it for some reason. Here at the, I, guess I can so check few here. Customers, you see. I'm pretty sure I'm that is the strongest other myself, than that one. But enough about me. Ah, Sagittate Avalanche, I believe, is the strongest magic archer skill in the game. I, I think just raw damage output of it is pretty high. Pleasure. Yeah, Sagittate, right? Thanks, guys. I couldn't remember it for some reason. Um, There's my bow. Oh, you can't equip both at the same... But you can, but it takes it off. That's super lame. We'll run like that. Oh my word, Magic Archer's freaking ugly. Okay, I'm incredibly disappointed. We gotta go buy armor. That looks so stupid. Oh my word. Alright. That's a... Uh, that's a thing. Was not aware that was going to be an issue today. Ah. Got to find the right fashion for the day. It's very important. We all know that. This guy sells blighted okay. arrows too. Always a pleasure. We'll go to Batal, I guess. I think they have the best armor. Can't be running around in this. I know that much. It looks terrible. <laughs> he said four out of ten with the fashion. <laughs> It looks horrible, doesn't it? It looks so bad. I think Arctic Bolt's underrated. Uh, I think so, too. I think it's one of the best abilities, actually. 
having no daggers like in DD one's a turn off for me. It is it is an adjustment, that's for sure. It's an adjustment for sure. This it's these arm flaps, dude. You can't give a class these arm flaps. They look so stupid. I don't even know why they're in the game. There's a couple arm sets with them. Actually, this guy doesn't have armor, does he? Get the wrong guy. Where's the armor guy? He's down here. I mean, you literally can't walk around like this. Like, you actually, your class is a 0 out of 10 if you have to walk around like this. It doesn't even matter what they do. Like, we can end the stream right now. That's how bad the, the fashion is. All right, let's see. I can wear these. Ooh, now I look super, um, let's just say stylish. The Griffin Feather Hood. Okay, I can work with that. The Midnight Turban. Going for the the Griffin Feather Hood. I like it. Don't you dare. There should be more Griffin stuff, I think. There's a noble jacket. Looks pretty dumb. Valkyrie and nope. I don't like any of this. Magic Archer has no freaking armor, dude. They have one armor set. That's upsetting. Oh no, here we go. That one doesn't look horrible. It's got like a mini little cape on. Nope, has a stupid arm things. Arm things. Arm things. Arm things. You gotta be joking right now. They gave every armor set in the game those awful little arm things. How about we wear the noble jacket? It actually kind of... Kind of works. It's not great. It's pretty terrible actually, but it, it'll do better than that ugly looking... Yeah, it's the best we got guys. I don't know what to tell you. What about a cape? Can we fix it with a cape? Maybe. Oh, hey, you can wear a dog. Nope. This doesn't look too bad. The worm ring cape? Nope. Sentinel shoulder cape? Does that look good? Maybe? Man, there's like nothing here, dude. This kind of covers up the ugliness of my chest plate. Maybe I'll wear this one. He said, wacky, waving, inflatable arm. Yeah, I, I don't understand that at all. It makes no sense. There's too many of them. This one doesn't look too bad from the front. Ah, this is a tough one, dude. This doesn't... I, I just don't like how bulky this makes me look. This one might be okay. Oh, my word. This class is the worst fashion, dude. Like, it's actually just terrible. I'm going to go with this one. Ah, I, this is the last hope I have, dude. I look so ugly. Like, compare this to fighter's fashion? This is embarrassing. Alright, I gotta reset the world. This is sad. What's up, Mustane? Sentinel cape keeps your right arm open, which kind of makes sense since your right arm is drawing arm. Yeah, that, that does make sense. There was two of them that did that, too. MA should be able to fly and <laughs> flap their wings with those ugly arm flaps. Dude, seriously. Like, you, how, what is the justification for putting those in? I don't know. Elvin's probably the best looking. Does Elvin... Do they only sh sell their stuff over there? I might have to go over there. Because what I'm seeing ain't great, dude. It is really not. I'd like the griffin looking hood though. The problem is the griffin chest plate, which there is one, is not tied to Magic Archer. It's in a different class. Fighter has the best fashion, followed by Warrior. The Warrior have good fashion. I think actually Archer has the second best fashion. But only from one armor set. I really like that end game armor set that he gets. Sorcerer fashion is pretty much just wear hat. Wear magic hat and then you fit in. That's about it. It's not very... It's not very unique. I'm I'm dumbfounded, though. I never really looked at the armor until then. That was really terrible for Magic Archer. That was embarrassing, actually. Should I get the blue grouse feather cape? That goes well with the hood, for sure. Oh, where's that one at, Soup? Do you know? I'll, I'll go grab it. Elvin has that arm thing. Oh, I can't wear it then. Six shot. I refuse. I refuse to wear that. I just do. I'm not gonna. So on the ranking list for the uh, classes, Magic Archer is a zero. Sorry. 
<laughs> Who cares about power if you're freaking ugly, bro? Honestly, I, I would be down to play Warfare as a Magic Archer just to get rid of that fashion. That's pretty terrible. You don't even really need Martyr's Bolt anyway. That's crazy, dude. They really do need to up some of the armor options in the game. Warrior does have that really nice uh, chest plate that has the little spikes on it. And then he's got the Cyclops helmet. Those are both really, really good looking. I like those a lot. What's another one? Thief. Thief has some okay fashion. I mean, you can actually look like a thief. So. Like a ninja almost. I, I ne never hated Thief. He had some pretty decent armor sets. There were a couple that I really thought were stupid, but there were other ones that looked really good. What's another one? Trickster? Bro, don't even get me started on Trickster armor. Did they even try? Were they trying to make you hate that class with the armor? It has a good helmet. That's it. It has a really barbaric looking helmet, and that's it. I feel like the only time I use martyrs is when I'm near a campsite. Yeah, yeah, I do that too. If I'm near a campsite, I go, hey, you know what? I have a one shot available. Game should have been co-op. Would have had a lot more staying power. Hey, it would have been really fun with co-op. He said, no, they weren't trying with Trickster. Clearly, I actually think it's unfinished. The more we talk about it, I, I actually think they just uh, they didn't finish it. I think they had to rush the game out before they could finish Trickster. Remember we were talking about the other day, we were at the end of the stream, we are like, oh, there's only eight abilities. And I'm like, wait a minute, what? Clearly, it's unfinished. There's no way it's not. I got a... What, two more days, and then we're good? We'll go get our pawns, we'll get out of here. I need to set up my pawn. Is she gonna be a fighter? She'll, she'll need to be a fighter for the day. An aggressive melee fist-only fighter. There we go, got it. Would have loved Trickster if I could use it on a pawn instead, yeah. I do think, I do think, listen, I'm I'm not for, I'm not one of these guys that's gonna be like, a okay, game should have had co-op, it, it must have had co-op. Because I played the first one and I understand what they're going for. You know, you got all the pawns and everything. But I do think it would have been a really cool opportunity. And I would have loved to have it. Because imagine just you your, you and your pawn and then your buddy and their pawn. And then you're just like making partying. Getting parties together. Going on big monster raids and stuff like that. That'd be so sick. That'd be so much fun. Obviously the game the way it is now would be a little too easy, but... Dude, that would be so much fun. If they had, like, a dungeon area where you just ran through and killed monsters, like BBI. The Graceful Tunic in Sacred Arbor doesn't have the arm things either. So I need to go to Sacred Arbor, basically. What's up, Keymaster? Alright, we got one more day and then we're good. Some dude the other day was saying, he goes... What'd he say? He said, Trickster is not support. It's a tank. Because he was saying, like, you could use the, the summoned ghost thing as, like, a tank. Yeah, I still think it's... I still don't actually agree with that. It's still support. It's not really a tank. You know what I mean? Like, it is, but it's not... And, like, you're a tank support. How about that? You're still support, mainly. I guess... I, the argument is fair, though. The argument's fair. They completed the Sphinx quest. I have I started it. I never completed it though. I got halfway through and then failed it. It's awesome. And then I haven't even started it at all in this in this world. I may end up just going and killing her because if I can with Martyr's Bolt, I think that'd be funny. Fighter tank right, and everything else, dude. Fighter's so good. Fighter's so good as a tank. I freaking love fighter. After, especially after the video, after me going through the footage and everything. Oh my word, fighter's so good. Alright, friends, pawns. Titan is the only one above 100. All my other friends are at like 50. 45, 25. It's weird how thieves are the best tanks in a way. Yeah, yeah somehow. 
Uh, where is my paw at? Where is she? There she is, Grace. Come here, you. Hey, okay, so Titan baby. changed her. Just he modified changed. her a bit. She now has the... Oh, no. I haven't slept, so I guess it has... No, I did sleep. I guess he changed it back. Type the palladium again. I'm well glad to be... He told me he changed it to the other one, but I guess it didn't change for me or whatever. Oh, yeah, has a lot of scars on her. Why? Peruse at your always a pleasure. Okay, so no we gotta go get her some armor. I just hope the shopkeep understands. Gold is and then we'll go through the back. Take a roundabout up towards the elvish area, maybe, and then we'll go up to the misty area so I could test the condescent orb. Condescent orb is actually pretty darn good, but only in its specific uses. The problem is you're not going to use it a lot because it really is made for undead. Like, you're really not fighting undead on a regular basis. Like, they're there, but at least I'm not walking around at night all the time. Okay, what was I doing? Oh yes, armor for Oleo. Withdraw my coolest armor set in the entire game. And shield. Honestly, the best armor. I don't know why Fighter got the best armor. I'm down for it, but it makes no sense. Here we go. It really does look really cool. Okay, which one of these is better? This one? Alright, OEL, you are raring to go, lady. And she's got the stamina and health rings. Sweet. Here we go, boys. Let's go test some magic archer, huh? Ow. Fall damage in this game. I feel like I'm playing Dark Souls 3. I tripped. I died. Don't hate on a sub level 50s. No, no, no. I, I wasn't hate on the sub level 50s. I just think it's funny because me and Titaner are the only two that are like way up there, and I use his pawn all the time. I just thought it's funny because I'm I use his pawn regularly. It's like if I use someone else's pawn, I'd use theirs too. But he he's the one I picked. Really wish Fighter was a bit less mundane. I understand people feeling that way. I really do. But for me personally, I I love his skill sets. I think they they flow really well together. That one's going to be split 50-50. You're either going to love the way that they comboed the skills to where you can move in and out of them, or you're just not going to really enjoy it. Especially after playing Mystic Spearhand. Like, if you like Mystic Spearhand a lot, you're not going to like Fighter as much. See, I don't like Mystic Spearhand as much as Fighter. I like Fighter better. I like both, but I think Fighter is my preferred. They fit a similar role, too. Alright, what do we want to do here? Frost Orb? What do I have it on right now? Pinpoint? Do I want it on Pinpoint? No, I want to rivet it. Dang, I don't remember this one being that strong. Holy cow. What's up, Preston? Smith Grace arrested or rehire? Changed her yesterday? Okay, I'll, I'll do it here in a bit when I come back. This should be good for harpies, I think, because it chases him. Yeah, that's really good for harpies, dude. So is everything from this class, but still! Be nice if the Shubjugator helm let you wear a mask under it, because it looks terrible in cutscenes when you kind of see your face. You know what is funny, though? There's armor sets that are like that, and I just don't understand why, because there's a really cool, like, handkerchief mask in the game, and a lot of armor sets can't make use of it. It's like, why? I'll tell you what, though. Frost Hunter are doing pretty good right now. I remember it being a little underwhelming on bosses, so I need to test it a little bit more on there. I feel like it's better now. 
because I figured out how to use it. Before, I was just, like, shooting one or as many bolts at a time. You really just need to spam it, and then it destroys whatever you're fighting. I'm gonna get a griffin, maybe? Nah, no griffin. No griffin. I know of at least one location in the vicinity. Actually, don't like MS. Is having a hard time understanding how to fight large monsters. Ah, I see. Mystic Spearhand is, uh, it's unique. That, that's really what it is. It's a unique class. It's very different from anything else you're going to be playing. The big monsters are a different, they're a whole different breed. You really do have to treat them like there's something else on that class. Like, a lot of classes would climb and do stuff like that. You don't climb with that class. Instead, what you do is you... You, like, use your jumps to get on top of their head, and then you start spinning your twin... A lot of the, the best abilities for that class is just literally the melee twin blade. Things really good. I bet you sit still for a second, huh? Ouch. They did not take my advice to heart. I'm not sitting still. This only stack up two times. I can't get it to do much else than that. There we go. Oh, by the way. Uh, so, I, I... Obviously, I make a video on the classes after I get done, for those who don't know. And I was going through the fighter footage, and you have no idea how different the fighter footage was than any of the other classes. The other classes really were not that hard to get, like, to sift through. But because fighter combos his skills so often, it was really hard for me to figure out what skill I was using and when. <laughs> because I'd use, like, four in a row, and I'm like, what am I using in this footage, dude? Which skill is this, man? I can't tell. I'm using like four in a row. Because I'd use burst strike and then I'd immediately switch into something else and I'm like, well, that doesn't count as burst strike, does it? You know, it's still kind of weird though that they didn't give magic art or any way to avoid damage at all. Like literally zero ways to. Initial thoughts on the new R2 DLC archetype? It looks really good. I think they did a good job trying to focus it on build customization because you can automatically pair that with every class easily started with thief so transitioning to fighter felt kind of bad that is very understandable actually see i started with fighter which actually explains a lot about why i like it so much the trailer i was in love with uh, msh but fighter was my main in the first game warrior is amazing in this one See, I didn't care for Fighter in the first one. That's the crazy thing. Didn't like it at all. But I really love it in this one. I gotta get back out here. Oh, yeah, look at that. It's destroying him. Because it just hits over and over. Magic Arch is kind of weird because your class doesn't have a lot of stagger, but at the same time... It has infinite stagger. Because of stuff like this, where you're just infinitely hitting the enemy. Also seems to freeze without actually having the monster be wet, which is weird and kind of overpowered. Wow. I don't remember it being that good. But okay. Ungabunga does feel amazing in this game. Yeah, Warrior is sick, dude. Can't go wrong with Warrior, that's for sure. This one felt a little underwhelming early game. Right now it's feeling incredibly strong. But again, I did learn how to use it, so that has something to do with that. Which 
just hit so many times over. Oh, this stuff must be weak to ice. They're dying in like two hits, dude. Oh, you know what the power of this is? Constant attacks is going to keep enemies from hitting you at all. You're never going to get attacked. Like, look at that. Oh, that's kind of crazy. We ought to retreat, then. Especially with the extra stamina rings I picked up. I'm just going to delete everything in the game. Wow, dude, this is crazy. I think there's a golem up here, though. That'll be trouble. If I remember, I think Frost Hunter Bolt hits golems. I'm not sure. Rather just stick with fighter. Have my ring that increases my strength after a successful deflect. That thing, that is a really good ring, though. They should have more rings that are actually effective like that. The ring variety is kind of lame until you actually try to put together something very specific. Which is fine, is I guess. It's not that big a deal. If you really look for it, you can find a build, so... Okay, it does not, but it looks like it might eventually freeze. It's kind of funny. I can't deal any damage with it, but it's attacking so much. I'm not sure if I froze it or not. I can't tell. It got broken. Whatever it is. What about Ricochet Hunter? Do you think that does physical damage? That's pure magic is what it looks like. Condescent Orb. Yeah, I don't think I have anything that can kill a column. The ice ability. I think the other ice block ability might actually do it. Warrior is so much fun considering his first ability is arguably his best. Yeah, exactly. Use my little knife. Actually, does zero damage, though. That's wild. I'm gonna let her do it, because she actually can kill stuff. Or you know what we're gonna do? It's called a tactical retreat. That's interesting. I just took it too far away and it automatically... Killed the orb. Goodness. Huh. That's kind of neat. We're higher up than I thought. Ice block is cool. Ice block might actually be one of my favorites just because of how neat it is, dude. It's so interesting. You just be create a chunk of glacier and just send it at your enemy. Like, what a neat idea. That kind of personifies what I feel like archer sh or magic archer should be. Just doing weird and wacky things with magic and just launching it. This is really good for harpies, by the way. The problem is regular abilities on this class are good against harpies, so it's not really a selling point for me. It's not a specific reason to use it. Although it is good. Looks like it tries to hit everything in a group even if you didn't aim at it. Then it really does freeze for some reason. It's so weird. That might actually be one of the best abilities just because of that. Freeze is incredibly powerful. <laughs> what the heck? This is wild. Okay, we're in a cave now, so we're gonna use Ricochet Hunter. Kid destroyed, bro. Yeah, you absolutely delete in a cave with this one.
That's absurd. It's so cool. They're already dead. <laughs> Arctic Blast knockdown power is pretty insane sometimes. I hit a Medusa one time with it one time. Just a single shot. She got knocked over immediately. It was the craziest thing ever. And everything in the cave dies. Because it's the coolest ability of all time. It might actually be better than it was in the first game. I'm not sure. Both versions are very strong. This makes me want to go play Magic Archer for the first game, dude. I'm not even joking. Magic Archer in the first game was so awesome. I loved it. My six-fold bolt, I would use that all day. All freaking day, bro. There's some cooler abilities in this one, though. Like, I think the power of the first Magic Archer is better, but there's some cooler abilities that you could just, like... Like, the flame arrow is pretty fun, in my opinion. That kind of worked. It didn't actually lock on that well. Magic Archer next for skills ranked. Uh, actually, it's going to be Archer because we already recorded that on Thursday. Um, but then it'll be Magic Archer. I've just recorded. I found a treasure chest near there during my travels beyond the rift. We're working on the footage right now for the Magic Archer. Archer is already done, ready to go. Just got to do everything other than footage. Oh, no, we already ranked Archer, actually. We already have it set up. I just have to make the video. I forgot we ranked it together on... on Thursday. I shan't allow any further harm to come to you. Alright, you ready? We're gonna test this against the dragon. It should be its optimal opponent, I would assume. BBI is so easy with it. Oh, I know, dude. Ricochet Hunter against BBI is just hilarious. It's, it's one of the funniest things in the game. Where you going, buddy? Where is he going? One other thing. I do believe our party would stand to benefit from the addition of sorcery. Allow me. This bow shall fall by my hand. I kind of like that they walk around. Because it's pretty cool immersion-wise. But I don't know where this one's going. I've never seen him walk this far. Hey, Ding Dom, I'm over, I'm over here, bud. Come on. Alright, you ready? Here we go. Oh, is there a griffin, too? Oh, my word. That is kind of broken. Well, this is really good. I don't know if I needed to explain that to you. It freezes. Without me doing anything, it freezes. That makes no sense. It's way too strong. Maybe that's why they gave it no way to avoid damage, because they're like, you're going to output so much damage, you should just kill the thing, or feel punished. Hey, bud. How you doing? Just try and give me some stamina. Don't worry about me. I think that was a fight. I'm not really sure. I'm not really sure. It seemed like it probably was. <laughs> What's up, Carlos? Do you have the augment that increases debilitation buildup? No, I don't. That's the crazy thing. <laughs> and it's already doing this good, dude. It's already doing this good. I don't even have that augment on. Imagine if I did. Oh, 
Charge left of bomb. That's wild, man. I can't believe that. Yeah, so Frost Hunter really is just a spam. It, you got to get as many of them out as possible, and then they start to stack up really well. If there's only a few on the field, they really can't do enough. So the problem is, the first time I tried to use it, I was trying to... I was trying to send it out and then switch to a different skill. So I could get, you know, more magic on the field. And what you want to do is just spam this one. That's it. Just keep sending it out as much as possible. Because I don't think they go away. They do after a while, but I think I don't think there's like a limit to how many you can have on the field. This doesn't look like it. The dragon was walking away for <clears throat> dragon was walking away for a reason. Yeah, he was. He didn't want to get roasted like that, dude. Absolutely destroyed. This is going to be a hard one, too. I, Archer was hard because a lot of his abilities were... were good, but kind of fit the same role. I think this is going to have the opposite, where, like, they're all good, but they all are just ridiculously powerful. Basically meaning that no matter what you use on this class, it's probably going to be super good. Sometimes there's a second dragon. I was kind of trying to see if he was there. If not, I have the Chimera I can fight too. Yeah, but look at the range. The the damage, I understand. Like, I look at how much damage I can do. But it's on top of that, I have infinite range. Like, what? I can hit from so far away. That's crazy. All right, I don't see anything over there. We'll double check and see if there's a Minotaur on my right. Uh, and then we'll turn around, probably. Oh, by the way, guys. So, <laughs> I didn't get any footage of this. It would have been cool, though. The other day, I was trying to make that fighter thumbnail, right? And I, I was like... I had some ideas, I uh, just couldn't quite get what I wanted, and so it took me quite a while to do. And I ended up finding a griffin, right? And I'm like, you know what? This would be a cool shot if I got myself, like, climbing up on the griffin, stabbing his head or something. And so I tried. And three different times I had to restart because the griffin would take off while I was on him, and then i just fly around on top of the griffin. So then I'm like, okay, well, this is a better idea. Let me get a shot of me riding the griffin. So I tried that a couple of times. And every time I moved to get a good angle, he threw me off and I died from fall damage. It was quite funny. I spent like an hour dying to this griffin as it flew away. Trying not to die to fall damage. I've just had a thought. Can I hit him from up here? Favorite skill so far? Uh, I haven't gotten too far into it, so I'm not sure. Sagittate's probably the best one, though. I'm not sure if I should charge it up or what. Probably. The amount of times it hits just is stupid for stagger. I want to point out I do not have the stagger rings on. I could get an extra 200 knockdown power easily. In another world, I learned that if I just don't need it. Shall I escort you there, master? Because there's essentially two ways to stagger. There's do so much impact in a single hit that you knock them down. Or you do so much repeated damage that their stagger bar can't refill. Or what? I don't know how the stagger bar works that they have because it doesn't show. But it clearly works the more times you hit. So weirdly enough, two, the classes that should not stagger 
those being the fast attacking ones are often the ones that stagger first. Like Thief, you wouldn't think Thief would stagger because it's daggers. You're, you're hitting with very low damage. But you're hitting so often, especially if you're getting up there in Scarlet Kissing, that you're just going to spam their head and they're going to stagger quickly. Or Skull Splitter. Skull Splitter actually, weirdly enough, ends up being good stagger. It's funny how that works. I should probably sleep so I can see the enemy. Slept your gangster. How's it going, bro? I think it's this bridge right here. Yeah, we'll sleep on the... Yeah, the middle part, and then I'll go up after that. This is generally used as a material. Watch this. I'm sure we'll find a purpose for it in due time. See ya. You're lucky you survived. You actually probably don't even need pawns, dude. That's how strong this is. How long did it take you to reach level 100? I must thank you. Your toil keeps me light on my feet. How many hours do I have in the game? 180, I think? I don't know. I think I have over 200. Problem is, not I'll, some of it's spent making... Like, getting good shots. It's not all playtime. It's probably about 120 hours you could do it in. Maybe like 130. I don't remember exactly. I think I have a oh, close to 200 hours in the game on Steam. Ooh. Got a really good one right here. Oh, I paused it. My bad. I pushed the wrong button. Whoops. Like a feast to get you ready for bed. Not the right button. I'm trying to figure out how you would ever reach level 999, dude. There's just no way. That'd be so many hours. I thought he was about to come back to life. He wanted a round two. There was a griffin here, so it's possible he's in his nest? Maybe? I can go check. Let us trust in ourselves and proceed with caution. This class is just running to and from monster fights and deleting them instantly. I don't think monster fights will last more than a minute for the most part. How long did the dragon fight last? Does anyone know? It's probably a little over a minute. That is a dragon, though. Hope they release an update where you can have multiple characters or saves. Yeah. Well, the thing is, they didn't do that with the first one either. And I think it has to do with the pawns. They don't want you to add more saves so you don't have more pawns on the server. You can't use your own pawn. But at the same time, I feel like there's probably a way to restrict that. One can see uh, it's likely we'll never get that, but I, I do think it was it would be nice. The first game, I, I wanted it too, just because it's annoying to have a nice full character that has everything and then restart, and then you just don't have access to any of that stuff in case you want it. I'm just going to launch this in this cave. You ready? That did not work at all. I think it did kill him, but I missed like every shot. If you go in a cave at all, you have the easy win button. Any indoor space, just delete the entire game. How many NG plus cycles have you done? Uh, two. That was a fight. I think. Imagine your archer's actually dumb, though. I'll collect that. You needn't trouble yourself. 
like, it doesn't matter what I use. It's just good. No matter what I use, it breaks the game. What's Sporfic Bolt do? I don't even know. Oh, it's a charge up. Cool. Nifty. Should I use that before every fight? I, I don't know how sleep works in the game. Are there certain enemies that are immune to it? I don't know. I cannot imagine new discoveries away. I assume there's probably a couple that take less sleep. Alright. Let's go see if the griffin's alive. We'll go through Misty. I know for sure there's two cyclopses up here that I can get. Might be one here if I'm lucky. I doubt the griffin's here because usually you can see it if it is. You'll watch it fly down. I don't know how long it stays in the nest though. Where am I going? A common reward. Frustratingly so. I don't hate this armor anymore, by the way. I dig it. It's not the best. Like it doesn't really fit Magic Archer, that's the issue. It's like okay, but it, a magic archer said I have more of a, I don't know, a flare to it. And those stupid arm things really don't count as flare, does it? Count as just straight idiotic. You know what would be a really cool shot is if you were standing up here and you watched the griffin fly into his nest. Oh, there is a freaking cyclops. I'm gonna have them wait. Oops. Here we go again. We fight to arms. Oh no, wait, it's instant sleep. Here, an enchantment of cold to freeze our boat. Oh no, wait, it's instant sleep. No. All together now. We attack one. Strike fast and No, that breaks the game, dude. That's crazy. That's not fair. Why would you do that? One bullet? Or bolt, I guess? One shot and he's instantly put to full sleep? They must be weak to it. There's no way that works on every monster. There's no chance. He is here. That's... That's disgusting. Oh no! It's instant sleep! Why would they do that? That's so dumb! Oh, that's that's just rude, bro. You can literally put him in a fetal position instantly. Takes one of four shots on Medusa head to put it to sleep. Okay, so it's not one shot on everything. Gotcha. That was a little rude. They have to be not being attacked, though. If they're being attacked, I don't think it works. I can't see the enemy I'm fighting. Stand on top of my head. There he is. If you're able to get down there and get in a good position, you can just destroy their head. That's kind of funny. Magic Archer ain't fair, bro. Not even its weakness. Its weakness is fire. I'm using ice.
That's crazy. Have like two heads well preserved. Oh, nice. What's up, Ernie? Sleep builder probably is affected by the magic stat. Oh, good point. I didn't think about that. If you keep picking up every little trinket you find. Alright, am I gonna be able to give them this though? They might be too far away. I don't want to be having to walk around. Actually, if I go down the hill, it goes away. Alright, so here's the location we wanted to test. What is it? Condescent Orb? Because Condescent Orb is supposed to be really good against Undead. It's also, I believe, supposed to brighten up the area. We'll find out, though. Nah, she's too far. My curative magics are at your disposal. Wait right there. Here's an Undead. I'm gonna shoot him with this giant orb. I did no damage. Oh, and then he instantly died. Okay, maybe it did do maybe it was doing damage. Not quite as strong as I thought it was gonna be, but it definitely kills the undead. I thought it insta kill him, but it does brighten up the area. I wonder if I could summon multiple. I don't think I can. I think I can only summon one. Yeah, I can only summon one at a time. Okay, where's the Lich? There's a Lich here that should die to this pretty quick. Oh, but you can use it as a defensive ability, though. Place it on the ground and then stand in it. Ooh, skeletons don't seem to die to it, though. It's, it's a zombie killer. Hmm. I think just using the regular fire shot's more powerful, though. Like, it's not bad, but... I think the other one's just stronger. What's up, Geeg? Never run without Frost Hunter. DPS feels so consistent, it's insane. Yeah, it seems to just hit the enemy so many times, it's ridiculous. I'll just, like, summon it way up there, how about that? Oh, that's pretty fun. That's pretty neat. You can kind of create your own sun. Look at this. Ta-da! Does it help? Not really, but... I wonder if it's good against these guys. Oh, it insta-killed the guests. That's interesting. I don't see any advantages... To using it over just using the other fire ability though. Unless you really do want a defensive option, but it doesn't like stun or anything, it just does some damage over time. I feel like this one especially would be pretty weak early on, because it doesn't seem to do crazy damage. Undead are pretty tanky though. So maybe I'm being a bit unfair to it. They got a lot of health. Seems like the longer they're in it, maybe. Oh, they have a uh, immunity phase. Well, not an immunity. They have a resistance phase. If they're not standing up, they seem to be more resistant to it. When they're standing up, they have like crazy resistance to damage. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. I don't know. Yeah, this guy does respawn. It's alright. I wonder if the sleep works on the Lich, though. Does he have immunity? He probably does. He's a Lich, after all. Yeah, he didn't fall asleep, so I'm assuming he's immune to it, but I, I could probably try again, though. Yeah, this one doesn't seem that good, actually. The regular fire bolt does an insane amount of damage to pretty much all undead. I mean, it's a wide range, I guess, is an advantage.
Well, there I direct hit him that time. Yeah, see, even Oliel's doing more damage than I am. We're gonna try this on some other targets, I think. Oh, you know what, though? What if I do this? I land it behind me so nothing can get behind me, and then I start going ham with something else. That could be a way to use it. Oh, he is not weak to frost. But it does not matter, because this skill is so insane. What on earth is wrong with this class? It's too good. Music started going ham there. It sounds awesome. That's crazy. That is insane. Now, what might that be? We ought to take a closer look. It's fighting a skeleton lord with warrior, and it was just a competition to see who bonks harder. I like the skeleton lords. They're fun. You don't see too many of them, but they're a fun enemy. All right, so my initial is my initial feel of it's not not that good. I'm not a big fan. I want to give it some more time. I mean, it does insta-kill undead in certain situations, so it's got a, a utility option, but the problem is the other, I'm telling you, the other fire ability, not only is it good against undead, but it one-shots, like, every little target. It's a really good ability. I'll have to compare it when I use the other one. Okay, where do I go here? This seems a decent spot for a campsite. I'll hold the enemy in place. Well said. You just drop dead in three seconds, bro. How good is it on griffins? Dang it, I should have tested on that griffin back there. I'll find another one. Remind me when I get to it, because last time I forgot to use the fire ability on the griffin. It's really good for wisps, though. You can keep them off you. I don't think wisps are that big a deal, though. It's pretty terrible for skeletons. DD1 or DD2? I like them both, actually. I think they're... In terms of how much fun I have, they're pretty equal to me. DD1 obviously has more content, but... I've had an equal amount of fun in both, really. Oh, wait, isn't there an ogre in here? I could test it on an ogre. Aren't they weak to fire? No, they're weak to lightning. They might be slightly weak to fire, though. Oh, no, this would be a good opportunity for Ricochet, though. I'll use one condescent orb, see what it does. You know what? Freaking get rid of these guys. It's good for small stuff that you really can't deal with that well. So, like, anything that moves around... I bet you it's probably okay for dogs. Ow. Oh, you punk. That's pretty low damage. That is pretty low damage. Looks like he's holding a fireball, though. It's quite funny. Oh, it sets him on fire, though. So it does do DOT. Even after. That's kind of nice. Compared to this. Kind of hard to do that, though. A little different. 
a, it's a little bit different if I do say so myself. It's not a worthless skill. But I do think it's outclassed. Condescent Orb just doesn't have... It doesn't have enough uses is the problem. I really do need to see what it does to a griffin. Then we can decide for sure what I think about it. That's what I'm leaning to right now. I can't see crap. I don't know where I'm going. Ah, over here. I always get lost trying to get out of this cave, or this cavern. I don't know what it is. Go up. Let's go up. With the magic archer ice base attacks, it's possible to make an ice only magic archer build. Ice only, uh, not, that's, I mean, yes and no. Like, there's only two ice abilities, but you could use stuff that's not ice and then consider that an ice only class. Like, you could use the two ice abilities and then, say, use sleep or a revive skill, then that's kind of ice only. You know what? Uh, we could see what it does to Cyclops, too. Oh, here we go. See? Dogs. Well, I was correct. Pretty good for dogs. I mean, it's just damage, so... Is that really... Especially early on, maybe it's a decent idea just to get things on fire. There's a lot of early game stuff that's not necessarily weak to fire, but it's not going to be resistant either. When tarred, be sure to avoid open flame. It's like MA's better without pawn buffs because damage type changes with the uh, skill you use. Mm. That's true. I actually agree with you on that. Because the other day I had a lightning mage who was giving me a lightning when I was playing Magic Archer, and it was a pain because she would constantly give me a buff that I didn't want. Because I wanted the ice one. What about harpies? Oh, protects you from harpies! Okay, this is pretty cool actually. For some reason, they made it sound like it was going to be the best option for undead, and it's not. It's for other stuff. You really do want to use it as a defensive option. It's like, hey, I, I got a horde that's coming in on me. A lot of it's weak to fire. Throw this orb down and boom, I'm safe. What fell from the beast as it breathed its last? Yeah, it changes the basic attacks. That's true. But it's pretty important to have. Like, if you're wanting to fight a certain enemy with... Especially early on, if you're wanting to exploit weaknesses, it's a really nice core skill. So you don't really want a mage messing with you too much. Unless you're in my case and you really don't, like, care. Like, I, I like the ice buff better than anything, so it doesn't matter too much for me. Magic Archer, I'm OP. Use me. <laughs> hey, Escanor! Nice. Seven Deadly Sins reference. I like it. I like me some Seven Deadly Sins, bro. I'm just going to use Ricochet, though. It actually gets rid of skeletons pretty well because you don't need to aim for the head. The sun already uh, takes care of it automatically. wonder how Cyclops would react to having an incandescent orb in its face. That's what I'm trying to figure out. I feel like it would look really cool. Do, 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 do. <laughs> I gotta say, though, dude. It's pretty fun. It's pretty fun wiping out everything in the game so fast. Magic Archer is a blast. He's an absolute monster. The Eye of Sauron. Yes. 
Put this down. Boom. Now they can't get to me. Well, they can get to you because they don't have stagger, but they're going to take damage doing it. Ow. I think this has some cool uses. Like stuff like this. Just put it behind a wall. Kind of like st hit enemies where they can't get to you. It's pretty neat. How much damage does it use? It feels like a actually really low stamina. Have you guys seen that? It takes almost nothing to use. What? That's a really low cost. There we go. Right in the face. Doesn't seem to bother him at all. I also don't think it's setting him on fire. There he is. It does set on fire, but it takes a minute. Oh, if you charge it up, maybe it's stronger? I think it might be stronger. What if I release it at the right time? Yeah, it really is the the burn damage you're looking for with something like this. So you could just plop it on an enemy and start spamming. The weakness, though, is that it really does cover up a lot of your screen with bright red. I shan't allow any further harm to come to you. I sustain so it's going to take a minute, but it will set him on fire. It's, it's pretty weak, but, I mean, you're you're getting damage over time, so... I feel like you could add it to a build where you're not using anything. Like, say, if you wanted to spam Frost Hunter Bolt, maybe you just throw out the Condescent Orb and then start spamming that. And then, at least you're doing a little bit more. At the end game, it's hard because, like, anything I use is just gonna last through enemies. But early on, you're gonna just add up your damage, which would be nice. What's up, Trend? I cannot stack it, unfortunately. If I use one, um, it overrides the other, sadly. Now seems a fine time to sort through your belongings, Master. Perhaps it is time we return to our base of operations and I think it might be turning homes. daytime. Let me go sleep. Or nighttime, not daytime. That way we can see this next fight. I'm gonna try. Oh, I just had a brilliant idea. Okay. So, we're going to use, um, what do I want to use? We're not going to use Condescent Orb on the next Cyclops. We're going to use something else. But there's Minotaurs up in the next path that we're going to head up to. And I feel like Condescent Orb could actually do pretty good against a Minotaur. Would you light him on fire, then put him to sleep? Can I do that? Why do I have so much in my inventory? Oh, I never uh, got rid of it, did I? See, that's the weird thing about Magic Archer. It's like you would think that mobility would be a problem because you have none. But it's not because you're just literally killing everything in your path. Do we think it's stronger than Sorcerer? Probably. In overall skills? Like, Meteor Ron obviously is going to do more damage, but... Such a strong ability. Strike fast and true, and our quarry shall fall. He woke up because I think he hit his head. Not sure how this works yet.
I like the use of that. It's pretty cool. See, again, I think if they're getting hit... It's gonna be better used without pawns, really. That's really OP, though. You can just make any enemy fall to sleep, at least for a couple of seconds, and that gives you not only the time that they're asleep, but it gives you the time that they're standing back up to just kind of, I don't know, either deal damage or get ready for, not a heal up, things like that. It's really strong. Agro Flare. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Agro Flare is kind of crazy. What about... Oh, I just thought of this. Play Warfare, cast Inaugural Flare, and Condescent Orb. Would that work? It does deal damage over and over. I bet that stacks Inaugural Flare. That's kind of genius, actually. That's kind of genius now that I think about it. Yeah, Ricochet Hunter is always good. It's weird because in the first game it was terrible when it was out in the open. Like if you were out in the open, you're just unusable. But here you're out in the open, you could just machine gun it into the enemy side. Just ridiculous. Oh no, the super dangerous rock path. Remnant 2 next DLC coming, and the game's on a 40% sale. Ooh. I mean, if shooting games aren't your thing, maybe not. I mean, it is fun. I love it to death, but... Okay. We can pretend like that hit me. You're gonna be shooting like 80% of the game, so... Just, just keep that in mind. We should be able to move this with our combined... Incandescent orb brightness ain't got nothing on the light orb combo and an outward. Yeah, dude, that was ridiculous. Remember when it was really, really bad? Hey, bro, this is so hard. This is so hard to not use because it's that good. Just wallops everything. They have ricochet damage multiplier in the first? Yes. So the more times it bounced, the more damage it did, yeah. Remnant 1 and Fallout 4 are like the only two exceptions for me. Oh, if you liked Remnant 1, then yeah, you're going to love Remnant 2. I didn't know you played the first one. Yeah, if you played the first one and liked it, definitely. The second one is... The second one's just the first one, but way better and more fun. <laughs> that, that's all it is. You'd be hard-pressed to find anybody that thinks the second one is worse than the first. Although there are people out there. I'm just saying you'd be hard-pressed to find them. Time for the Minotaurs. I really want to see if this fire orb does good against them because that was my. I th I just think inaugural flare. Like how many times would it hit it? It'd have to hit it a bunch. Frost hunter and sagittate are all you need for magic archer, which is why it's my preferred warfare class to combo with melee weapons. Makes sense. Yeah, I, I actually agree with you. I think both of those two are so strong that you really don't need to use anything else if you really don't want to. They're really good. You ready? Here, <laughs> I love Ricochet Hunter, dude. It's so much fun. Oh, man. One of my favorite abilities in the first game. Somehow manages to be one of my favorite in the second as well. 
I love Magic Archer so much. Hi, buddy. What happened to you? I believe you can release it early as well, but... No need to. Magic Archer is utterly insane. Utterly insane. You don't even need a target. You just go, alright, I hope there's something in here. Maybe I'll hit it. Yeah, look, I'm hitting stuff way back there. I shan't let them harm you. What? Yeah, you can release it a little early. It just doesn't do hardly any orbs at all. Just yonder looks to be a good but I mean, it's the best... What the heck happened with the terrain right there? Did anyone see that? My character jumped off the cliff for no reason. Normally I'd wait for like a 75% sale. I mean, with the DLC coming out, it's it's not a bad time to get it, but, you know, never hurts to wait either. They just run off the cliff. They're so dumb. That's insane how strong that is. I think that's the first ability in the game you get. Is it not? I think you start out with Frost Hunter Bolt. So weird how some of the classes get their best ability right off the bat. Like, it just doesn't... It's so weird that way. Oh, yeah, the dogs. This was really good for That's some on fire. Well, apparently it doesn't stop this. Imagine being a being, right? And you attack someone, and while you're dying to the sun, you continue to attack them. Dogs are dumb. You heard it here first. Well done. Okay, so he's in the middle of an attack. Oh no, you're asleep. This is so unbelievably stupid. Let my magic imbue your weapon with the fury of the enemy. See, it kind of adds a little bit if you do things like that, maybe. You have the ability to freeze any enemy in the game without actually getting them wet, which just doesn't make any sense. I don't know why that works, but it's I awesome. I don't think you need to make them wet, because earlier I think he was dry and it still worked. Red Fang Wolves resistant or just beefy? I don't know. Maybe they are resistant. They, they must be resistant to fire, because they took no damage from it. There we go. This is the one I wanted to test on. It's pretty much just to get the burn on. He's taking pretty good burn damage, though. It's just not that strong. I mean, I, you could use that or you can just spam whatever else you want, you know?
Seems like a very unnecessary skill for the most part. I was kind of hoping it'd be good for the Minotaur. It didn't seem like it was. Waiting them just makes it easier. You can freeze without it. It just takes way longer. Oh, I see. Only use for the orb is to keep Griffins grounded. Because you're also just too shot it with Sagittate. So, yeah. That's what I'm thinking. Oh, yeah. We wanted to still use it on a Griffin, though. What about Swarfic Bolt? Alright, it doesn't work if you're getting run over. Duly noted. Oh, you're asleep. Okay. <laughs> Poor little Minotaur. He went night night. Uh, what if I put him to sleep again? Oh no, he went night night again. Oh, he got blasted. Poor guy. Perfect bolt again. It's too bad there's a pawn messing with my sleep arrow. Ah! <laughs> it didn't work. <laughs> it didn't work that time. Uh, I got run over, dude. It's a stupid pawn. He's attacking the Minotaur. So Minotaurs are really not weak to lightning at all. They must be weak to fire. I thought for sure it was lightning, but it must be fire. Because that really did not do anything. I think that skill is only for situations where you need to make use of enemy's weakness to fire. Yeah, it seems like it, Trim. I think the OP nature of this vocation makes it more or less fun to play compared to other vocations. Mm. I see both sides of the coin. Um, on the one side, I understand why people are complaining because it's like the game really is not that hard at a certain point. So a magic archer being this OP can feel a little lame for some people. For me, I don't mind because I love the power fantasy. I like just one shotting dragons and things like that. So it doesn't bother me at all. I just have fun with it. Uh, but it's understandable considering the game really, I mean, it, Enemies don't have that much health overall, so. I get it. But for me personally, I, I just have fun. I think it's a blast. Magic Archer being strong is better than it being weak. If you really want the game to be hard, go play Trickster and enjoy your, your time. I guess it's not even really hard, though, is it? Play Trickster with no pawns. There you go. Now Trickster is hard. I don't think I have much for these guys. They seem to be relatively immune to fire as well. Make pawns wait. Yeah, I did it that time. It, I was talking about the other pawn. They had the random pawn walking around. She kept attacking my... Uh, you have my protection. I'm Minotaur. The only annoying thing about this class is it has no way to avoid damage, which, again, is like, you have so much power, it's not a big deal, but occasionally it is kind of an- oh, they're weak to lightning. Occasionally it is kind of annoying if you get stun locked and you really don't have a way out. There's not much you can do. Maybe that's why Fire Orb exists. So if you get stuck, you can maybe kill something over time while it's damaging you. 
That doesn't seem that efficient, though. I like the power fantasy, but I think there needs to be more skill expression and challenge. Yeah, I think the class itself is fine, though. Like, if we're just talking about the class, it is pretty good. Magic Archer is a, a really fun class to play because of all the cool... Like, every ability has its own power behind it, which is nice. Oh, that's the wrong thing. Have we tried Sporphic Arrow on a, a Sporphic Arrow on a basic enemy? I don't think we have. Ah! It works! Well, that's pretty nifty. Rather be a curve stomping god than anything, really? Power Fantasy is real in this game. It's so fun. Yep. Really, all they need is just like a... Again, just a BBI situation where there's... And, you know, massive endgame to hunt big monsters down. That's, that's really all it needs. The power fantasy is the fun part. Magic Archer is also fun to play as support with the shield. Heals and maybe the big ice block for stagger. Well, I could see that being kind of fun. Go all in on the pawns. Because you can put all the augments on to make them stronger and stuff. You could use the heal a pawn ability. That's kind of a neat idea. Test how much charge Sporphic takes. Okay. What if I use it on Harpies? Does it take a lot? Imagine, though, having an ability that puts enemies to sleep. Like, that's crazy. Oh, it's so good for Harpies. Watch, 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 watch. I don't think it takes that much stamina. Yeah, virtually no stamina. Tracked him all the way over there and he fell down to his death. I think he died. Yeah, he's dying to the brine. Okay, that's funny. What about like a, I can't do a half charge because oh, there's a dragon. Yeah, buddy. I can't hit any of them. So that's pretty cool though. You can use it on harpies. How about a half charge? Half charge did not work instantly. What about a quarter charge? Quarter charge worked after, though. That adds up to a full charge, so... Kind of makes sense, actually. Playing on PC? Yes, sir. I, I do play on PC. Don't mind the openness, but I care about the balancing. If you're going to make a vocational P, might as well make the others OP in their way own too, or their own way, too. Yeah, which they did. They made them all OP, so I, I think it works. I like it quite a bit. Gosh darn it. Aha! Put you to sleep. What about Condescent Orb? We said that was good for Harpies, didn't we? Oh, it's pretty solid for Harpies. I'm actually really liking that for the Harpy. Watch this. I'm going to chuck this across the whole map. Oh, it blows up midair. That's lame. Arisen. I, know of at least one I didn't think this magic archer compares to the one in the first game. It's tough. I it, I think they're equal. The one in the first game had immeasurable power. The one in this game has very, very interesting skills that makes it pretty equal. Get back here. The one in the first game, you really only used a couple of abilities because Ricochet and Sixfold Bolt were so completely ridiculous. Like, there was just no reason to use much else. But. Gotta kill this bandit before it gets annoying. Both of them are very strong, though, is the point I was trying to make. They're, they're really good in both games. This is kind of like if you can't hit the enemy, it just 
maybe your view is impacted or something. You can just kind of shoot it out. I'm gonna try to put a dragon to sleep. How about that? Worried about losing dual weapons, but actually much prefer to clearly define the class fantasies with just one weapon. Yeah, see, I don't mind it. A lot of people complain about it, uh, which I understand, but I don't mind it that much. I think it's fine. I liked my, my daggers for Magic Archer, but it's not too big a deal. Alright, let's see. What do we want to use? Alright, we'll put him to sleep, hopefully. See if it works. Oh, Poor dragon. Did not stay down for long, though. Oh, it's because of these two idiots. I hate the random pawns sometimes. It knocks him all the way down. What if I hit him in the head? It doesn't always work. But it looks like two uses works. Yeah, two uses... And I can knock him down. So I can knock him out of anything as long as I prep it. It won't work right now. It's not firing the ability. I said wait, not stand in front of me. On dummies. This one's just too good for dragons. You just literally keep shooting it. It completely breaks their... Entire fighting pattern. Staggers them out of most attacks. Deals insane damage. Need to probably shoot some on his head a little bit more. Get some stagger in there. Look at that. It's staggered. Oh, that's beautiful. The sleep seems to knock him into a state where I can hit his heart, but it doesn't last very long at all. Dude, get out of my face, Pawn. Seriously. I don't need healed. Magic Art, I just run away. I don't even need to be near him at all. Man, it's too good for dragons. It's arguably too good for dragons. The random pawns are really getting in my way to do sleep. I'm trying to get that to work a little bit more, but... Where's that other guy? I gotta throw him in the river, they're running away. Sporefic bus Arc of Might. Yeah, I think uh, the sleep would work really well in a warfare, dude. I think it'd be crazy good. Alright, we gotta find what the heck the plan is here. I want to find the griffin, ideally. Because I've not defeated the one in the desert. How is the ice on these guys? I don't remember what they're weak to. They're weak to fire. So, condescent orb, maybe? Mm, this could work. This could work. I believe they are weak to fire. It's a mod to get rid of him. Really? <laughs> That's funny. It's gonna be a mod for everything, isn't there? You play this game without the pawns? Yeah. You don't need the pawns. It's much easier with them, but you can just not use them. Why? Grace. 
chill the frick out, bro. Everything's good. She's getting arguably too aggressive. It's just so... Like, this is an enemy that's weak to fire, and it's just not that good. It's just not that good. It really is just for the DOT damage. Maybe it's used as a light source, too. Because it does do the light source quite well. What if I put this guy to sleep? Haha, <laughs> I put him to sleep. The sleep has more uses than I'm thinking. I'm thinking of using it on big monsters only, but you could probably use it on a lot of small stuff. Make things easier on yourself. It's just so bright. Like, it covers a pretty large... I can't see anything that's going on with it. A coming patch will reduce frequency of the random pawns talking to you, at least. Oh, thank goodness. That's annoying. Blaze Fang Arrows is 100 times better. I, I know, because Blaze Fang Arrows is so good. That's... That's why I'm thinking this one's real. Like, this one's cool, but... It's the same thing as the Archer. It's like, why use... Tarring arrow when I can just use the exploding shot and insta kill stuff. These enemies are way too aggressive. They'll just chase you down for hours. It's crazy. Wonder if I can put to sleep multiple enemies at a time. I can stun him out of his sleep animation. That's cool. We're gonna have to go with the element that they're not weak to. Seems to be working pretty fun. The freeze is just ridiculous. It doesn't even have to directly hit him. Like, it could be hitting them through the other one, and it'd still do a really good amount of freeze. I wonder if I can machine gun him in the back. Oh, I did. That's sick. Oh, crap. What? That's insane. I didn't even bounce it. I thought for sure he wouldn't die. Nice. He said, not a great light source to blinding. True. Ta-da! I mean, it really is a light source. You can use it like that. Grace, I love you to death, but you're really in the way today. And then it busts me with the lightning, too. That's pretty useful. Let's go kill the warg with the ricochet bolt. That'll do so much damage. Battle is to be avoided, I take it. Arisen. Tarring arrow ain't bad. Tar plus fire causes torch. Which actually does good damage compared to regular fire. Yeah, see, it's like, I, I get that, but at the same time... Arisen. I know of at least one location in the vicinity that may be of interest. You could just spam the fire. That's my thing. It's like, it's fine, but then you, it really just does... Nothing major over just spamming the regular fire shot for me. Explosive shot. It wasn't horrible at all, no, but... It, it felt unnecessary, it was my thing. I think they're weak to lightning. We have found a material. Oh wow, that lasts a long time, apparently. Get rid of some of this stuff, give it to her. Yeah, we were messing around with that a bunch the other day, it's like... It's fine. I, I think the knockdown really is the big advantage, but it's just the exploding shots way, way better. A place loses How much light does it shoot? It, oh, you want me to turn the lantern off? Okay. I'll shoot it in a cave. I mean, it, it is pretty good. It's a light source. It lights everything up. What about this giant cavern here? Check that out. 
That's not bad at all. It really isn't. Is it that important? No, but it's kind of cool. Sometimes that could be pretty useful. Just lighten up your whole area. I mean, it can be activated almost instantly with for no stamina, so... If you're playing a lot at nighttime, I could see myself using this because I really don't like how dark it is at night. This could actually make it a lot easier. Like, look at that. It's just... Bright, lightening up a whole big area for me. How many of their ilk must we defeat? Not necessary at all, but I can see myself using it for that. Ghost to go for it? Oh, that's true. That could be useful. Explosives way better than anything else. Only other arrow I use myself is the drenching. Yeah, drenching's insane, dude. Drench drenching is actually insane. The ability to instantly freeze a dragon like five times in a row is just so unbelievable. It's crazy. That guy got blasted. I'm trying to find a campfire. I can't find one. I think it's up this hill. The desert at nighttime is just so hard to... It's, everything looks the exact same. So I always like to sleep. Oh, this is the first campfire in the whole place. Okay. It does set humans on fire pretty quick. Stupid archer. Like, I did some pretty good burn to her. Yeah, like I said, it's not a bad skill at all. It's just I don't I don't feel like I need it really. I actually put in a lot of work right there. Did you see that? What if I use Sleep Arrow on an Archer? Oh my word, that's so helpful. This campfire is a pain in the butt because one of the bandits always runs away and gets stuck and you have to go find him. It happens every single time. I think he ended up dying. Yeah, he fell off an edge. <laughs> Oh. Let's see. Do I need a buff? Buff, buff, buff. This is a really good buff, actually. Do I need it? No. Do I want it? Yes. Not like a feast to get you ready for bed. I shall take it. Might have a look around. See what else I can find. Yeah, you can push in on the joystick to switch, or you can just push Y, too. Y is the one I usually use. I just don't see any point in using... Endpoint Volley. Like, Rivet's just arguably better. I don't know. I can see maybe if you were using, say, Frost Hunter and you wanted to hit a lot of stuff, maybe the other one could be good, but Rivet seems really solid. Tested the bolt stain or bolt chain stakes yet? They surprised me. Damage isn't great, but the stagger's insane. Yeah, I, uh, I haven't gotten to that one yet. Uh, I am excited to try that one because I've actually never used it, not one time. It's one of the few Magic Archer abilities I've not tried at all. There's some fire damage. Wait for it to actually set off. Alright, now he's burning. Nope. No, he's not. 
Take it back. Sleep. This guy I know is weak to lightning. It did not do as good as I thought it was going to. Oh, that is pretty darn consistent, though. Dude, this with Arc of Might would actually be crazy. I'm kind of excited to try that combo in Warfare now. I don't know if they get immunity to it, but there's like a window where it doesn't always do it right away. Stupid dogs. I can hate dogs so much. Freaking hate dogs. So much. Alright, let's try this again. I think you have to wait a bit. Let's see if it does it right away. It might actually need to hit the head, too. No, it should be fine. They're not weak to lightning. What the heck? There's no way they're weak to lightning. They should be. Gotta have a timer on it or something. I'm not sure how it works. When enraged, this creature is capable of calamitous strength. We ought not to provoke it. Ha ha, I put those guys to sleep though. Look at that. That's cool. There now he's asleep. Oh my word. Sleep is the thing is, it uses almost no stamina. I just don't understand. It's this powerful and uses like no stamina. I'm putting the whole enemy team to sleep. How long does it last? Forever? Look at the enemy team. They're just all sleeping, bro. That's so funny. That is hilarious. Might be like Monster Hunter where you need more each time. That's what it feels like, at least a little bit. Ha! Huh, how'd I get up here? That was pretty cool. I don't know how I did that. What if I put him to sleep with the orb on him? They'll probably just wake him up, right? He's running away! It's a pretty quick charge, too. And you could probably increase it with some of those rings. Yeah, it definitely takes longer. That's like, what? Two, three times I've used it so far? Four times. Five times? Could be that only else attacking him. It might not be working. Maybe we try a uh, pinpoint here. Maybe with this ability it could be good, because it does charge up faster. Nah, I still think Rivet's better. 
must not give them a chance to recover. Focused attack will end this foe. Yeah, Rivet's, Rivet's just better. I don't not like the other one, but I definitely prefer this one. Do you need sleep to, like, give yourself a break in the middle of battle, almost? And then you could use it at the beginning of battle. As well. Like, you could use it to get, like, a really nice attack early on. I learned of a forgotten rift stone in this area. During the Mystic Knight make it return? Wonder if what the Master skill would be, since the original would be Magic Archer already. I think it would be Magic Cannon. They probably do that, the Master skill. Might be immune while raging. Oh, that could be actually. Thing? Shall we take a closer look? Yeah, that that might have something to do with it actually. You sleep for photo mode. That's funny. Really stupid archers, bro. It's always the flipping archers. I'm hiding behind my mage. Look at me. I'm terrible. Nice. Oh, how cool is that shot, though? Dude, look at this shot that I have right now. What? That's actually pretty look. That's pretty cool looking. I, I can't get the angle right, but it looks pretty cool. What if I do... Uh, blur messes with it a little bit. No blur. Filter. Turn the filter almost off. Yes! Look at that! That looks pretty nifty, dude. That actually looks really cool. I'm tired from my anyway. <laughs> Don't get me started with photo mode. You can even use Blaze Fang Arrow as a sort of free cam for photo mode. Oh, really? I had no idea. That's kind of neat. I never tried that. I need to find another big monster. I want to put someone else to sleep. And then hit him with a ricochet. It's kind of fun. I might try that on the- oh, let's just head to the, the Medusa. I'll head down there. That's actually a pretty good target for this. Big Icicle does almost no damage, but big knockdown- sometimes it could do good damage. Sometimes, the, depending on the target. If you're hitting dragons in the head, it can occasionally get a, a nice chunk of damage. A fighter is coming after me. Oh no! Put him to sleep. <laughs> can you pick him up? I wonder if you can pick him up. I bet you probably can. Hard to beat the machine gun, though. I mean... That's a lot of fun to do. Look at this view. I love the desert about this time of day. It looks awesome. Look at that. Just beautiful, bro. Medusa gonna get shredded? That's what I'm hoping. These Blaze Fang went asleep. I could, I could do that. Yeah, these guys were immune to that, weren't they? They're weak to lightning. I missed a lot of those shots there. Yep, can't do anything. <laughs> Where did all the lizards come from? That's what I want to know. Did I run past them? I must have. I try to avoid doing that, but I must have not seen him. Oh, he died. Dang. See, the problem with this skill is... It really is a cave killer. Like, you're going to use it primarily in caves. And the avalanche ability does arguably more damage. Cool. And it works when not in caves as well. So I think they just kind of made this one a bit weaker in this game just because they added a new one. Not really a bad thing, but it is kind of sad for the uh, ricochet lovers in the... in the chat. Where are we headed here? There's a small cave I'm looking for. I can't find it. Aha! Found it. That wasn't hard. Stigbolt probably better for open world. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. 
You can use it with minimum charge just to get the electric buff for basic. Oh, true. Like this. Boom, now I got electric. That's a good idea. I just kill that guy. I need a big monster for a lot of these abilities. That's the problem. Oh, here we go, dogs. They said they were resistant to fire. They are very clearly resistant to fire. But they still take a good amount of damage to it. Like, look at the burn. Eventually, he does go down. So I don't have to deal with him as much. It seems to set burning on wolves really quickly, too. Like, it doesn't set it that fast on other stuff. And then the wolves, it does instantly. I don't know why. I suppose there can be no harm in bringing this along. We can't oh, I can't see crap now. This might be a good spot for Ricochet. Watch this. Ho oh, ho 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 This is about to be really cool. If this bounces off all the walls, this is gonna be awesome. Ha ha ha! Wasted it. What? What did I say? I said this is about to be really cool, and it was indeed very, very cool. Everything with fur burns quickly. Ogres and Minotaurs as well. Yeah, Minotaurs seem to take a lot of burn. Just gonna delete everything in this cave real quick. Oh man, that's so much fun. You know what's funny? So when I play this game, I actually do have frame rate drops depending on what class I'm playing. Magic Archer has been the least amount of frame drops so far. Which doesn't make any sense based on how many abilities it uses. Like, a magic all over the screen. You would think it'd be more. It's way less. The worst by far was uh, Mystic Spearhand. It literally dropped frame rate constantly. Warrior as well. Warrior almost had no frame rate drops. And then Fighter was kind of dropping frames too. Fighter moves too fast. That's the problem with Fighter. He's all over the screen. Oh, he's already asleep. Oh, I'm gonna get a good shot. Maybe? No. Go back to sleep, buddy. <laughs> I put him back to sleep. Just woke up from a nap. Second nap. Of course, I shot him because of the stupid ledge. Okay, so this can be used to break armor pretty easily. That's a big advantage for sure. What about... Let's do sleep again. I want to see if that buildup was true that we were talking about. See, I think certain enemies are just more susceptible to it. Like, Cyclopses get slept instantly. Let's see if while he's getting up, it doesn't work. Yeah, so I think they need to be in a neutral position for it to work. That's three so far. Maybe I need a headshot. It worked that time. What if I bounce this off the ground and hit him in the butt? Oh, that worked. Cool. A fine place to harvest some ingredients. Try the cave uh, of El Guado. Where is that one at, Ryan? I don't know if I've done that yet. I know there's a couple of liches somewhere around here. I may not have that cave available. I've just recalled. 
All right, we're going to go back this way, though. Or maybe this might have something in it, actually. May I show you to its location? Really love a necromancer in this game. I feel like there are not many good necromancer in video games. A necromancer would be really cool. We were actually talking about necromancy the other day on stream. Seems like after two sleeps, it starts taking more. That's what it seems like to me. What's up, Timeless? Still killing stuff. I'm not even paying attention. This is the best stream-based vocation. I got this. I could look at chat the entire time. Just hold down the button. I think that might be the end of the cave. I don't remember if this has a big monster in it or not. I'm thinking no, but it might. Let me double check the back over here. Yeah, this is a small cave. This probably has just goblins in it. Unless. Chest. Two chests. Probably has nothing, though. Yeah, that was nothing. That was Panacea. And Ring of Deflection, which I don't need. Make enemies come back to life and fight for you. Yeah, I think that was kind of was the idea that they were going with Trickster. They wanted it to be, like, controlling AI, but I think making the dead come back to life would have been probably more consistent. Like, imagine if you could... Dude, imagine if you could make the Medusa come back to life and fight for you for a brief amount of time. How cool would that be? Imagine if they had an ability where you summoned the dead back to life, and then you could, like, absorb it into yourself... And then you could use the ability to again to send the enemy back out. So you could absorb the Medusa, take it to Gregory, and have her fight Gregory. That's such a neat idea. Why am I not making this game, dude? Give me a give me a dev position, please. <laughs> uh, that's funny. That's such a neat idea though. Actually, I think it wasn't even my idea, but I'm going to count as my idea. Ooh, I insta-slept him. That took almost no charge. This guy would get off of my tail, bro. Leave. There's a rock. Okay, so Chieftains have a bit more resistance. Either that or he was in... Yeah, there he is. Sleep's actually really powerful support for supporting your team, though. I'm really liking it quite a bit. Well, we need to go down the hill a little bit further. The Pokemon Dogma, yeah! Need a playable skeleton so you can be Lord Ainz. Dude, Ernie brought up Lord Ainz. Me and my brother are actually watching through uh, Overlord right now. Again. Freaking love Overlord, dude. The advantage of this one is it activates instantly. There's no charge time. If you don't want there to be. Which actually is kind of useful. Lord Ainz. Such a dope anime. We've a choice of where to go. How to know the path best travel. Let us examine well, each path carefully. We're really not seeing too many big monsters here. Ooh. Volcanic area? I should probably switch skills. I feel like how long have we been? Two hours with these skills? That's probably probably a lot. I have to finish it now that I'm on vacation. I was loving it. Dude, it's so good. I think there's... I haven't seen the fourth season. That's why we're re-watching it. Because I watched the first three seasons back... A long time ago. I don't even know when. It's been a while. The worst part about Magic Archer. This right here. The inability to do anything in that situation. You just have to not get into that situation. It's 
This is pretty good against Geosaurians, actually. I've been kind of surprised by it. It keeps trashing them very, very easily. Alright, there's a Cyclops. Oh, crap. It's a wolf! Run! Most dangerous enemy in the game. I feel like you go back to Sporfic Bolt later to see what pairs well with it. Yeah, probably. I don't even know how to say it. Is it Sapor Saporfic? Probably. Yeah, see, that didn't sleep him, but I haven't slept him at all yet. I think it's because he's, like, in an enraged state. That did damage for some reason. Now he's asleep. Here's what we do, you ready? There's got to be a really good combo for this sleep, though. Like, something you could just instantly kill enemies with. And I'm thinking Sagittate would be really solid in this situation. This is really good at breaking armor. Wow. So unbelievably powerful, this ability. I'm gonna try the, uh... Yeah, see, the, the pinpoint volley just don't work very well. It takes too long to get on the target. Not really a fan of that one. Cyclopses are so dumb. They literally run on top of you so that they can hit you. It's like, dude, you can't hit me if you come towards me. You're a big dumb brute. See if this works while he's getting attacked by those things. Oh, it did. I cannot get it to to do the ability though. It's only doing one for some reason. Like it'll only lock on one time. It's because he's moving around too much is why. Yeah, there you go. As soon as he sits still. Got a bunch of them on him. The funny thing is, is we're using this against enemies that are not weak to ice. And this is how strong it is. Yeah, it seems like if they're moving a lot the lock on is slightly less uh consistent it's a little bit weirder it still works but it just takes a little bit longer to get it working pinpoint works well for lesser dragons and purgeners with their dozen tiny targets mm, okay i'll have to try it on dragons then no geosaurians Yep, no way to dodge that, unfortunately. Very annoying attack. You have to be sprinting full-fledged sideways in order to dodge that at all. See, this is where Blaze Arrow would come in handy, though. Blaze Arrow is really good at just doing a massive amount of damage right next to you, or even further away. You can get enemies off of you with its big blast radius. Personally, I think it's a must-have when running Magic Art. It's so good. That's probably this thing's disadvantage. Like, you're gonna set stuff on fire, but you're not dealing stagger. You're not really protecting yourself that well with it. Lock-on slows down massively when you're moving as well. Oh, I didn't even think of that. That is true. Ooh, a cave. I'm gonna go use pinpoint. Sometimes, the funny thing is it's more efficient to just shoot your bow. It really is. Sometimes you just should just shoot instead of using skills. Alright, ready? We're gonna just send in a thousand of them. 
I don't know what I'm about to hit, but it's going to be something. <laughs> something died. <laughs> I don't know what it was. Was it a warg? No chance that was a warg. His health bar got dropped instantly. That was a warg. What? He died so fast. I thought for sure that was a goblin based on what his health looked like. It just went... Yoop. I thought it was a goblin. Man, that thing's so powerful. I wonder if I'm heavy. I am. I, I'm telling you, I get this like sixth sense. I could just feel it. Mainly, I'm staring at my stamina bar. It's not really a sixth sense. It's more like my eyesight. One of my already God-given senses. But hey, that's fair. Wargs are really rare base game. Yeah, they're in like a couple of caves, I think. Mainly. Just said a warg is my pawn quest. Did you really? I know where a couple are. Look, there's another one right there. On the gor the path to the gorgon is where the you find them the most. He just disappeared though. What the heck? That warg literally disappeared. Oh, because I got an encounter. Dang it, stupid coaling request. I bet you it like canceled out the enemy that was there. Base game, it's all Garms and a Warg. Oh, I don't know the difference between a Garm and a Warg. I thought they were both, like, the same thing, basically. Actually, I didn't even know this game had Garm until Just people kept talking about it. And I was like, I guess they're different somehow? I don't know. Garms have black fur. There are only five Wargs in the base game on the Volcanic Isle, and they don't respawn. Oh, so everything else is a... Is a Garm? What's the difference? They both feel very similar. Which one's harder? Probably the more rare one? Dude, Garm in the first game are a menace, though. They suck. They come in pairs and are faster, I see. So they're like hunting packs of uh, a mini Garm. That's kind of cool, actually. Yeah, I had been wondering about that, because I know a lot of people were talking about it, and I never actually knew the difference. I gotta run around so they don't hit me. They're gonna hit me anyway. So I can somehow stop them from jumping. I don't know how to do that, really. That'll work. The Eliminators? Dude, Eliminators were terrifying. Getting stomped on by an Eliminator and him smashing your head in with a giant hammer was one of the, like, the scariest things in the game. Because it happened to you one time, and you were like, what just happened? Why did I insta-die? And then every time you went up against him again, you were horrified that that was going to happen. Quite a funny encounter because of it. Oh, that's the cave I don't need to do. This actually should be a decent spot for Ricochet. Hopefully. It's not going to be the best, but... Eh, it's okay. It works. It's not the best, but it works. The delaying are scary. The delaying can be pretty scary. I, I love fighting them, though. They're so much fun. Oh, boy. Stupid goblin. It's always the goblin, dude. I'm telling you. It's freaking goblins. So annoying. If I, if I charge this up and then kind of set it off as quick as I can, usually it seems to stagger these enemies out, which is actually pretty good. That's been how I'm dealing with some of these harpy or uh, goblins. The same foe, again. 
it really just isn't that efficient. I have to kill a bunch of them to get through here. Actually, my basic attack may be the best option I have. Yep. See what I'm saying? Like, sometimes you're you're relying too much on your skills. You should just use a regular shot. Especially on smaller enemies, it charges real quick. Get up here and take a nap so I can see the Gorgon I'm fighting. The lane were made to be fought as a fighter. Feels so good parrying each other. I, they, they really were. They really were. You cannot convince me otherwise. They were made for fighter. They're so good when fighting against fighter. It's unbelievable how good the combat feels versus them. It's astounding, actually. Parry, block, hindsight, sleep. Rush into a shield attack, shield bash. It's so good. There's just so many cool combos you can do with them. So, Batal has a number of these. How many hours in are you? Uh, I believe I have. 180 ish, somewhere around there. Classic is the worst against the spear hand is Delane. Yeah, see, spear hand's weird. Against certain enemies, it just turns into spam bubble shield. I would very much agree with what you just said there. What do we want to test on this? Sporfic Bolt. Dang, bro. I just put her to sleep instantly. Oh, and she just, like, stays knocked? That's weird. Gives me a good opportunity to shoot her, doesn't it? So there's one. We're gonna count how many of this takes. Two. Someone said four times. Three. That was three that time. Man, it makes the Medusa so easy. They just sit here. Nah, she's still bouncing around. That's pretty darn cool. That right there is pretty darn cool. I uh, Sporfic Bolt is... It's, it's actually really, really good. It's a niche ability, so you can't, like, just randomly use it with whatever, but... It's freaking amazing. Alright, let's go teleport to town, change skills. For those wondering why I teleport to town to change skills, it's because I have a bug where my... If I change skills at a campfire, my game freezes up and I have to quit out. It's very annoying. We seem to have arrived without issue. But are we safe here? What's up, Limpy? How's it going, bro? <clears throat> Ain't the class that goes the worst again? Oh, you were saying if you don't consider Trickster? Yeah, sure. If you sleep her and then use a slashing weapon on her head, it's an insta-kill. Gives you a Oh, really? It can just... It's an insta-kill. I didn't know that. That's cool. That's pretty nifty. I'll have to try that with Warfare, seriously. That sounds like such a cool idea. Always a pleasure. Warfare level 77, 254 hours. Mage Pawn Jason. Mostly use MA Thief Spear Hand skills. Welcome. Sounds about right. I mean, those are some of the best ones in the game. Well met. Always a pleasure. Magic Archer also struggles versus Delane. Not not for me, because <laughs> Um I went to the uh the unmoored world as a magic archer. I was just goofing around. First time I got there, and it was funny because I was Magic Archer and I was fighting a bunch of Delane. I made Oliel such an aggressive fighter 
that I could shoot the delane as many times as I wanted and it would never aggro me. I, I seriously, Oleo was just so aggressive, dude. It was like the funniest thing. All right, we're going to use Blaze Fang Arrow. This one is, in my opinion, the best fire attack from this class. Blaze Fang Arrow. So we'll replace Condescent Orb. I think Condescent Orb is pretty weak. Uh, Frost Hunter is incredibly good. I was pretty blown away by that, but we're going to switch it up for Arctic, which I really like. Arctic's very fun. Most dangerous enemies are Gollum, immune to sleep. Gollums are pretty tough, I won't I won't lie. Oh yeah, I need to release Grace, don't I? Bolt Chain Stake, I've never used. Oh, I need to actually put that on. Never used this. Not one time. So we'll see what happens. Bolt Chain. Stake. Replace that with probably... Ricochet. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, here's what we're going to do. We're going to use these four right here. I'm going to keep on Saporific Bolt so we can keep testing the sleep because I really like that. And then the next time I come back here, I'm going to use Sagittate with these other three that do no damage. And then the last one we'll test is Martyr's Bolt. We'll reset the whole world and we'll one-shot all the dragons. That sounds like a good plan. Lose okay. Might even make a new discovery. Bolt change the stagger machine. That's what people said. It sounds cool. Pleasure doing business with you. What's up, Ricker? Thanks for all the content. Been uploading. Top notch. Oh, thanks, dude. Appreciate you watching. I really do. It's always tough to get uh, traction on a, a different game that you haven't been, you know, making content on for a while. So I always appreciate everybody watching this stuff. Dragon's Dogma videos have been too pretty good lately, so. Bolt chain stake, you can charge it without aiming so quickly. Where's it at? I think I have it, don't I? Oh, it's like the... The big orb, the fire orb. Oh. Oh, wait a minute. That's interesting. Oh. Bermuda Triangle. How long does it last? Because it looks like it lasts a long time. Okay. This is pretty interesting. You have my attention. Is this how it ends? All right, let me switch that paw now, and then we'll teleport back to Medusa, and we'll walk through that big cave, go to the volcanic area. Sheen's secretly hyped about Remnant 2 DLC. Oh, you know me, dude. I'm real hyped for it, for sure. Said don't aim it. What do you mean don't aim it? Oh, just free aim it. Okay. You're a welcome sight, Arisen. All right, dismiss her. I'm gonna give you a fig. Cause that's the kind of guy that I feel like being right now. Friends pawns. I think I have to leave the rift, right, to get it to reset. Yeah, I have to leave the rift and then go back in. The rift in this game looks really cool. It looks pretty cool in the first game, but the, the new graphics for it are actually pretty solid. I like it. All right, here, I summon her back. There you are, Grace. Let's see if she uh, switched up. She still has high palladium. I don't know why. It I'll won't switch for me. Reunion. Oh, I need to sleep, don't I? Well met, sir. How's the day? Or no, you yeah, might need to sleep. Have you slept Not since dying. then, Titan? It won't save unless you That's do. That might be why. Better to be selective than waste. The charging bolt chain? I don't know. He said I could free aim it, right? How do I do it without aiming? Oh, I can just do this. I see. Oh, it shoots three. If I don't aim. Okay. That's pretty cool. Look at that. 
Oh, we gotta test this out. This is actually pretty interesting. Back to... Where is that at? Medusa Cave. Slept and leveled up. I don't know what's going on. Also, hype for the Remnant DLC. Wasn't a fan of how the new class looks uh, OP, though. I don't think it looks OP, though. Actually, uh... I think they they did a good job balancing it so far. Obviously, we haven't tested anything, so who knows? But it looks like it's going to be just a way to make things a bit more powerful. Like, like just give each class a little bit more strength, but not double up too much. Like the bonuses don't seem too crazy, like Ritualist was. There's a cave in the vicinity that you've yet to explore. I can take us there. I think it'll be more of a balance in Ritual. Ritualist was a crazy, crazy addition to Remnant Two. They just Completely broke the game with that class. <laughs> the entire time it existed in the game, breaking the game. Alright, so can I use this on, like, basic enemies, or is it only a big guy thing? But I don't know yet, of course. What do you think the highest level someone's achieved since the game released? Maybe 300? You don't really know for sure, because people use mods and stuff. There's way to, like, there's probably... XP bots for people can just get up to level 999 almost instantly. There was stuff for that in the first game too, just to level up faster. Okay, free aiming is not... Oh, dang. It sounds crazy. It's not doing anything, but it sounds crazy. It's like virtually no stamina either. There's the stagger we were talking about, though. They last such a long time. This is actually pretty interesting. Prime Burke's insane. Just double skill stack combined with CDR. Or cooldown reduction? Yeah. Yeah. I think it's going to be good for some of the less used skills in the game. Like uh, hunt Gunslinger's attack skill. Would you recommend playing Remnant 1 or just jump to 2? Just jump to 2. I think Remnant 1's good too, but you don't really need to play it. Number 2 is pretty much just a superior version of 1 in terms of the gameplay. If I stick it right on its face, and like on the ground, oh, this is kind of cool. You can get creative with it. It's not that strong, though. Very constant damage. To get with the pinpoint. Okay, so I can try with the pinpoint one. Gotcha. Does it latch on to multiple? Ah, there it was. No? Pinpoint just takes forever. That does work to get them on there faster, though. I think that is a little bit. 
more efficient. Ah, that's the stagger you're talking about. So you gotta use pinpoint. Because then it attaches four at a time, and then it's gonna hit all four at the same time. Nah, that makes sense. Okay. Ready? Oh, wow. Yeah, look, he just keeps getting staggered. Huh. All right. I, I could dig this. I feel like we could get pretty creative with that. Remnant 2 is good, but does it still have that lag if you're not the host? Because that was a big deal breaker from the experience. It They adjusted that quite a bit. It's a lot better now. Occasionally, it will do that, depending on where you're who you're playing with, but it's largely gone for me. Like, if when I play with Chaos, because he lives in Greece, it's really far, then it lags quite a bit, but when I play with, say, somebody like Sorrow, who's not too far, it works a lot better. Can I chain multiple targets? Oh, nifty. It's more of a fun option than anything else. It's quite hysterical, actually. I think my main thing about it is that there's already two really powerful electric abilities. It's going to be hard to pick this one over the other two. Is your bow dwarven upgraded? Yes. Uh, mostly. I think I did what I do with it. One elven, two dwarven. Because I originally was going to go elven, and then I decided to just swap. How are we to proceed? Master, Since dwarven is better anyway. Seems like it could be a good defense option, actually. What if I place this here? On the ground. Hard to use the better shot on the ground, though. It doesn't really aim that well. Did you say Remnant 2 is enjoyable playing alone? Yeah. I play alone all the time. I, mo I mainly play alone. The enemy retreats. I love it. I'm enjoying this quite a bit. <laughs> I, I don't know why. It has this weird feel to it where it's just really pulling me in with how fun it is. It sounds very staticky, which is funny. Not sure I like how... Low damage he does, though. I don't want to try it on a dragon. What's up, Mr. Nacho? How's it going, bro? Really wanted to play DD2, but it's expensive. It's very expensive. Yeah. That was the thing I put at the very, very end of my review. A lot of people didn't see that, but it is we not. It. It's overpriced. <laughs> it's very much overpriced. I love it to death. I have a lot of fun with it, but it's very much overpriced. There's the stagger. You got to get him in like this little chain thing like here. Look at that. You got to be creative with this one, kind of. But if you are, it's really powerful. Ooh, an ogre. It's a good test. 
For some reason, lightning seals are low damage this time. Thundermine from Sorcerer as well. Yeah, but Thundermine's crazy. Oh, it's a Chimera, actually. Thundermine's crazy, though. The defensive capabilities of that skill is well worth it. I don't take it off when I'm using Sorcerer. I, I have to have it. Okay. I think he took a blast damage to the head, though. Oh, it's so neat. It's just very low damage, but it's really cool of an idea. Look at that. Looks insanely good, though. And the music is just jamming. Oh, yeah, it's it's a lot of fun. And the music is very good. The music in the original Dragon's Dogma is always fantastic as well. It really gets you going. This one can be good for kind of keeping a lot of targets off of you. Because you can attach it to like a bandit and then you can attach it to the minotaur at the same time. It looks pretty ridiculous, I'm not gonna lie. The free aim is so hard to do, though. And get it exactly where I want it. It's like a ninja star of our, uh... What are, like a... Oh, what are they called? Like a pentagram? Like a pentagram of death, I guess? It's funny. It is quite loud, though. It's very constant electrical damage. All right. They're too far away. It's expensive, but my youngest of four sons bought this game for me. Did he really? That's nice. My only issue with this skill... Here's my main issue with this skill. Is that this is way better for stagger. So I probably won't use it too much, but it is a very fun and kind of neat skill to mess with. Looks like someone played on the power lines. That is what it looks like. You played the prequel to Remnant? Yes, I actually streamed the my playthrough of Kronos before the Ashes. I actually enjoyed the game. I thought it was very fun. I played on the hard mode too. It was, it was challenging at times. I died to pretty much every boss, I think, at least once or twice. But it's not too hard either. It's a pretty short game overall. I feel like there's a Cyclops up there. Actually, there's one over here. Nah. Yeah, I don't see a lot of situations where I'm going to want this. Particularly because I like Ricochet quite a bit, but I, I do understand its value, which is important. And I really want to test it on a dragon before I really say what I think about it. I think the bolt chain is probably better for crowd control. Yeah. Barely any bosses are weak to lightning. Basically just Cyclops and Medusa. Yeah, mainly the Medusa, yeah. Cyclops are, but pretty much any element works. Shall we rest here a moment? But this is the main one, because she just gets absolutely obliterated by it. It's kind of crazy. What do we want to do here, guys? Let's do Blaze Fang Arrow. These guys are not weak to fire, though. They're weak to lightning. So let's not do that. Let's use Bolt Chain. It really just doesn't deal any damage. Such a weird... 
ability though. It's actually cracking me up. I think I liked Blaze Arrow a little bit better. Blaze Arrow is actually insane. How long can I travel with this? This is a pretty long time. That's a pretty long time of travel. Wow. This game worth the seventy dollars? I think it's worth. Uh, it's it's a very good game. Again, I don't think any game should be priced at seventy dollars though. The AoE is the big thing. It actually has a very large AoE. What if I use it to kind of protect myself? Does that work? A little bit. Ah, oh, the AoE is so beautiful. It's just a better fire ability. It's such a good fire ability. Kind of bright on the screen, but it's it's really good. That was well Stun him with a bolt chain and gun him down with normal shots. Seems like a good combo. Overconfidence is an enemy. I, I think it's another one that could be really, really good early on, since you know you could kind of keep enemies off of you. Right now, I it doesn't take too long to kill stuff, so. But earlier on, you're going to have a lot of smaller enemies that don't die as quickly. See, even if you miss this one, it still usually hits the target. Because it has such a massive radius. Boom. Absolutely absurd damage with this one. Kind of mess that one up, though. You really want to stay in the back with this ability. Bolt chains for protection. You can either no aim it or set up a defense or use the pinpoint to lock onto groups. Yeah. It gives you a defensive option, which is good, because, you know, Magic Archer don't really have a defensive option, but... I think it doesn't work as well as the... The Mine on Sorcerer. The Mine on Sorcerer is way more efficient at a defensive skill. That's just one shot so many things, it's unbelievable. All things considered, gaming is extremely cheap entertainment. 70 bucks for 100 hours of entertainment is insane value. True, yes. True, yes. Uh, I just don't really think. If you think it like that way, then yeah, that, that's kind of true. But at the same time, it's like 70 bucks. It's a bit much when I can play Helldivers for 40 bucks at an infinite amount of times, you know? Gotta consider that factor as well. Yeah, like I said, I think the game is worth playing. I I'm not saying it's not. I just think uh, $70. I don't know why they price it like that. Why does it need to be more than 60 I don't know. Obviously, I'm still playing it. <laughs> Did that hit me? I think I did take damage. Alright, so this might be a situation where Bolt Chain could help me out. Just don't like the free aim that well. There we go. So I set that up. Got a couple of them on him. Keep him stunned in place. 
Big damage with the fire arrow. And it sets him on fire, so we don't need the other ability. Yeah, Blaze Fang is awesome. He said, if you want value for your money by hours, you're set for 300 plus hours. Exactly, dude. So true. You get so many hours out of hours. Yeah, it always it always differs based on where you live too. That's a big thing. That's why it's a little bit more frustrating for other people versus you know. Some inflation is just getting pretty crazy though. One way or another. Did I hit him? I feel like I could have hit him. I'm gonna try and do that again. I think he's in there. I gotta like curve it outward a little bit more. Wait, no 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 no. Did I miss it? Ah so close. I need to turn faster. If I come from over here. Oh, I just figured it out. What if I go in this cave? Oh, there's nothing in this cave. That explains why I wasn't going in there. Oh, there's no enemy. What the freak, bro? I'm supposed to be a Geosarian. That's lame. I was going to kill him. Game said no. I feel like I could set this up as a trap. Let me see if I can do this. I feel like this is kind of a cool idea. Just put that right there. Why are they not connecting? Land is failing. They last a good amount of time. So uh, maybe this will work. Alright, so if I set that up. And I come over here and I'm like, alright, come attack me. Boom! Can't get to me. That's how you use it, boys. Figured it out. Here's what you do. You put one right here. Put one right here. Okay. It, it doesn't work in the water, apparently. There we go. Now I'm protected. And I can fire at will. Alright. Now I'm into it. So it doesn't stun them, and then I'm less into it. You have my protection. What if I use? I, I think the ice blocks better here. Oh! Big damage. Ice block was the correct decision. Geosari and just have that tough armor. Somebody commented on my video the other day and they were like, are there even Geosarians in this game? And I was like, what? I don't think they're called Geosarians. I don't know what they're called, but they're probably not called that. Are they called Rock? I don't know. I'm calling them Geo. That's what they are in my head. How many times have we come here, I wonder? Where your overconfidence does not lead to- They're called Rattlers? I'm not calling them that. That's an embarrassing name. I do not approve. Geo sorry and sounds way- Geo anything sounds cool, does it not? Like Geo- Geo Mage? Sounds freaking awesome. Geo Warrior? I don't know what a geo is. Is it? It's probably sorcery. I think it's. I think it's sorcery. A geomancer. That's what you are. You're a geomancer. Get a giant ice block. It's so much fun. Like a pyromancer, but geo. It doesn't actually have an AOE though. You have to hit the target, which kind of makes sense. I can't see this guy. I'm going down there. Getting my hands dirty. Oh, yeah. That's a lot of Saurians. That's what I thought was about to happen as soon as I got down here. 
Here's my idea. You ready? I got a, I got a plan. No, plan fail because of fall damage. And the fact that it takes years to get up. All right, what doesn't really work for these guys? Like at all. I should have not jumped down here. This is, this is a bad idea. This is a mistake. Oh no, there's more. Alright, that'll stun him for a second. Get him off of me. Die, you stupid lizards! Dude, fighter? Unbelievable against Geo... Uh, Geomanders. I'm calling him Geomanders from now on. That's a cool name. Do the rings of the West and cast time work on MA? Did Brandon said no. Oh, that sucks. I was wondering if they did. I don't have a mod, but I thought maybe they might. That's the lame. Rocks are not exactly weak against electricity. This is true. Might I be of assistance? Has to be one of the most fun skills in the entire game. Yeah. Bloop. Actually, if I remember correctly, this is really good against Minotaurs, specifically. I don't think it'd be good against a dragon. Obviously, fire damage. Free aim the blaze thing and it aims for you. I actually never free aim blaze thing. Oh, yeah, look at that. They're like a uh, little homing orb. How far is the range if you do that, though? Let's see. Well, it aimed at a bird, so we're feeling real good about that. It aimed at another bird. Ooh. I still like the, the aim down sights myself a little bit better, but that is pretty cool. Such a weird area, because there's only three wisps, and that's it. Get this class by heading to the hot springs. You get this class right here. See this guy? This dwarf right here? You have to talk to him and do his quest. And then you get it. It's on the map right here. By this campsite. You take the guy here, bring him to his house. Then you're going to take him bring him to the hot springs. So in a roundabout way, yes. Won't get stuck in the aim when things just get close. Yeah, it's probably better to use that when things are close, that's true. I think the uh, the homing yourself is a little bit better for big monsters and things like that. Probably good for if you're trying to, you know, snipe from far away. So far, Blaze Fang, obviously fantastic. Nothing really beats that cold, though. That cold was doing some crazy damage. I'm gonna use... Let me use this one for a while. I'm, I'm into it. I like the giant iceberg. It's fun. It really is. It's a fun ability. Use Blaze and Ricochet. Most damage, seemingly. Ricochet, especially, man. I think having Arctic on at all times is a great idea. Just because, look at the stagger that I'm able to do. That's very, very valuable for big stuff. And then Blaze Fang would be my fire option if I needed all elements. Most impressive, Master. Let us not get ahead of ourselves. The battle continues. Why do you come after me in the first place? <laughs> you can just make the iceberg so massive, it's cracked me up. Grace, get out of my face! 
She doesn't need to be near you to cast stuff. I don't know why she wants to stand on top of my head. Stupid Grace. Oh, that's gonna hurt tomorrow, dude. Except for I didn't hit anybody. This one's way better for big stuff. Obviously, just because stagger is usually better for big stuff anyway, but... You can actually fire it pretty quick if you want to. It's got a hefty stamina requirement, just because of how powerful it is. Definitely worth it, though. What's up, First Sword? Just commented about Magic Archer on the fighter video. Oh, did you really? Nice. They're friendly fire with those spells? No, you're never going to really hit your pawns. Frost Hunter is a much better ice skill. I don't know. I, I like having this one on just because of... Frost Hunter probably is better in terms of damage, though. It's kind of crazy. I like the instant stagger this one has over Sag... I like Sagittate's damage. I prefer the stagger of this one. The golem. Freaking golem, dude. <laughs> My one weakness. Can't do any damage to golems. I think Blaze Fang might actually... Let's try. I remember something from this class being able to damage golems. The result of volcanic activity, I expect. Remain Martyr's Bull actually now completely kills them except for one tiny crystal, which is cool. Don't have that, so not usable. I think it might do blunt damage, which I think this means I can actually kill it. Well, not if I miss, but... Yes! I can hurt the uh, crystals. Actually, it does pretty significant damage. It'd be a hefty one, though. He's got a lot of health. It's a big boy. Oh, and he's on me. Get him off of me. Where's my fighter pawn when I need her? Why can't I go under his leg? All of a sudden... Genius! I'm gonna run the back here. Didn't quite get it. This does work, though. I was worried that I didn't have any options for this guy. It's kind of hard to hit. It usually likes to aim off of the spot. Oh, here we go. Right on the arm. Ooh, and I think I knocked him. I did. Golem is teleporting in and out of the floor. It's a cool ability I didn't know they had. Oh, I missed again. Does it freeze? I don't think it freezes. Oh, he's going crazy. All right, everything's broken, except for, I believe, his hand. And, oh, crap, that's going to hurt. Did not see that one coming. An excellent strategy. Allow me to Can't really get a good shot on it. There it is. Come on. No, it went away as soon as I found it, I think. Maybe not quite yet. Dude's falling all over the place. I can't get an angle on it. He fell over and protected himself with a really nice angle. What a punk. We shot himself. Did no damage. Fell over again. Once again, getting a good angle where I can't shoot him. What a genius. One hit away, guys. Crafty little golem. 
I don't know if it's the terrain that's messing with this AI, but something is. Oh, Oliel's moving his head. Don't move the head towards me. No, Oliel. What are you doing? Stop it. Bad pawn. She's trying to kill me. My pawn is an assassin. She literally moved that thing right towards me. Arctic should leave a frost block on the ground for pawns to throw like for gore. That's a good point. Yeah, that would be a nice idea. Look at the knockdown. Smoosh. You gotta love that. Alright, let me get rid of some of this crap in my inventory. Ooh, it's this stuff, yeah. <laughs> the slap. Dude, when a golem hits you, they just back- they, they literally just backhand you so hard, you fall on your face. It's a massive hit every single time. Magic metals are good money. They're really good money, because you can get a lot of them, too. Golems drop, like, thousands of metals. Tested Sporfic Arrow yet? Yes, I have. Uh, I need to use it more, though. I quit using it because I was messing with the ice and the fire. I have it on still. I was putting everything to sleep and then wailing on it. We're hoping for a mi Oh, crap. That was terrifying. There's an entire health bar right there. Then I did not hit him. I did burn him though. Where's he going? He's a dumb little mentor. Oh, he's back! I called him dumb too soon. He's back asleep. And I can call him dumb if I want. I told you, Blaze Fang was good for a certain enemy. I can't remember what it was, but it was the Minotaur. It's too bad this cavern is really goofy with the camera. Completely annihilates Chim or, uh, Gore Chimera. Or Freaking whatever the name is. Minotaurs. Jeez. Absolutely destroys them. It's so much fun. I do think it's good against Chimeras too. We were recently having fun with uh, knocking griffins and drakes out of the air with Sporfic. Oh, I didn't even think about that. That's a cool idea. Let's see how fast I can spam it. You can spam it decently fast. Should I sleep at Trent? Nah, I'm not gonna go for that Delane. That Delane never shows up for me. Sleep into a big ice block to the face sounds neat. Oh, we'll try that next. How about that? That does sound like a fun one. It's called a Grim Minotaur. They always call him Gore because I I never checked the actual name of him. So I play most games. I call things whatever I feel like, and then people call me out for it. Eventually, I learn the name. One way or another. Sometimes people get really mad if you say it the wrong way, too. Oh, I knew he was going to do it. Thieves are a magic archer's biggest nightmare. They're so fast. There's, n it's like, nothing you have. They're your ultimate enemy. You literally have nothing on them. You just use basic abilities, usually. 
You really don't want to be using skills on humans most of the time. I don't like the free game on Magic Archer. I, re I don't like it. It's just weird. It doesn't feel right to me. I feel like I should be aiming down sights. Or aiming down the bow, whatever you want to call it. This It's just terrible, too. It aims the wrong way for no reason. Where's my team? I just can't get it off. There's more bandits here than there usually are. My biggest weakness, humans. Yes, that's where I wanted that to land. Thank you. That's kind of wonky with the camera. Like, why did that turn three times? I'm coming at you, Archer. Get the heck out of here. There was a lot of human- I've never seen this many bandits here. They were prepared. They had me, uh, they had me all trapped up. It's a Grim Ogre? Oh, really? Ricochet Hunter perfect for caves? Yeah, Ricochet Hunter is amazing for caves. No. Stupid dogs. Get out of here. Amazing for dogs. If you can get it off. Sometimes you can't get it off. I see, again, I don't like... It just doesn't aim properly. Like, it aims at a rock. Why are you aiming at the rock, dude? There might be a Cyclops over here. I think the go the Minotaur was in the way, though. There's probably nothing else. Sometimes you can get two of them, but usually only one. Which I'm assuming is what happened here. Yep. I'm thinking that we try and use... Yeah, over here. Yeah, here we go. The, uh, the Arctic Bolt on, like, the Dragon. That'll be a good test. Yes, it just doesn't... It doesn't... Even directly in front of the enemy, it doesn't aim well. It also doesn't charge up very well. I just hit a rock. Just hit a rock. Ooh, nailed the Succubi. Succubi, I believe, are resistant to ice as well. Come at me, bro. Nailed it. The stamina cost of... That might be an advantage of the other ice ability. I think the stamina cost of the other one is much lower. I can't remember because I can't compare the two right now, but it seems like it is. This one's pretty hefty. Hardest fight in the game is a group of humans right before the dragon. They stagger you to death. I know, right? I wasn't the only one. Gee, I died like four times in a row to that. So annoyed. So far, I like Frostfang more, especially paired with the sorcerer's Haggle, the freeze bosses. I never use Haggle much. Not a big Haggle fan. I like the, um, the Frigor quite a bit better. He said the pawn fight's awesome. Very easy to get stacked. Dude, I'm telling you, the first time I got to that pawn fight, I got killed like four times in a row. Getting staggered to death. I was so irritated. I'm like, this is stupid, bro. I was getting mad. That was kind of funny. What's a goal here? I think this is all that's here until town, right? Yeah. We can try and go to the second location here, too. They might have had the second dragon. I haven't had him respawn yet, but maybe. What was that? You can sleep? Oh, look at this. Okay, that didn't work. All right. It looked cool. I thought I was going to be able to sleep him, and then it did not work at all. Sleep. How about half? Does half work? Half works on hobgoblins.
That's actually really funny. It's pretty good for all these small dudes. You just like keep spamming it on them and you get a bunch of them to at least fall down for a second. That's crazy that freaking Magic Archer, one of the strongest classes, gets access to sleep. You'd think the Archer would have gotten sleep. That's pretty funny. Yeah, I don't really like the free aim that much. Freeze is good for keeping Drake's grounded. Yeah, it's really good for that. Drake's and Griffin's keeps him down pretty well. Dang it, flew the other way as soon as I used that. It's lame. That's it. I can't hit her. I'm just AoE her. It wasn't working. Archer had sleep. Heavenly arrow would be crazy. That's what I'm saying, dude. Imagine that combo right there. That'd be nuts. That combo would be ridiculous. Hey, fighter pawn. Do your fighter thing, huh? These enemies are kind of dumb. Like, they just sometimes crawl up a rock for no reason. The only downside to really see with support pick is that pawns are impatient. Yeah, you gotta really tell them to wait a couple of times. Even sometimes they still don't get the... the hint. I will say, I think I like this ability for the... The rock Saurians a little bit better than the other ice one. Seems to take them out a bit faster. Take care where you place your feet. A the music just abruptly turned off. That was weird. Alright, let's see if I can activate this this far away. I should be able to. That's how you use it right there. This would be a really, real. I mean, you would never take this off for playing solo. You'd use this all the time just to kill enemies so that they don't deal any damage to you at all. I will hold the enemy still. And its power is really solid too. I sustain yours to wield. Need to go for a Dominable Slash? That's true. Good point. Good point. A Dominable Slash would work well too, though. It's got a lot of power behind it. I think I just put all of them to sleep. I just put all of them to sleep. That's so cool. I'm actually really starting to like it more and more the more I use it. It's a really cool way to play the game. Just put enemies to sleep. Arkham Might's a bit of a meme. Charge takes so long. It depends on how you use it. There's a, there's a couple... I've gotten it to be really, really good, but the charge time is a bit ridiculous sometimes. Using it specifically as a finisher can actually be really strong. Or if you know you have so much stagger. Like on a Medusa, there's a couple of times where if she's slithering up a, a wall or something that you can almost guarantee you're going to hit her, so that's not too bad. I haven't really tried how well Mage Pawns use the sleep skill. I, yeah, I didn't even... <laughs> I didn't even remember they had one. They have a silence. Problem with silence is it doesn't work that well. If an enemy silences you, you're silenced for about five minutes. If you silence an enemy, it's two seconds. It only works to stop a spell. It doesn't actually inflict a debuff very long, which is kind of dumb. But also a little bit understandable, because that would be kind of crazy. 
Like, imagine silencing a lich. They're just done. They can't play anymore. I actually haven't tried that on a lich. That could be kind of cool. To grow overburdened if you keep picking up every little trinket you find. Yeah, silence is awesome on Drakes. You just stop them from... I think it... Can you stop them from flying? I don't know. I know you can stop their meteor skill, though. in the face. This one actually does quite a bit of damage to Drakes. Sometimes. It really does depend on the hit. Like, sometimes it'll do a bunch of damage and not stagger, and then other times it does no damage and staggers. It's <laughs> so weird. Gonna do, buddy. That I will take. Look at that damage. It's slow damage, but it is good. Ow. Problem is, you really can't hit the heart. You gotta go for the head, otherwise, you're gonna miss. Yeah, I don't know why that hit his hand. <laughs> I don't know why it hit his hand, but it did. Aw, you don't know how to aim, stupid little dragon. Ooh, that's a big one. It says it staggered him, and I broke his AI. Look at that. did it again. If you charge it up all the way, that's the difference. It does, like, insane amounts of damage. Get out of the way, Grace. Yeah, see, like, why didn't that stagger? I've actually supposedly staggered him four times already and hasn't done it. I'm just stopping him from doing any attack, though. <laughs> it's doing the sounds, but he's not getting staggered. I don't know what the deal is. That one I missed. I did not hit the head that time. Yeah, the other ice ability definitely seemed like it, uh... It was a bit better. Just because the stagger actually worked. I don't think the stagger is working here. There we go, finally. What if I hit the heart with this? I never tried that. It's pretty terrible. That's what I figured. It's not going to hit it. It's going to hit his leg first. That's why it's better on the head, because it actually hits his head. Freaking missed. Classic. It's a bit delayed. Like, I am staggering him. It basically stops all his meteors, though. And you're done. How to Ice Cuba Dragon! Ice Cuba Dragon! That's such a fun ability. Should I sleep on him? Oh shoot, I was gonna do that. My bad. So our Dark Bishop and Batal, and they're really annoying. Now the boss are nearby because they can resurrect them. Oh, true.
Yeah, I do think the other ice ability is better, though. After you guys keep saying stuff about it, you're probably right. Your weapon enchanted? Uh, as in Dragonforged? Yes. Other than that, uh, it don't have nothing else on it. Crap. What do I want to use? I use the flame. You mean like upgraded forge wise? I did the, uh, I did, what did I do? I did Elven 1, and then I did 2 Dwarven, because I decided to switch into that. Drop and discard rotted meat. Yeah, I've, I heard that's pretty useful. I use it like one time. I haven't used it too much, though. I feel like I could use it to keep him from grabbing me, though. That'd be kind of nice. I use it more early on, too. Yeah, so I have one Elven and then two Dwarven. I could put on two stagger rings too. I just did. I took them off for stamina. I figured I probably didn't need them. Let's go sleep so it's not nighttime. Kind of annoying. Ah, excellent find. Come here. Do I have any dragon forge glow? Use the mod to get rid of the ugly texture, but my gear still glows. I don't know. None of my gear ever glows. Unless that's the glow right there, and that might be it. My, magic your weapon with the fury My armor, on the other hand, is not Dragonforge, so that might be why you're thinking that. Just beat the unmoored world? Congrats, Preston. That's such a fun uh, experience. Lots of stuff to fight over there. Ring of Proximity? Probably? I don't know for sure, though. I do believe our party would stand to benefit from the addition of a sorcerer. Magic Curious about the stagger potential? I, this class in general seems to have absurd stagger potential. No matter what. The thing about the other ice ability, though, was when I was using the other one, it was attacking so often that it was just staggering everything, so... I think, especially if you put on the two stagger rings, you'd have such an easy time. You know, I'd not recommend camping. I'd not recommend camping. I can give you a reef over your head. Shall we get some rest, then? Shush, lady. Quiet. Yeah, this is random armor I brought. I bought today because I wanted to try and up my fashion for Magic Archer. Sadly, Magic Archer has like nothing cool in terms of uh, armor. I trust we've all inspected. You know, I'd not recommend. Kind of lame, actually. Wait me the blanket of ash. Was pretty disappointed about it, but what are you gonna do? Oh! That looks even cooler in the menu. I didn't even notice that. Alright, so Oliel has a lot of my foods. No, that's not what I want to do. I want to put those back. Man, I'm full on so many things. I need to stop picking stuff up. Ooh, I got a staff from one of the liches. Probably. I assume. All right, I need to withdraw that tent. I actually should probably grab a better tent. I think I have a really good one. Aha! Beautiful tent. I can give you a roof over your head at least. Much obliged. What's my level? My level is 112. Hundred and twelve. All right, let's go to the right this time. I need to buy the two fairy stones, though, so don't forget. Well like the God's Beast scale coat. See, I don't know if that one I had. I think that one had those weird flail things on the arms. I hate that on the arms. I refuse to use anything that has it. Pack up and leave. Always a pleasure. Our packs are heavier, and our purses far lighter. 
Not even near the poor crystal. Now we can return to this location whenever we've a fairy stone to hand. So I can't do those arms. Yeah, we were complaining about it earlier. They just look so dumb. <laughs> they they really do. Has a cool one sold in Sacred Arbor. Yeah, someone did say that. I haven't been there though. I need to head over eventually. Do I have a port crystal over there? I think I did at one point, but I don't know if I kept it. I do not. But I can walk over there. There's some monsters to fight. All right, now we're gonna use, I think, the blaze arrow because it's pretty good for most of these enemies. I shan't allow any further harm to come to you. Godspeed says kind of big sleaze, but not the weird stuff hanging from the arms. Okay, that's all I really care about. Like it just doesn't track. I guess you don't need it to track because it blows up everything in the freaking world, but. Here we go. Oh man, the power of this thing pack. It just don't track at all. I, I hate that so much. For, it's good for Archer, and for some reason, Magic Archer, it just doesn't work. It literally aims at the worst spot. You have to be really up close to get it to even track properly. It does not flash your screen as much. Yeah, I have to be like mid-range. That's why it wasn't working. The Gorm Minotaur. It's kind of like a massive explosion though. It looks really cool that way. Because you're backed up, you can actually see a good side of it. Some of the Elven gear looks really cool. Yeah, I haven't been over there in a while. I need to go check it out. Headshot. Shut up. Oh, another headshot. Kind of. I think I might have missed it, actually. Oh, that's a headshot right there. It does a lot of damage to these guys. Ha, ah, I survived. It's a very bright flash of absolute raw power. Free aim, the Magic Archer was better in the first game. Yeah, the free aim is pretty terrible. But, I mean, you, you do have to be up close. So at least I know how to use it. No MA is powerful, but are you having fun with it? Just curious. Oh, yeah, I love it. It's a blast. The, like I said, Magic Archer has some really unique stuff. That's that's the fun part about it. It's a lot of unique abilities. Okay. Let's um, try and test this again. Oh, yeah. About this range right here. That's actually pretty good. Just gotta figure out the gimmick of it, really. No way out, bro. I hate that roll attack. That's gotta be one of my least favorite attacks in the game. It's so annoying. Like, every time you see it happening, if you're not already sprinting, you know you're getting hit by it. It's so frustrating because you, you can see it coming from a mile away and there's nothing you can do. That's the worst kind of attack to get hit by. One you know you can see coming but can't avoid it. It gets me every time too. It's not so bad on fighter because I can actually block it but... It was pretty tough on archer too to be fair. But to play Magic Archer without the Master Skill, it's kind of better to do Warfare for extra Stagger Resist. 
Well, I think the only main reason is for better armor, right? Must be for real right now. <laughs> so I don't have to wear this trash. That'd be kind of cool, though. You could run the fighter armor and then wear... Use a magic bow? That would look kind of weird. But also cool at the same time. Kind of glad Tenfold Fury was nerfed to not allow special arrows in DD2. Can Tenfold with explosive was ridiculous? Dude, it was insane. It was insane. They didn't even bring back Tenfold Flurry. That's how OP it was. They're like, nah, it's too good. It really was. Tenfold Flurry kind of nullified any reason to use any other skill. Except for some fun ones like Great Gamble. Great Gamble was a blast. No hate on Greg Gamble, because that is a beauty of a skill. I have so many of these guys. You're actually dumb for that. Right in the face. Absolutely destroyed. Thank you, kind. you get the 461 KD resist, then you can tank one hit from Lava Lizards. You must not let down your guard, even for a moment. Interesting. This one takes a long time to charge up. It's kind of a negative, actually. It does take quite a while to charge that up. Oh, I can put uh, Geosaurians to sleep. I didn't even think about this. Battle is best avoided here. I wonder if I could put slimes to sleep. Let's see. No. It's very quick and rapid. No. These guys kind of sneak up on you, don't they? They try, at least. Man, it looks so cool. That That's really, at the end of the day, the end of the day, it's just about fun, bro. The ice cube is fun. It looks hilarious. Might not be as good as the other one, but it's hilarious. Alright, here we go. I was going to try this Porphic Bolt on him. Imagine Tempest Shot with explosive arrows. That's what I'm talking about. That would be insane. Tempest Shot would be king at that point. That'd be so fun. Just do, 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 do. Right on the enemy's face. There's a ridiculous amount of enemies on this path. I have no idea why. It's so absurd. It, it's just insane. You can deal with them decently well, too. It's just like there's a massive amount of them. What is it? Is it a dragon? Can't tell. Might mean it's a dragon. Kills a slime in one hit. My team comp of pawns is warrior, mage, and sorcerer. Not getting knocked around much, though high palladium is crazy good. Yeah, high palladium is pretty nuts. Honestly. I really all of pawns buffs are or a mage buffs are crazy. Mage in general is just a nutty class. It was good in the first game too, but like it's just insane this time. There's so many good buffs for the player. It's so good, in fact, that running two mages is not a bad idea. In the first game, there was really not a reason to do that, ever. At least I don't think there was. I would have preferred not to have to fight so soon, but at least I know I am up to the challenge. The foremost priority is to douse those flames. Oh, am I on pinpoint? I am on pinpoint. My bad. Okay, so there's nothing up here. There's no golem or dragon. Intriguing. They've duped me. Can the dragon fly up on one of the cliffs? I don't think so. 
telling you, I think it's a one-time dragon. All right, well, we have not been to the entire top half of the map. So I think what we need to do here is teleport to Har Village and go all the way up around. And here I am not running any mage bonds. Fair enough. Mage feels really weak starting out in the first game, especially in hard mode. Definitely. I mean, there's no question about that. 100%. The problem with Mage, if you compare the two games, is in the sequel, there is no reason to play Mage as in the Arisen. There's no reason. He has nothing unique or cool to use. In the first game, this was not entirely true. He had a couple different spells that weren't the same as Sorcerers. Especially the ability that lets you like freeze enemies in place was pretty cool. Even then, though, it really... You really, most of the time, didn't play Mage. I mean, it was just kind of a random thing or just to level it up. But it is a difference. I don't think there's almost any reason to play Mage in this one. What if I did a lane? They only spawn before the night ends. When it starts to dawn, you get a little time to beat them as well. Well, that's why I never see them, because I always... discovered a treasure chest hereabouts during my last journey beyond the rift. I always try to spawn him in from sleeping. That explains a lot, actually. I can foresee no reason not to go see it up close. I think we'll take a left up to the Elven area, maybe? And then we'll go to Vernworth? Might be a good idea. Playing Grapple Mage in DD1 was a version of Trickster. Yeah, Grapple was actually kind of fun. I mean, it was pretty... I mean, if you could freeze your enemy, it was really neat. This one seems to track better than the the frost iceberg. That one doesn't track very well. Mage is such a good pawn, though. Yeah, that's the thing. It's like it's very clearly a pawn class, which is fine. I, I don't mind it playing its role at all. I think it would have been cool to give. Uh, I don't really see any benefit to it, but it would have been kind of cool if a pawn could have a unique vocation that you couldn't have. That'd be kind of nifty. Would that add anything to the game? Probably not, but it's kind of a neat idea. Like, what would you give it? I don't even know. It'd have to be something not too cool, so people don't complain that they can't use it, but also useful enough to actually pick it over something else. Trickster. <laughs> Give him Trickster. Imagine how powerful that would be, though. Like, seriously? Giving a pawn a buff that just increases your damage by an exponential amount? That would be really insane. They could be like a glass cannon pawn. Or they die very easily, but if you're able to protect them, you would get a massive damage boost. And so pairing that up with Fighter would be incredibly valuable. Because Fighter would actually be able to protect him. Or a Warrior too, that, that would make the Shout abilities really good. Remnant 2 Ultimate Edition also contains any future DLC? Yes, it does, Tran. At least the next three, yeah. Sounds neat, but in practice, then all the pawns would just be that vocation. Yeah, that's that's what I was thinking, too. I was like, it's probably how that would be. Yeah. I was thinking the same thing. I really can't hit him with that blazing arrow. I like... I'm starting to enjoy using it like that, but I just can't hit those guys. We'll go up to the elven area. I kind of want to see if there's better armor anyway. There's usually some ogres up there, too. Would need to triple the enemies to balance the kind of power. Yeah, true.
Such a massive explosion. I love it. It seriously has to be one of my favorite abilities from this class. Beautiful. Want to know why pawns can't be M-A-M-S, then do escort quests with two masters? Way too strong. Fair enough, actually. Fair enough. Imagine if a pawn could use their health to insta-kill an enemy. That'd be insane, bro. Martyrs bold, everybody. I'm telling you what, I miss Magic Archer's pawn ability from the first game. So much fun. You take your pawn and you squish him into a magical bolt. Turn him into a rocket. How cool is that? That was on the ground when I got set on fire. That's wild. That was actually on the ground when I got set on fire. Yeah, if you're trying to be aggressive and up close, this actually works pretty well. Kind of like a, it's almost melee magic archer, but you're not, I mean, you're not actually meleeing. It's just kind of like the, the way you would use it, the range. Where'd these guys come from? They just spawned in. You tested any of the Magic Archer support that skills? No, that's next. I saved the... Arisen. I know of at least uh, the best lightning the ability. I can't remember. I can't even remember the name of that one for some reason. I saved the best lightning attack, so I have some damage, and then I'm gonna test all those at the same time. The revive, and I think the buff, and the defense as well. Because I'll have to give Oliel a weapon, probably, to use it appropriately. Just won't track. <laughs> but I bet you I can hit that guy from over here. Yep. You can do a lot of cool things with just this ability right here. Pretty early on, too. Yeah, Sagittate. Thank you. I can never remember. I can never remember. Good spot for harvesting ingredients. Shall we see if there's ought to be found while we're here? I think about the support skills is I really don't feel like you need them. They're probably only for way warfare where like you're gonna be buffing and then switching, I assume. But then if that's the case, why not just give them the warfare? Make it have some unique support skills? I don't know. I should have killed him, I think. Yeah, I did. Let my magic's grant you an elemental I Still have not found a griffin, guys. Where the heck are the griffins at? I wanted to shoot one of these with the fire abilities. Can't find him. Hiding from me. There should be one. Oh, no, I killed the one up there. There's one of the base areas still. Should be at least. <laughs> nice turn. Shield's pretty fun. More active since it only blocks one hit. Oh, really? Like, dude, I just gotta shoot you one time. Chill out. Yeah, how's that? I broke your dumb cart. Now get out of my way. Have I ever traveled this way? Yes, I have. I think there's a Minotaur on the path, actually. There can be, at least. I remember seeing one. See bullying in some innocent lizards? Yeah, that's, that's the way it goes. Shream. How good is this on wolves? It should be really good. The tracking doesn't just not work for me. Oh, tracking actually pretty good that time. Did you see that? It curved all the way around. I like how the leaves 
and the grass gets set on fire a little bit. I guess it's only the grass, not really the leaves. It doesn't actually disappear, but it gets set on fire. It's kind of funny. We mustn't allow ourselves to become well fought, We can ill afford to grow over. This gives you a good way to like slightly regen it before you use it. Feels pretty spammable this way. <laughs> Having a hole in my stomach, but sacrifice is worth it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Better hope so, right, Tran? See ya. So powerful. Damage buff from Trickster is very strong for the pawns, but it drains their HP, so a mage is necessary with it. That's yeah, true. Avoided, it, so you have two two pawns for damage, basically. Here, an enchantment of coal to freeze our foes. All right, that broke his armor. This is seriously such a good skill. It doesn't seem to work properly on this enemy though. On Minotaurs, it hits their weak spot. On these guys, it doesn't. Yeah, it just misses every time. It's kind of weird. Not how uh, melee combat works there, you big oaf. Nailed him. Oh, right in the face. Wow, that's a lot of fire. I'd like to use Bolt Chain a little bit more, but I really just don't see... I guess I could try it on a Minotaur. What if I use it on a group of goblins, maybe? Well, not a big fan of this one. I know Titan and some of the guys are really excited about it. I'm not a big fan. It's really cool. It's probably one of the more unique abilities from this class. It just kind of, yeah. Something for the trouble. Doesn't do it for me. It's a little bit more. What's the word? Like you have to, you have to put more effort into it to kind of. Make it work. The battle continues. Well said. The stagger is good, though. I mean, you're not wrong about that. Let my magic imbue your weapon with the fury of the elements. We'll sleep so it doesn't go nighttime on the wrong time. I think the armor may have taken priority because the AoE is so large, it broke one by one. I think you're probably right about that. I had that issue with another skill, too. Which one was it? It was an archer skill. Which one was that? I don't remember, but it was an archer skill that did that to me. Bolt chain stake on a Cyclops? I, I think you can do pretty good on the Cyclops. Just stun him real- I think that's really is how you're supposed to use it. I, I feel like it early on, again, some of these skills feel way better early on. This is another one. If you were to use it much earlier where enemies are going to take a while to kill, then you'd be able to stun him for a lot longer. The Malachite Forest. I call it the Magical Forest. a lot of wolves right there. I mean, that is a lot of wolves. Oh, 
Yeah, this is a must-have. This thing is so good. Man, I love this skill. Gonna break armor basic attack before using it? Yeah, that makes sense. Hello, Minotaur! I knew you'd be here somewhere. Let me get a good uh, angle. Let me get a good view of this guy real quick. There you are. He's sleeping. Alright, so now that we're up close, we're gonna spam it. Tracking is off, but it doesn't matter because the AOE should hit. Not sure how the stagger is on this skill. It doesn't seem that good. The damage is incredible, though. What did you say to me? Was that English? It was not. It was elvish. Got to alternate bolt chain with regular attacks for more damage. I like bolt chain, but damage is just bad, sadly. Yeah, I think I'm just going to use ricochet, personally. If I really need some lightning damage. Let's see. Where do I want to go here? Aha! If I go this way, there should be an ogre, maybe? Oh, look, 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 look. Wolves. Boom. Anytime I kill a wolf, I just feel satisfied because they're very annoying. There's a lot of them right here, too. Man, this one's fun, dude. This is a fun ability. One thing I've learned is that every skill is useful in some regard. It's very true. Yeah. There are often certain situations where some excel over others. Especially against certain enemy types. That's why uh, Bitter Black Isle is pretty cool, because there are so many more enemy types in the first game. In that area, that you really have to be like, okay, well, what skills do I want for this next area? Because I might have a really annoying enemy coming up. Especially since they kind of had midway checkpoints where you could change your skills and stuff. It's a pretty well-designed dungeon. The first time you do it, it's really annoying because you're really confused. And then the more you play it, it's actually a pretty solid dungeon overall. I don't think I went the right way. I think I was supposed to be down there. Never liked the tracking of a main. Always feels it chooses to shoot somewhere else for me. It really does sometimes. <laughs> it really does. It's just like, bro, aim where I want you to. Please. Okay, this is usually where the ogre is. If he shows up. We already got a minotaur, so we might not get another ogre. Actually, sometimes he's up here. We'll have to see. Hope we get some endgame zone with randomized enemy spawns. Randomized enemy spawns would be a cool idea. Yep, there's one up here. They they feel more random in this one than the first because they're not as precise, but they are they are pretty exact locations. They wander around a little bit, which makes it seem a bit different. In the first game, they didn't really wander that much, hardly at all. Well, let's do bolt chain, I guess. There we go. It looks so cool. I don't know why he ran already. This one actually tracks pretty well. It likes to hit the enemy. My guy's having some issues. Your aid would be appreciated. Together now, 
Hey, it staggered the crap out of him. Fire damage destroyed him after that. That was crazy. Yeah, that bolt chain can be weird sometimes. Like, on a couple of enemies, it just stun locks them to death, man. It's crazy. Wish there was a game where we could have a beautiful wolf companion outside the D&D-like video games. Torchlight. The original Torchlight 1. We could add a warrior to our ranks. You can have, I believe, a wolf as a pet. I don't remember. I think it was a wolf. There were two games, and they changed up what kind of animals there were. I think the first one, you could have a wolf. Either that or a dog. It is awesome. One of my favorite companion systems of all time is Torchlight 1 and 2. You get this little pet that follows you around. And you can give them stuff in your inventory to, like ease the weight of what you have in your pack and then you randomly throughout the dungeon anytime you want you can send them back to town and they'll actually sell stuff take it to merchants and sell stuff for you so while you're playing through the dungeons you can just continuously earn money and like not be overloaded the whole time with your weight it's actually a really cool system they would also help you fight too i believe uh who is it is this, this lady has armor yeah, shut up, lady. Yes, okay, she has armor. Archer's vest, the graceful tunic, Valkyrie scale coat. I think that's the one I'm wearing. No, I can't wear that one. I guess the graceful tunic looks good. I don't know. None of the magic archer stuff looks good. They did a terrible job giving this class armor. Burgundy coat, actually. Look. Ooh, elven go- Oh, I found it. I found it. I found it. Yes, I must have this. I must have this. This is perfection. See, the God's Beast scale coat looks horrible because these flappy arms. I don't like those flappy arms. It's the elven guard that I've been looking for. I wonder if there's a helmet that goes with it. No chance there's a helmet. Oh, there is. It's called the Confidence Hood, I think. Yes. All right, we're getting a new armor set. Get a new armor set. Um, I think I need to sell stuff, actually. I could just sell to her. The Chosen One? It does look pretty good so far. Had a thief pawn die in five seconds after the fight, my pawn said, It's been a while since we had a thief in our party. <laughs> I don't know why I found that so funny, but that is hilarious. Such a quirky game when it comes to the pawns and things like that. Alright, is that enough? That might be enough. Ta -da! Where are you, buddy? We Aha! Elven garb. 42,000? Yeah, I have enough for that. Tele yes! I don't look freaking stupid, bro! That's awesome! What about the helmet? I don't remember how much it costs. 1,200? No, it's a different one. 33? Daddy, Daddy, I have a bunch of stuff on my chest. Actually. Hold on. I think dragon? I can sell the dragon I stuff. The worm life crystals? Yeah, I have 51. Oh, yeah, I'm rich. I forgot. I forgot how rich I am. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Now, is there boots that go with it? I think I have on decent boots. Evergreen? Oh, my word. That looks so good. That's, clear that's clearly what matches the set. Yeah, that's pretty good. And then is there a cloak? If I could get a cool cloak for it. Nah, none of these cloaks are that good. This one doesn't look horrible, actually. Oh no, it has the stupid arm things! I hate this game. <laughs> it's ruining the game for me, dude. 
Oh, I didn't even think to check the arms. They look so freaking dumb, bro. I can't do it. I cannot do it. I, I just wasted money. The helmet looks better, though. The helmet actually does look better. I'm so unsatisfied right now. I'm so unsatisfied. I thought for sure they wouldn't have them. Not doing it, bro. I'm not wearing those stupid arm things. They look so dumb. I'm protesting. I'm actually protesting. I will... <laughs> Going on strike. I'm not playing this game until they fix it. Nah, they need to add better armor. That's that's bad, dude. That's bad. I do have a new helmet, though. I like the new helmet. I think I have these greaves on. The greaves I have on look fine. Way to bum me out, bro. Who has the uh, fairy stone? I need to buy that. Use a cloak that hides it? There isn't... There isn't, man. I tried. It doesn't. It doesn't hide it enough. It's. It's just too prevalent. Crazy. It's the best looking armor set too, and it just it has those dumb flappy things. Look, I'm a bird. <laughs> All right, to Avernworth we go, and onward into the. Maybe a dragon. We might find a dragon. Does not want to trip over the sleeves? They're long, dude. They're the longest sleeves of all time. Like, why would you want that as an archer? Let's do this. I gotta admit, I'm happy they brought back the uh, the bow from the first game though, because this the magic archer bow looks so good. I think the rest of the drip makes for the sleeves. I I don't know if it makes up for it. Uh, it does look really good. It's just that the sleeves are so. I'm so against them. All right, what have we not been using too much of? Saporific bolt. We'll use a bit more of the. Arctic as well, I think, maybe. Oh yes, Griffin. We were gonna go until we found a Griffin, because I need to try the fire on that. I wanted to try the other fire ability on it too, but I the Griffins are all hiding today. I don't know what they're doing. Yesterday we fought a Griffin every ten minutes. It was actually crazy. Shall I escort you there, Master? Looks a bit slimy compared to the one in the first. I don't know. Maybe. It looks it looks pretty good though still. I just die a hot weapon. You have my protection. It's funny because your your bow actually will not lock on to Passive animal. animal. <laughs> it's like, why? Why won't it lock on? There's a cow right in front of me. I can't lock on to it. Usually the griffin can spawn here. I wonder if I kill the cows. Maybe he'll spawn in? No, that's not how it works. He's scared. That's what he is. He knows he's gonna die in like two hits. The funny thing is, the only griffin we fought today was the one that was actually in his nest. They're not usually in their nest. I wonder if all of them are right now. Wearing the elegant petticoat as my magic archer, but my arisen is a woman. Mm, that might take into account how it looks. This one I don't hate, it just doesn't look Magic Archer to me. It looks more... Bard kind of feel to it. Ooh, 
There's not too much on this path until I actually get to the big monster. A lot of small goblins and things. But there's usually a Cyclops and a Minotaur. Cyclops, I'm going to try and use the Blazing Arrow again. I want to see how it actually performs. Hate the petticoat. Almost as overused as the corset. Really. The advantage, or the, really the advantage of the Arctic Bolt is it might be one of the only abilities that kills the golems. Now I'm thinking, I'm trying to think of other abilities that do. It might be the only one. How often do you run into golems, though? I mean, there's what, like four? I think there's four spawns. There's one here. This is a possible golem. There's one behind the Chimera and the Dragonforge guy. There's one possible in the volcanic area. There's one by the Sphinx. There's one by the Sphinx. Here, an enchantment of cold to freeze our bones. I shan't let the cold. I don't know if that one's guaranteed. I think it is though. Throw every pawn I see with the the corset to the brine, sick of seeing it. Nice. That's funny. What do we got here? It's probably another golem. It hasn't been a minotaur in a while. First, like, three times I was here as a minotaur. No, it hasn't been in a while. Yeah, it's not here. Stupid minotaur not showing up for me. It's fine. We know of the other one. He's here somewhere. Was it the griffin? I'm looking everywhere for this griffin, dude. I don't think they exist. I think they're all dead. How? I didn't kill any. They have to be, though. The mysteriously vanished from the world. Favorite pawns with legions might being amazing by using secret tokens you find. Or by every secret token you find. Bloody cheater risen everywhere. <laughs> if you get the elemental effects of both elements if a pawn enchants your bow. Uh, no, it usually overrides. You're not able to get double. That's how it works with most of the enchants of the game, actually. Thief has an enchant that does the same thing. It just overrides whatever one you had. I shot him, but it took too long to come off. See ya! I'm telling you, I cannot stop using this thing. It's so much fun. The fact that it's AoE is as big as it is, is just insane to me. But trying a shield only fighter run it was more viable in DD1 with Bloody Knuckles, but still fun. Yeah, Bloody Knuckles were pretty crazy, weren't they? They were awesome. Let us instead strive to better ourselves with every battle. Your shield, especially, was just so powerful. You put those on, you just bash stuff to death. This is nutty. Alright, well, there's one. I think he can't be slept because he's in that fire animation yet. Let's 
How long does he stay there, though? Gotta get this set up properly. Oh, game, calm down. So sleep's actually pretty good. You can get it off. Fire, I don't think is gonna be, you know, it's a dragon, so. Stagger might be enough to keep him down, though. It seems we have enraged our foe. Now, while the heart is exposed. Still, best thing is both the ice abilities. It's going to be really hard to get away from those because they're so powerful for dragons. Spider Pawn is clearly... I told him to wait, that's why he's not doing anything. Come on, Lightning. Oh, there's Sleep. Let's see what Sleep does now. Nothing, because I think I didn't charge it. There we go. Charged it that time. I think this and the ice would be really good. Archer doesn't really have a skill to exploit this time frame of him just sitting here, though. That's the problem. I can get him into it, but then I can't do anything. Yeah, he's just gonna leave. He, he, Magic Archer literally just doesn't have a skill to exploit that. Unless you're gonna spam the ice... Uh... Whatever it's called. The other ice flurry ability. None of the stuff I have works very well. Sleep seems okay, though. I mean, if you had a warrior pawn or something that could charge up Arc of Might, that could be a really good... setup for that. Warfare would be amazing, obviously. You could just switch to war- oh crap. You switch to warfare and then you'd sleep him and then you could like do a charge attack or whatever you wanted with warrior. Magic Archer, you're really just gonna spam whatever ice attack you have. That's the most efficient way to take them down. Because both of your attacks are really good. I guess Sagittate would probably be pretty good too. Yeah, the basic attack- do you, they do pretty good damage, but they wake him up is the problem. When he wakes up, I I like to have more of a high damage instant attack, which I don't. Let me see. I wanted to. What did I want to test? Oh, Blaze Fang Air. I wanted to see what that did. Okay, so it does a lot of damage when they don't have armor. the impact. Stagger's not amazing. Damage is very good, though. Oh! That was awesome. I nailed him. I literally hit him right in the face with a giant ice cube. That was cool. Look there. Methinks I spy ought of use. Hit a Drake in the tail with sleep once and it still flew away. Darn. Armored Cyclopses can be kind of annoying. There are a lot of attacks that just kind of don't work properly until you get rid of all the armor. And they actually have quite a bit of armor, too. I think it's a good thing, though, because armor really didn't feel like that big of an obstacle in the first one. Once you took out one spot, it was just kind of gone. 
Last thing I want to do is fight a Chimera, because I want to see how the Blaze Arrow does on a Chimera. I also want to test the ice on him, too. Hitting a lion right in the face with the ice cube sounds awesome. Every time they freeze, I just shoot the one quick sleep shot and they fall back down. Most impressive, master. The sleep does seem pretty consistent. At least that's... a good aspect of it. Man, that AoE is unbelievable. I have to sleep so it doesn't turn night down. We really cannot find a griffin, guys. I, I don't know what's going on. There's no griffins in the game anymore. <laughs> They're gone. What's up, Dauntless? Had to trick Cyclopses into taking off their helmet in the first game? Yeah, you just got up on them, and then you would wait until they did that. And then... You just cut their face open, you know? It's a strategy that worked every time, so... Well, we've eaten our fill. What say we settle our stomachs with a few hours sleep? Yeah, every class has a different attack animation when you tackle an enemy and pin them down. No, I did not, because I never used that feature. That's pretty cool, though. I never really used a tackle in either games, really. I don't know why. Just never found it necessary, really. Of course, Cyclops in the first game or something else, especially the armored ones. But dude, the Gore Cyclopses were mean looking, too. They were. They were tough. They're real tall and very aggressive. Same with ogres, too. Though. Like, they nerfed ogres in this game. Ogres are not even really, not even early on, they don't attack. The only time they're a danger is when they get enraged and they start charging and drop kick you. That's really the only thing they do. Or they'll grab. Sometimes they grab. See, like, why did it aim over there? There's no reason for it to do that. Oh, but it turned all the way around. In the first game, ogres were pretty darn tough. They had the same attack moveset, I think, but they really just didn't. I feel like they were more of a threat. I think they might have been shorter in the first game, too. I think they looked more like, uh... Angry Troll. I can't... I don't know what the, what the design is like. They look more like large monkeys in this one. They're very similar in design, but I think there's slight differences. Height may be the main thing. I'm not sure, though. It's been a while since I've seen one. Attack more frequently. Yeah, that was the biggest difference for sure. And this one, they kind of stand around a lot. They really wanted it to be like a lesser monster. That wasn't too difficult to take down. They were way more rare, too, in the first one. There was two in a cave. Two of them in a cave that never respawned. And then... That was it. For the base game. I think those are the only two ogres. No, there was one in the Everfall, too. Not the Everfall, but, like, the... Under the city area? There was one under there as well. That was the first one you'd probably see. So there's three in the base game? Now, in the BBI, they had... Dude, they had... Ogres with so much health. I like seven, eight, nine health bars, maybe. And they were pretty darn tough in BBI. They showed up a lot more there. Even then, they weren't that common. They usually had... Probably like Cyclopses, Dragons, Eliminators, uh, just other things instead of those guys. Freshly rested as we are. There's three in the cave you mentioned, two by the Abbey. Oh, really? Freaking phone. I hate I can do no less in to the updates on my phone, dude. They just like... You want to update your phone? Huh? No, I don't want to update my freaking phone. Leave me alone.
next day after you update it. You want to update your phone? Dude. Chill out. Like, I don't want to update anything. Okay, this should be... Yeah, Minotaur. I'm gonna hit him with the eye shot. No, I'm gonna sleep him. Wait here, wait here, wait here. What's the plan? What's the plan? What's the plan? I got this. Ready? Oof. Wow, I'm walking really slow. Dang it! I'm trying to throw her out of here. Quit it. Let my magic spawn you in an elemental ring. Can't do it. <laughs> He's on top of my head. There we go. All right, she's dead. I think. No, you're so stupid. You're actually an idiot. This better is saved. He jumped in after her. How? <laughs> Come on, bro. You gotta have a little bit of brains. Come on, dude. Jumps right in the brine. Like, what an idiot. Bet she ate the ones about videos from she chat. <laughs> yeah, those ones suck, dude. Those are so annoying. No, and it saved after he died. Why does the game hate me? That's that sucks. That that one got me. That one makes me sad. I was trying to put him to sleep, and then I was gonna hit him with the ice cube, but I ruined everything. It actually makes me very upset. Dang it, bro. The brine actually hurts me more often than you would think. All the time swallowing my cool kills. Remember my first Drake jumping into the lake? I was so heartbroken when the brine took him. You know what the worst part is, though? If you're early on in the game and you're fighting a Drake and it's like a 20 to 30 minute fight to get him down to one bar of health and then he jumps in the brine that's such a heartbreaking moment like i just i don't know how you get over that yes that did happen to me yes i'm still upset about it happened to griffins a lot too griffins love to jump in the water and they can be pretty long fights early on. Best game of the year. What's up, Confidential? Yeah, it's very fun. We're almost to the Chimera, though. That's where I want to really try and see what's up. Hello. I shan't allow any further harm to come to you. That was why we came over here in the first place. Then we'll have to reset the world because we killed everything. And we'll try out, uh, actually, it may be a good idea to try out Martyr's Bolt first, because... Could probably find specific enemies faster. I do need to try, I think, those other four abilities, too, though. least one location in the vicinity that may be of interest to you. Shall I tell you more? No, shut up. Stop talking to me. I love when pawns ask you if you want to hear more. Do you want to hear more about my story I'm telling you? No, stop talking. Here we go, Chimera time. Dare I say it? We trounced our foe, well and true. Overconfidence is an enemy in and of itself. Let us instead strive to better ourselves with every battle. Still talking. Killed an ogre with thief with only smoke bomb because he didn't want to be in the smoke. Kept back hopping into the water. That's funny. Yeah, ogres are weird with smoke. They seem to actually 
just could be completely nullified by it, but they really don't want to be in it. They, like, back out the whole time. It's very odd. I mean, I guess it makes sense. Why would you want to be in something that makes you blind, but... Shall we proceed into the depths? That's freaking rude. An attack from unexpected quarters. Pray be careful, Lizzie. Consider this a lesson in infection. Same thing happened with my first griffin. Took off the fly to his nest. I clung to him and he just suicided with me on his back. <laughs> Dude, that's crazy. Yeah, that sucks. Griff I'm telling you, griffins are one of the worst. Because it's like, you really love the griffin fights, too. They're very nifty fights. I'll watch this. Ready? Oh! Roasted. Set some on fire and everything. Oh, this guy didn't die, though. I sustain yours to wield. Go to the cave where you start after riding the griffin. There should be a gore chimera and a lich. Yeah, that's this cave right here, actually. Uh, I gotta progress a little bit further, though. Right now, he's just a regular chimera. Just fighting Hydras. There were only like two in the first game, but I love fighting. They were actually a very fun enemy type to fight. There really weren't very many of them, but they were really fun. I will protect you. Leave an opening. Focus your attacks. Strike fast and true, and our quarry shall fall. Hello. I'm telling you, the max ice cube is really good. Try the uh, fire arrow now. So, fire arrow is good. Ice might be better. He is in water. That might matter. Let's see if I can stagger the snake. I'll just aim for the goat again, maybe. I'll aim for the goat. Ooh, it's brutal on the goat. Yeah, it doesn't seem that crazy on Chimeras. I think the ice is actually better. Oh yeah, Lion definitely takes more, though. You want some of this, punk? Get out of here. This ain't even about you. <laughs> it's such a good combo. You got the high stagger from the ice cube, and then you've got the massive fire damage, which sometimes doesn't work, apparently. It should normally set him on fire, it's just because of the water ice. Let me get that. They go left. That is quite nice indeed. So yeah, it's pretty good for for chimeras. It can be weird though. I expected it to be a little better than it was, but maybe that's on me. Hitting less if it's the dead head. Yeah, I didn't know which one was dead, though. I think the lion might have been dead. Maybe the goat? I can't tell. Sometimes it's hard, because they're still moving around when they jump like that. Oh, crap! Don't get too close. Huh. I do like nothing. Never 
Oh yeah. I'm gonna try and go kill the Sphinx with the Martyr's Bolt. I think that'd be kind of cool. I don't know if you can do it without having done any of your quests, but I kind of want to try. See what I'm saying? Watch this. Watch this. It makes no sense. See how he's in the water swimming? It actually looks really cool. It's a fun animation. Now if I do this... And apparently aim at nothing. Dies to the brine! He dies to the brine! It makes no sense! It's so confusing. I want the Lord to explain that to me. They actually swim around and stuff, and then they just die to the brine. Like, what? Like, look at that guy. You're over there. He's swimming all the way in the deep end. It's very, very conflicting. All right, we want to go to this location, I think. Yes. Change skills there. Sometimes my pawns just act like slimes don't exist and just stand there and die. That has happened a couple of times. Not common, but it has. We seem to have arrived without issue. But are we safe here? Magic armor enemies were fun in BBI. Thought it was interesting. There was one of each gold and silver. Oh yeah, the um the skeletal knights that had gold and silver armor. They were pretty cool. They usually teamed up too. Well met. You will soon forget the fatigue of a long journey when treated to the foremost of much of blood. Who is this guy? This guy is nothing to me. Greet here, we conduct all manner of procedures pertaining to vocation. Alright, so we tried all those. Those were all pretty good. Sagittate, I'm gonna throw on. I like Sagittate. Sagittate's pretty good. My animations are working, yay. Sagittate, Avalanche. Can never remember the name of this one, even though it's the best ability. I don't know why. So we'll equip that one on my left here. What's these two? Recovery arrow? I guess I could test a recovery arrow. That one's not too hard to test. I could throw my pawn off a, a cliff. That'd be kind of fun, actually. And then life-taking arrow, which extends the effective range and absorbing health from hostile targets. That should heal pawns, I believe? Yeah. But we're going to do Martyr's Bolt because I'm going to test that first. So the last one would be... Martyr's Bolt. And I guess... I kind of want to test these two together. So we'll save those for after I do this. I th Those really need to be tested together. You'd be defense and healing. There's a ladder here. We ought to put it to good use. Now I need to reset the te reset the uh, bosses, and then I'm gonna teleport to the Sphinx, the Sphinx, and see if we can one shot her. I don't know how that works, but we'll try. Martyr's bolt. Okay. Let's hope my pawns don't kill anybody. The sun is still up. Yeah, swap skill description. True. Good morrow, everyone. I was about to lose my flipping mind if she did that, bro. Shall we get some rest then? Portalus is cool because it reflects damage based on the strength of the attack. Oh, okay. That's kind of neat. Love to see the Beholder enemies come back. Beholders were fun. They were very, very fun. A good sleep will ensure we are pre yeah, I'm going to try that strategy, Hydra. We'll see how, how it goes. He said there's not enough big monsters. I need more. Yeah. Shall we get some rest then? There's never enough. Sphinx, can we one shot her? I, I've never, I never even thought about this before, but now I'm thinking. I really think I can. A good sleep will ensure we are prepared. With recovery arrow, you can heal yourself. Got to press R three, I think. Really, that's neat. Shall we get some rest then? Throw your pawn off a cliff, die, reanimate them. Yeah, that's what we're gonna try with that one. 
We're gonna try it in different areas and see how far I can actually get him to catch me. It sounds like a fun test. Was this five? I've been counting very well. I think there's a mod that lets you increase uh, monster spawns. I think. I, I don't really keep up with mods, but I think there was one that did that. From what I've seen. The unmaking arrow only works on the Sphinx when she leaves the shrine. We must rest. Though this so maybe this won't work. Maybe it will. You never know. It's worth a test. That's what we're here for. A good sleep will ensure we are prepared for Yeah, the ten times enemy randomizer? I think that's what it was, yeah. I don't mind using mods. I don't I don't think it's bad at all. It's just like Shall we get some rest then? Usually I prefer the base game of most games I play. For Outward, I didn't mind adding a couple, like, random classes to try out. For original Dragon's Dogma, I did eventually mod in infinite stamina and running. Because it's just a... It's a quality of life mechanic that should have been in the game in the first place. Like, it just makes the game more fun to play. So that one I like. Like, sometimes minor mods that don't really... They don't greatly affect the game, but they just make it a little bit easier to... Actually get to the fighting, which is the fun part. That can be kind of nice. Still haven't been counting. See mod users that are like level 400 plus right now? I imagine so. I mean, you'd be fighting way more monsters and you probably level up faster and stuff like that. It's crazy. Shall we get some rest then? Alright, two more and then we're out of here. The Sphinx actually doesn't need to be respawned. She's already alive. But that'll get me up in that area. I think I actually have a crystal up there. Actually, I know I do. Infinite stamina or running outside combat should be in every open world game. The only one that I was fine with not having it was Outward, and that was just because of how Outward works. But in most games, yeah, it's like, if stamina's not a major component... If your open world doesn't have a major survival component... Then you should just have the infinite stamina. It just makes it more fun. Same as Remnant. Like, Remnant from the Ashes is a pain in the butt to go back to now. Because you don't have infinite stamina when out of combat. So you're constantly sprinting, stopping, sprinting, sprinting, stopping, sprinting. Which is just annoying. And the second one, they fix that. And now you just, when you're out of combat, you have infinite stamina. Need anything? So it's not even just... Open world games. It's a lot of... A lot of games are like that. Um, does she have anything to sell? No. Ah, yes, this. I always want to make sure I buy them so I have them. Many thanks. Especially where I'm going. Okay, let's teleport over there. Yeah. I'm running low on them because I haven't... I've just been wasting them lately. Just kind of been spamming them. Here, eh? Most of the time it just slows you down. Yeah, it, this, in this game it doesn't bother me. Because the stamina regen so quickly that it doesn't really hinder my gameplay. In the first game, it, stamina regen so slowly it will hinder your gameplay. That's That's really the main reason I downloaded that mod for the first game. But I did play the game. The first time I played Dragon's Dogma, I played it without any mods, which I think is is usually a good thing to do. Some I feel like sometimes it's like ah, I just fix this immediately, but it's nice to get the the experience, the full experience of how the game really is at first, and then add stuff if you really need to. Like barely any of my health. Battle is to be avoided, I take it, Arisen. That guy had armor too. To Did you see how many times it hit the armor before it actually killed him?
I'm gonna use this a bunch. I'm gonna use it on like everything in here. I wanna see if how good it is on some of the small stuff. Dragon Age Origins has phenomenal story and dialogue. Combat to drag them. You know what another game that's improved by mods that you wouldn't think so is uh, Divinity Original Sin 2. We were talking about that the other day as well. There's a mod that improves your walking speed. And that's it. It's just so much better to play because you walk so slow in that game. <laughs> it's kind of funny. It actually didn't break any of their skulls. How weird is that? How'd it feel to bully the poor boy? <laughs> Felt pretty good. What do you mean? Felt great. I'm fine with it. I'm gonna have to go back down the mountain probably to regain my health. Have you further I don't remember how to get up there. In truth. I think there's a cave. It should be on my map actually. Yeah, it's this cave here. So I have to go Oh, I remember where it's at. It's by the Cyclops, which is we can't reach it from here. We'll have to get up there and drop it down. So go up. Which means I might need to go through the cave. I can't remember. That's annoying. That's annoying. I shan't allow any further harm to come to you. That's annoying. Fine. Here, an enchantment of coal. They wasted all of my health because they kept shooting stupid rocks at me. I hate range top goblins. They're so good at they're so good at stun locking you with range. It's crazy. This is a powerful weapon. A single bolt loosed from it would carry tremendous lethal force. It's pretty funny. The way forward is unclear. Did you just straight up delete an enemy? Master, it's kind of a crazy I idea. Might I be of assistance? And I just have to try and not die to fall damage. It's harder than it looks. Booyah! Made it! I'm a, I'm a genius. Alright, now we'll go to the Sphinx. I just had to use this skill a couple of times. I have DOS 2 on console. Lone Wolf Duo. Anything was OP. Duo Mage or Duo Summoner with Lone Wolves. Yeah, Lone Wolf kind of <laughs> broke the game a little bit. <laughs> Once you've used the Lone Wolf... Like, it's fun to play with the four people. Once you've used Lone Wolf, though... There's not really a reason to not use it. Because it's so strong. You can use, like, three different classes on one character. Or, for like, four or five different classes on one character that way. It's insane. These rocks are absolutely crazy. Little object enemies throw or stagger anything else. And no, it's like, it's just a tiny rock? Come on. For me, in a single-player game, mod away. Yeah, I don't, I don't... It's your game. You can do whatever you want. That's my opinion. fell from the beast as it breathed its last. It doesn't affect anything. Or it doesn't hurt anybody else. Why does it matter, you know? Dude, cl ugh, climbing this game. Go up the thingy. Now, how do I get up there? I cannot remember. I think I need to... We have made scores Maybe go through the dungeon? I'm not sure. Such moments are what make an adventure worthwhile. 
I think I might have to go in here. Yes, because I want to be in this little hole that I got stuck in. Okay. Let my magic's drawn to an elemental room. See ya, bud. Get out of here, dude. All right, we'll break this so I can get in here faster next time. And then I believe I have to go up these stairs, and then there's a ladder that leads me up to the top. How many rests to respawn large enemies? I believe it's ten. It's either seven or ten. I always do ten. Just to be sure. Ta-da! Made it up. Alright, there shouldn't be a Cyclops up here, but there might be. There is. All together now. We attack as one. Strike fast and shoot. Now shall fall. Look how fast that broke his armor. That's insane. Rock out my way, though. The reason this one's so strong is it's very precise. It's a very precise attack. This should be the hammer, I think. Yeah, black matter. Thought I already did that on this character, but apparently not. So I need the potion for Encycle? Yep, yep, potion's not a bad idea. Yeah, the Cyclops never respawns, I don't think so. I've checked a couple of times, he never did, so I believe that's... It's kind of cool, though, that that entire castle is just, like, Cyclops territory. There's three of them. Careful now. How many times have we come here? Are you freaking serious? One arrow. I'm actually mad about that. You gotta hate arrow or archers. The bane of our existence. There's actually a campfire in here? No way. That's cool. You don't see him in caves very often. I think Black Matter was stronger in DD1. Don't remember though. I think Black Matter is pretty good for where it is because it's just like an early game. It's really good to get early on. Freaking staggered by bats. What the heck? Stupid bats. Anyway, it's a pretty good hammer to just... I mean, it's not bad. You can grab it pretty quick. Just gotta be able to kill a Cyclops, really. Maybe a couple skeletons. Fought a Delane yet? Yeah, I fought a bunch of Delane in the end game, but I can't. I've never fought one in the the base game, unfortunately. They apparently only spawn at the end of night, and I'm never. It's never a time I'm doing that. I always three, sleep through the night, or I am at nighttime for just a brief period of time. If this works, I'm gonna be. Really surprised, by the way. Hey. I shall stay my hand. Dude, don't do circles around me. Thanks.
tackle them out of rage. <laughs> this should be the other golem I was talking about earlier. Yep. The ancient ruins. The ruins. That be how you kill a golem. Check out this picture. It's a picture of the Sphinx. Somebody tried to kill it. They failed. They did a bad job. Mural there is a big hint on how to kill the Sphinx. Is it cut its head off or what? I don't know. Cut it in half. Duly noted. Use a giant sword. <laughs> Chop it in half. First time through this cave, I thought it was an endgame area. I was confused when it was an easy cave. Ah. Uh. All the arrows are in the beast side. Oh, okay. Where is it? Ah, up here. I like that they have this in the game, though. It's such a cool area. It reminds me of, like, the tower in the first game where you fought the griffin. It feels like such a unique encounter. Okay, I doubt I can damage her. That's the thing. Come to take my life. Many have tried, and as you can play, after all, that which is won by brute force is apt to be lost to the same. Perhaps I might interest you in a game of. Tapons the way behind. Okay. I set before you a simple task. Should your answers please me? If so, take your place, and we shall be. She has a cool voice too. Pawns are actually dead. Into the unknown. Fear only the cost of your hesitation. If so, take your place and we shall begin. Shush, lady. Wait here. Freaking weird, bro. what I thought was about to happen. <laughs> that, that's what I thought was about to happen. I'm like, I bet this is about to, about to do nothing. So if do I shoot her first? Can I do it then? I think so. She might leave, though. Remember the Fallen City in DD1 that had like 25 eliminators? It, dude, it was insane. It's insane. I think I might be able to shoot her. Let's see. If I could somehow start the combat and then use it. Because it lets me lock on. What are you two doing up here? They didn't save my command, apparently. Fear not the plunge into the if so, Lady. Shh, quiet. Oh, what does this Wait say? here. Let's have a look, then. There we go. So I have to shoot her once, hopefully. Hopefully. Otherwise, we're screwed. Violence will avail you not, and merely grant me passing sport. Is she leave? I'd hope 
It does work. Yeah, you can't kill her. Okay. I did do all of her health, though. So it does work. I was wondering if I'd even be able to damage her at all. So it does work. This doesn't matter to me anyway. I was going to do it. I wasn't going to do it in this run. I was going to do it in the next run. So. That's cool. She gets to fly away. Does she go to her other location, though? Where's she headed? Straight up ahead of me is where? I think she just leaves. Because that's the Frontier Shrine. She probably just leaves. You can kill her at that point, but Martyrs hits the face. Oh, that's why she leaves? Because she got... Okay, I got you. Yeah, because it's like too much of an AoE. It's not going to avoid the face. That makes sense. That makes sense. There's a campfire right here? Why is there campfires in weird spots? At least it somewhat worked, though. I wanted to see if martyrs would kill it, but apparently not. I'm telling you, though, like, more quests like that would have been so cool. Like, it's such a neat little area to get. Like, look at this little temple. One freaking harpy just put me to sleep. One. One harpy. Bro, get up. Stop taking a nap. You truly are formidable, Arisen. Alright. Yeah, next time I'll have to do the actual four quests. I still haven't done that, but... I like that it's still just completely deleted her entire health bar. <laughs> like, epic battle. Nope. I wonder how close I got before it hit her head. That's what I wonder. Because I wonder if it almost fully killed her without doing it and then finally ended up hitting it. Or if I was just doomed from the start. I can't imagine we're in need of a campsite just now. Tis enough There's to a freaking Geosaurian right here. You get the key if you actually beat her? Oh, really? Huh. Why is that not doing anything? There we go. We tried. That's what counts. We gave it our best effort. Now we know. Martyrs does not work on her. It did so much damage, though. It looks really cool. I know Martyrs works on, I think, the Golem at the end of the game, and I think it works on Grigori as well? I don't remember if I've seen that one. I, I think it does work on Grigori. Oh, this is how you get over here, normally. Oh, okay. I was always confused at why this was here. Yeah, I think it works on the Golem. I think you can kill almost all of it in one hit. I know you can petrify the golem, which actually makes no sense. Like, not golem. What is it called? The giant statue thing? I don't know what it is. For some reason, you can petrify it, which makes no sense. It's a statue. Why would you be able to petrify a statue? It's not a living thing. I wonder if you can petrify golems, too, because they're not living things, either. Maybe it has to have eyes? I don't know what the rules are. Yeah, the Talus thing, that. A little sad she doesn't drop upgrade materials. Still haven't beaten Death in DD1, but heard the only drops Lantern. Does he? I don't remember what he drops. He drops... I don't remember. I, I've only ever killed Death like four times, so... Be funny if it came even more. Yeah, it'd be funny if it became harder to kill. <laughs> You'd like turning it to stone, and now it's like immune to damage. Good job, Arisen. You're an idiot. 
That'd be hilarious, actually. I have a bunch of Medusa heads, actually. I have like five of them in my chest. I got a really easy one the other day with Fighter. Fighter and Thief, I think, are the two best classes to get it on. Warrior is okay. Sometimes it can be easier with Warrior, sometimes not. Wayfarer, or Warfare, it's easy, because you just put her to sleep and then smack her head real hard, right? That's pretty easy. All the magic classes, though, I don't even think you can. Battle is best avoided here. Mystic Spearhand? <laughs> no. Mystic Spearhand is weird because... His melee combat's so good for a large portion of the game, and then you run into certain enemies where it's t it's actually garbage. And so you switch over to using the magic spear thrust, and then it is really good for usually the targets that the melee is bad on. Kind of balances his glass out a little bit. Kind of want to see the BBI return, have new Diablo boss. Ooh. Yeah, Damon's such a cool fight. He's such a cool fight. It's a really neat experience to do it for the first time. And then you farm him 20,000 times and cheese him because you're really annoyed you can't get the gear you want. <laughs> I've done that so many times. With my assassin. We should be able to move this boulder with our combined... Use Null Breaker to knock her and Arc to Lash to cut. Yeah, that would make sense. Uh, use... Yeah, this one. Oh, yeah, I was gonna throw my pawn off an edge. I think I could do that up here, actually. Where the heck did that guy come from? Sagittate just does a lot of damage. I think he uses a pretty considerable amount of your stamina, too, though. Yeah, it's a pretty big amount. Still, I mean, you're hitting pretty consistently, so it's going to have nice stagger, and it's going to do high damage, so. Plus, it's lightning, which is a solid element. I don't think it's the best element, but it's pretty solid. Usually works pretty well for me. The only one I don't ever use that much is fire. Fire is incredibly powerful against certain enemies, and then incredibly terrible against others, so it's it's the most polarizing element. Versus ice, which seems to always be good, until, I think, griffins? And then it's like, it's a griffin, it's not that hard. Alright, so this is... What? Sleep? Yes. Recovery arrow is the one I want. Is this charge up? So this is a charge up attack. So auto tracks. All right, let me throw my pawn. Wait. Make for Thank you. Safer travel. I cannot fathom your intent. I cannot fathom your intent. Oh. Let me throw her right here. Need a good spot off this bridge. You're a welcome sight, Arisen. Why would you As do ever, that to me? Oh, she didn't die. She's still alive. She survived the fall! Cause, probably because of the animation of that. It might have saved her. This should kill her, though, right? Yes, it is death. OVL is an actual tank, bro. She ate it. She's perfectly fine. This time, we're going to use it. I don't know what just happened. That was wild. Okay. Thank you, Master. I only hope I did not disappoint. How do you jump on them, though? Because they run back up to you. I need to throw her, like, less far, probably. Huh. Let me see if I can get, uh... Oh, I made him wait a little far back. To me! Well. I shall return.
They didn't come to me. What the heck is wrong with my paws, bro? I said to me and they ran away. Probably because I threw her. They're not happy about that. I'd be mad too. What about like right here? I need to be able to throw her to where it's not that far from the- Okay, I got an idea. Perfect. Now how do I revive her? Aha! I did it! Yay! That was a lot of effort. It was pretty cool, though. Well, I told both my pawns to wait, and then I freaking left. <laughs> I feel bad. Oh, if you tap the wait command? Ah, that's a good idea, James. I didn't think about that. I was thinking if I just threw her less far, it would work. Which, that part did work, but... Game's actually been running really well today. It's been nice. I'm telling you, some classes just too, put too much strain on the FPS. Should I aim for the tail? Or should I just go for the head? I can't tell. It seems to do good damage either way. My favorite thing about this one is that it targets so quickly. You get this nice rapid sound of it targeting the enemy. This one actually feels like a Greek mythology type of attack for some reason to me, which kind of feels pretty cool when fighting a Medusa. Matches. I don't know why. It just kind of looks Greekish to me. It feels like something a Greek god would do. Summon lightning balls above his head and then send it at the enemy. The Maelstrom can damage- yeah, Sorcerer! Dude, Sorcerer trashes my FPS. <laughs> that is- that is true. It's like, can you see your game? No. Are you winning? Yes. I'm definitely not losing, but I can't tell you what's happening. I just know I'm not losing. You know what I love about this game over the first one is that the pawns that are meant to give you an elemental buff on your weapon actually give you an elemental buff on your weapon all the time. In the first game, it was so painful because you'd be going into a fight and you'd be like, all right, I really need fire for this fight or I'm going to deal zero damage. And your pawn would be over there looking a rock like she would just be doing nothing. In this game, every time you start combat, your pawn goes, boom, element. By the way, people say they have issues playing on PS5, but I'm not having any issues on PS5. I mean, I understand PC players having issues, because I have issues every once in a while, but... The only one that really ruined my gaming experience for a day was the one that was on my... It was my fault. I had my settings all goofed up for that day. Other than that, every, every once in a while, this is a little bit weird. What? I just crushed him. Let us try for the same result with our next attack. Dang, son. They do it, yes, but they'll say, "'Tis weak to cold and buff you fire." Yeah, exactly. "'Tis weak to cold! Here's a freaking dark buff. That's the worst buff in the game. 
What would you say is the best warfare combination to have fun in combat? That's a good question. I like archer and uh, any melee class. Just so you have a bow and probably archer and thief. Just have like the old strider back. Just a fun one. Do we think it's S tier? I mean, it eats your health, but there's ways around it. You could just delete whatever you want in the game. Like to grow if you and you don't have to use all your health. Damage-wise, it's the best attack in the game. Yeah, all heal elixirs, you can just stack up on those. Why is there a bunny rabbit in my face? It seems we have our like, its downside is severe, but there's ways around it. Understood. Yeah, this thing has a crazy stagger. <laughs> da 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 da. Dragon's Dogma music goes hard. I don't even know of another game that the music goes as hard. Like, Souls game has good background music and fights. But Dragon's Dogma music just absolutely slams into your brain. It's great. I'll collect that. Say it's A. Sagittate's definitely S, though. I don't know, because I'm like, I'm. it might be S, though, because the damage, it really does do more damage than anything else. You really want to, you can just spam it. Oh, that was cool. It summons all of them right away? The tracking on it is so bad. The tracking on Magic Archer... When you're... Like, Archer to this is such a different gameplay. Archer never misses. Magic Archer misses 90% of his attacks. Tis raining most heavily. Argo Flare is comparable to Martyr's Arrow and potential of damage. Comparable, yes. But... I still think Martyrs beats it, no matter what happens. Like, you can get a lot of damage out of Agro Flare. An absurd amount, but I still think Mart Martyrs always one-shots. If you give it enough health. Always. Versus Agro Flare that very rarely one-shots. It's gonna do about seven health bars to a dragon, maybe. Usually about four. But it usually doesn't one-shot. Agro Flare is definitely one of the top of the abilities for Sorcerer, though. It's crazy. Cancelled my skill for some reason. This is a cool ability because you can literally just use it the entire game. It's kind of like Warrior's... Sunder ability. You can just spam this the entire game and you're fine. There's nothing that's really going to be that immune to it to where you want to switch. So there's a mod for DD2 to have it free for your main menu song? Yeah, I'd seen that as well. I don't know why you would download a mod for that, though. How often are you in your menu? <laughs> I, I don't know. It's kind of cool, I guess, but... It is raining. We mustn't let ourselves become so Pork crystals uh, have the same I effect as all heals? Cool. Really? The fake ones do? That's weird. It wouldn't lock on until I moved up. That was weird. Sagittate and Argoral have less downsides than Martyrs, I'd say, which makes them better. 
Yeah, that's that's a fair statement. That's definitely true. Flare is really only... The only downside about Flare is that you just got to be sure to damage it quickly. That's really the only thing. It's not even really a downside. It's just kind of a... A gimmick of the ability. You got to be ready to damage it. Otherwise, you're going to... It's going to go away. But it's super easy to damage. I mean, if you're playing Sorcerer... You just have to shoot it with your basic attack three or four times, and then it stays quite a bit longer. You can keep shooting it. You can even combine Augural and Sagittate with Warfare for the most broken combo possible. I feel like that'd be insane. Since it hits so fast. Martyrs does lock you in place. True, true. Making some good points, Ernie. Making some good points, my man. Because we had that issue earlier where I was getting rocks chucked at me. That is a thing. You guys think I could jump off of this? I'm, I might try. I might try. I, know of at least one location in the that may be of I have a plan. Shall I tell you more? Why can't you... It just confuses me why I can't walk down that. The second you're not ready to fire, that's the second they attack you. Oh yeah, there's the dragon. No! What'd I say? that that's awesome it's scary every time though i'm like I, i'm just like oh <laughs> suffered much abuse at the hands of this arisen hey listen if you're my you're my pawn you're my tool okay still haven't used trickster's master skill or it's the only damaging skill it gets no it doesn't do any damage i don't know who told you that it it does um stagger but it doesn't do damage It is good, though. It's a very good skill. For that class. Still low tier, considering whatever skills I have. What? That did a lot of damage. The safety that you're in when using this is crazy. Ah! How did, you, how did they just... It just showed up out of nowhere. They just sprinted. It really wasn't that hard. But... This warrior was really on my tail, wasn't he? I think it's a girl. Oh my word, bro. The only thing I don't know about Trickster is it takes a while to get going when going through the ranks. Oh, the only thing you know, no, no. Yeah, it, it takes a bit to get that. I mean, the class is good in terms of what it does when you get going, though. It's definitely usable, but... The dragon ability, I think, is, is actually good for that class because it's kind of fun to use and at least does a pretty good job of staggering. It's just pretty inconsistent at the same time.
definitely the most fun ability from that class. How many of these guys are there? That's a lot. I've never seen so many here, though. It lets you do attack multiple targets. There's zero chance, bro. What do you have, like a freaking trampoline that you just jumped off of? I face plant into the Saurians, and they're like, I've never seen this strategy before. Maybe it's because I face planted. Maybe that's the issue here. What's up, Danny? How you doing? I'm doing pretty good, man. How about you? Warrior was with PETA? Yeah. <laughs> Trickster needs the ar ar uh, archer treatment with the skills to use different incenses. Yeah, really, that would be a good idea, honestly. Love the illusionary walls for protecting your ranged pawns. Yeah, they're a little inconsistent sometimes. But I had a little bit of fun with them. That was one of the ones I didn't really hate. Oh no, it's a dragon! What do I do? What if I just delete it? Well, I didn't quite delete it. I didn't use enough health. I probably should have used just a wee bit more. Well, that's a nice rock. Oh, that's just a baby. That's not even a real meteor. I can't do any, like, cool poses or anything, because I don't have any... I have no moves. Come here, you. Come here. See ya. Need the Grenmir Grenmar bow? Deletes dragons as a passive dragon Some damage bonus. Here. Where's that one? I don't know if I have that bow. Catch you later, that Alessian. Like the trickster can heal its decoy, but that's only safe to do against bosses. I, uh, I mean, you can always just respawn the decoy too. It's not too bad to deal with. Oh, it's the one from the Dragonforge guy? Gotcha. I did actually buy that then. I bought it the other day, I just didn't use it. I was using the Hydra one. The Hydra one, weirdly enough, does more damage, apparently. Why? I don't know. It doesn't really make any sense, but... No, I slept to the wrong time. Cracks me up, dude. Meant to sleep till daytime. My bad. Oh, it's the magic archer bow. Oh, I thought you were talking about the archer for some reason. Why? I don't know. Isn't, isn't the one I have the one from the thing? I thought this one was the dragon forge guy. Given our current Guess not. locations, we have little use for arrows, but we might as well take them. Her trickster can get a special weapon from Sphinx to get you a little gold every time you hit an enemy. Yeah, my uh, buddy Titan was using it the other day, actually. Freshly 
rested as we are, this battle ought to be in our favor. We must not let down our guard. This ability is so good for these guys. I hate these enemies so much, and it's just trashing them. I really do think I need to walk onto the tail, though. Look at the range at which I can just pick off a target. Here, With about a thousand balls of death. Not quite that far, though. That's a bit much. There's so many poison lizards on this river. One of us has been poisoned. Yeah, I think I know who it is. It's the person that's up in the middle of combat. Not me. I'm safe. Can you guys believe how much damage we did to that Hydra? That was unbelievable. Or not Hydra, the Griffin? We annihilated that Griffin. Thing just died. I mean, it rolled over, actually. I wonder if this is supposed to mean. Take this. She need one more sorry entail to craft a newt liquor. Sorry entails are like super easy to get until they're not, and then you can't find them. And then you're very confused at why you don't have any. Have you further business here, Master? Yeah, the skill the skill actually just makes light work of everything. Come. The arisen's motivations are not ours. Well, he helped me by blowing himself up. Got him. Funny when I have only my pawn and they say they think someone has been poisoned. Like, yeah, you dummy. <laughs> it's you. <laughs> so true. Let us trust in ourselves and proceed with caution. All creatures who know death cling to life. Ought we to pursue an By the way, the second I turned off of the fire abilities, I found a griffin. Just do I want everyone to know that. There's one guy in the Forbidden Research Lab that sells five sorry entails for 25k. Really? What? Where's that where's the forgotten research lab? Oh, the down area of the desert? Uh the desert town? I had no idea there was even a merchant down there. My apologies. I have a request. Ah, it is you. Don't ever I you. talk to me again. Uh, sort of what? Where did this bunny come from? It's so adorable. How did it get here, though? Because I did not pick it up. I picked up a rabbit. How do you even pick up a rabbit? Oh, I did it again. It's actually pretty, pretty adorable. You get a little bunny. Let my magic imbue your weapon with Throw it at the goblin. Ah, oh, bunny's dead. No, bunny's still alive. It's a good rabbit right there. Very, very good rabbit. He's not a proper merchant. He just offers Asaria tales through dialogue. Not, oh, okay. I shall aid you directly. Did you like how I said it's cute and then I threw it? This is adorable. <laughs> Chuck it at a wall. That's the type of thing that amuses me. Gaining an emotional connection with something. And destroy it. It's pretty dark, actually. I might have issues. Well, I don't actually know where I'm at. I think there might be a cyclops somewhere over here. We could add a warrior to our ranks. What say you, master? No, there's bandits. None though. are more suited for battling close quarters. 
You know, my pawns actually suggest a warrior a lot. They do all the time. Thanks, guys. Not exactly sure where these guys came from. Ricochet arrow is still the best indoor skill for the magic archer? Oh, for sure. I mean, indoors, yeah. There's no effort at all. You just bounce it off the wall and it kills everything. Definitely. We're just going to make our way to the Medusa. Hope we find a Chimera on the way. There is a Chimera. That can spawn here. Or an ogre. I don't know if we'll see him, though. The amount of harpies in the desert actually hurts my brain. It makes me angry. I, I just love playing bow classes. Play both the bow classes back to back and so nice for killing stuff. Magic Archer, I think, is definitely the strongest class. I was going to say maybe Thief was. I think this class still outputs more damage, though. Like, Thief is pretty crazy with the pyre and everything, but it still does more damage. Now do you think about it. This is usually where the Chimera is. I bet you... Oh, it's a flipping dragon! Bro wants messed up. Came for the Chimera, stayed for the Dragon. What is he doing? Get out of the flipping trees, you moron. We're gonna Martyr Bolt him. Hopefully one-shot him. I haven't got a one-shot on a Dragon yet. Disappointed in myself. Die! <laughs> Stupid dragon. The guy had no idea who he was fighting. Thought he was gonna fight somebody who'd be fair and honest with the fight. No. I'm just gonna annihilate you. No care in the world. I have a lot of rings in my inventory for no reason. That's weird. You gotta love insta-kill and dragons. I don't care what you think about this game. You have to love that you can insta-kill a dragon. It's awesome. Have there been any performance improvements for PC? I don't think they've actually updated anything that I'm aware of. On an alt account, I'm doing a duo playthrough with just me and my pawn. She says we haven't recruited a thief in a while. And I'm like, what? Has that just been us two? <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's like, we've never had a thief. What the heck are you talking about? Imagine being this all-powerful being with... Some of the most protective armor in the world. Godlike power and magic. And then you just get rocked by some random dude with a bow. That's gotta suck. Just comes in, stares you down. Aims at you for about six seconds and then unleashes hell. It's actually heaven. It's not even hell. You unleash heaven upon them. She just chucked a rock at that guy. It's funny. Next patch won't have performance fixes either from what I've heard. Oh, really? What are they working on patch-wise, then? The cheaper to use wake stones over all heals? I think so. You get a lot of 
Blake stones. You don't get any all heal. You get like three the whole game, unless you forge them. Do I disappoint you, Master? Yes, you do. The way forward is unclear. How are we to proceed? Oh, this is a tall one. I believe I could be evade here. Oh yeah, this is gonna be cool. Um, how do I do this? I need to do it away from. There we go. Thank you, Master. I only hope I did not disappoint. One of us has been poisoned. Well done. <laughs> I knew it was gonna happen. She wasn't ready to catch me. She was fighting. I knew it was gonna happen too. I'm like, as soon as I jumped, I'm dead. I'm 100% dead. Darn it. Mostly bug fixes? Ah, I gotcha. Remnant 2 patch is coming out tomorrow. Red Wolf. Oh no, she's dead. They doing uh, patch notes before the DLC update? That's weird. And they moved her body too. I can't even hit her from here. What what is this? Why can't I hit her from here? I was literally just able to do it a second ago. They moved her body, I guarantee you. The spawn moved her body. Yeah, it definitely moved her body. Okay, um... I have no idea how to get down there. Can I shoot from here? It might be too far. They moved her body up against the cliff. Like, I can't even reach her from here. It's just too far. Why would they do that? It's so weird. Tragic posted about it on Twitter. Everyone's praying for no nerfs to Ritualist. Ah. I am saved. Thank you, Arisen. I guess I gotta use the arrow when I got up close, but. Is it gonna be a big patch or just a minor one? Because. I assume a big one. Usually they don't do too many minor patches. Might have to take a look, so make sure my build works for the DLC. That I planned on taking. He said 12k words on his post, so who knows? Ah, I got you. Tragic sent me a friend request the other day on Discord. He didn't tell- he didn't say anything to me, but he sent me a friend request, so I, I feel like I should be honored. I, I feel like that is an honor, I guess. I don't really know what to think about it. What am I using? Sporific Bolt still? Yeah, I don't need that. No. Their immunity to stagger sometimes is astounding. Look like a decent sized patch with all the fixes. Sweet. We trounced our foe well and true. We mustn't allow ourselves to become complacent. We're gonna literally rock the Medusa's world with this thing. This is going to destroy her. It's not even gonna be funny. Just gonna be embarrassing.
Yes, now I get to stand here and be staggered for 20 minutes. I hate these enemies so much. Stupid lizards. There's so many of them is the thing. It's like you you dislike them slightly, but there's a thousand. So you have to like really hate them. Love and hate tragic at the same time. Love him for communicating stuff, but hate him for hyping stuff up months before it happens. I know, he always does that, doesn't he? Guys, you're gonna get something cool. A year goes by. Guys, why aren't you still excited? It's like, tragic, bro, I... I moved out, had a kid, and married by the time... <laughs> by the time the update came out. I know of at least one location in the vicinity that may be of interest to you. Just send him a message that says you'll hear my response to your friend request and you buff Enigma. Alright, alright. <laughs> you have my protection. Sounds like a plan, my guy. Wheel, wheel, wheel. I'm trying to figure out how to use this recovery arrow more, but there's not really a lot of use for it. Like spots where I could throw my pawns off? Can't really find many. That one was good back there and I had to waste it because it moved my pawn. Ooh. Is that a Gore Chimera? I see. No, Gore uh, Minotaur. Wrong word. He's fighting about a thou- Why are you clapping me? High-fiving me, I mean. He's fighting about a thousand enemies, too. It's okay if you split it up. It's- it's not as good, though. Dogs we get rid of first, because they are the worst. That rhymed. Gorkimeras wear themselves out. It's the funniest enemy in the game. Like, oh, I got tired. I'm gonna lay here for a minute. The, this actually seems like an enemy type it's not doing that good on. I don't know why. I think I'm not hitting the head very well. Ah, there we go. That was a little bit better. It's kind of a bad angle with what he was attacking, so I couldn't really get a good shot off. Check out the grandma when you stop by a city if you have it. Okay. Yeah. You don't charge it fully, then it heals. You use it instead of a mage pawn. Oh, okay. Oh, that's super cool. Oh, I had no idea. I also didn't read the skill, so that could explain why. You can use it as a heal. That's nifty. That is actually really cool. That is not cool. That's the opposite of cool. He blink striked me in the face. I don't like that. Yeah, I like Tragic because he's the only member of the team that communicates to the public. Yeah, he does seem to be uh, pretty active for one or more. I've seen him on there talking a couple of times. I mean, I don't check at all. I, I rarely check the Discord. So, if I'm seeing him on there, that's that means he's on there quite a bit. I usually check 
like the games I play, the Discord's for if they have major announcements or updates and things, but for the most part, I don't really pay attention that much. I don't even pay attention to my own Discord that much other than like if someone asks me or... I'm making a post or something like that. Fully charged version of Recovery Arrow is also a massive AoE heal. Yeah, that did heal me. That's pretty neat. I like having that extra heal option there. You just pick off targets from so far away, it's crazy. Nice seeing different enemy types fight each other in this game. The first game, they only fought us. Yeah, that was one thing I actually mentioned in one of my uh, videos talking about Dragon's Dogma. I was like, I wish enemies would fight each other. I think it'd be cool. And then they put it in the game, which is awesome. Enemies interacting in the world is always a great improvement, no matter what kind of open world you have. Because number one, it makes things seem more alive, but it also allows you to be a little bit more creative with how you take on quests and activities and things like that we cannot expect gleaming treasures around every corner especially in outward because like you know outward's a big thing is you can get enemies to fight each other pretty often which is really fun in this game you can see a dragon fighting a cyclops which is really cool minotaur is fighting dogs for some reason I should have pretty decent heal. The guys did a pawn to do the AoE. Gotcha. Another encounter. I feel like this. We are already hard pressed from our previous engagement. Oliel is doing such a good job of keeping enemy attention. It just blows my mind how well she's doing. Hey, Gore Harpies is a melee. They're the worst. Than, they're worse than wolves. Yeah, they can be. Gore Harpies, especially, just highly aggressive. Very frustrating to deal with. Any of them that deal poison are my least favorite. I hate that. They rush up to you and spam poison, and they can do it like five times in a row, which is really stupid. Maybe of interest to you. Shall I tell you more? The buffalo. I don't know if I'll martyrs bolt too much else in the game. It seems we have enraged our foes. I cannot use their rage to our advantage. Let my magic imbue your weapon with the fury of the enemy. Ah, oh, thought he'd die with that one. He didn't. Ta -da! Nice. Might be because the effects option is set to low. Could be, yeah. Could be. Our respective abilities are unique as well. I had one moment where I was fighting a Drake and an Elder Ogre jumped in. A Griffin crashed the party. Ha <laughs> Like a triple fight? That's crazy. Yeah, those are some pretty fun moments. I fought a Gollum and a Griffin at the same time. That one can get pretty hectic.
This guy's golems actually are pretty tough in this game. They do a lot of damage. They probably do more damage than most attacks from other enemies. Even dragons. It's just a very, very high-powered explosion that they do. And their punches hit hard as well. Those are supposed to be difficult enemies. How'd you just annihilate a Cyclops? Because the magic archers busted, my guy. That's a... Magic Archer has damage for days. He's insane. This ability is incredibly fun. Just watching the things track is really, really interesting. Fall damage? Yep, took fall damage. I'd like to fight maybe one more dragon with this. I don't think I've gotten too many good shots off. It's just an attack that is very reliable every single time. So you can pick off enemies from far away. You can stop things from attacking you. Clear big monsters. Do good stuff to small monsters. It's got everything. There's really no weakness to it. Like, at all. It's crazy. I guess no AoE. So, for large groups, it's not really gonna clear everything at once, but... That's why you got Fire Arrow, really. Okay, we'll probably sleep so that when I do the fight, it's kind of bright out. If you do the Medusa fight and it's nighttime, you can't see anything in our arena. Here we go again. It's a little bit annoying. The fact that I dodged that was actually pretty cool. You compared the damage to a basic pinpoint volley? Lay down your arms before you hurt yourself. Not necessarily. Oi! On small stuff, it's hard because the basic pinpoint usually kills them. You must not let down have to compare it on a monster, probably. You have my protection. Both of them just insta kill whatever smaller target you're fighting. I had no way out of that one. I could try and use it on the Medusa. That might actually work. Although she's weaker to lightning, so it might be a bad test. So, Batal has a number of these statues as well. Mayhap these statues are landmarks for travelers. Quiet lady. Busy. Sagittarius would do more damage with perfect draw too. I fought the first Medusa, got the bow, but couldn't get her head because she kept throwing me off. Yeah, it's a little bit tough. You really have to have a lightning enchant, otherwise she throws you off too much. Oh, it's physical, it's not lightning? Is it? Does it really not do any lightning damage? I feel like it should do lightning damage. Here we go. So, uh, basic attack is like one sixth health, probably. Yeah. 
Yeah, it's a little bit more. Where are you going, buddy? She's actually hiding behind a pillar right now. It hits through walls. I forgot about that. It does go through walls. It annihilates. Wow. Sagittate is crazy. I can become the healer of my team. That's really cool. You really can play a pretty good support build as a magic archer. Pretty neat. Can fighter get a lightning weapon? I've only got the ice sword. Just found the exalted mace. Fighter does not have a lightning weapon that I'm aware of. There's an ice, a fire, and a holy. I think that's it. Arisen. I know of at least one location in the vicinity that may be of interest to you. Shall I tell you more? Is it healing over time though, or is it just healing immediately? It seems like it's just immediate healing. Yeah, it's an immediate heal. It seems to heal to full almost though. Yet to explore. I can take us there, using knowledge I gained With barely any charge, it's got a really nice heal on it. Oh, what if I throw her here? This might work. There has to be no enemies at the bottom. Nah, I don't know if I can make that. I can throw it right on this side. Here we go. There is an enemy, but I might be able to do this without aggroing it. Many thanks for healing me, Arisen. Caught you. Aha! Nice. That one didn't even kill her. My curative magics are at your disposal. Why do you think this is physical damage? Does it say in here that it's physical damage? It's a lightning ability. Might say, though. Maybe that's why I'm confused. Arrows. Multiple magical arrows. Arrows can be concentrated on a single target. I feel like it should be electric damage. I have no idea how you would know if it's only physical, though. Can fighter get a lightning? Oh, I already read that one. Can you... Have you romanced a pawn yet? I think it's kind of neat or funny depending on what you made your pawn. No, I have no idea how you'd even do that. And I also really don't... Need to do that either, so... Like, it's purple. Why would it be only physical? It's a non-elemental magic damage. Huh. Maybe that's why it's unique, because it really isn't three. I thought, I've always thought it was... Lightning, for some reason. Oh, crap. I can't tell until I get to a freaking town, though, because the picture doesn't really tell me much. It's a super small image. The icon's white, not purple. Let me look at it. Mmm, 
it matches the others, okay. It's not even really white though. Like it's that's kind of misleading because it looks purple still. They all look purple. I think it'll look different if I get it to a town. That's good to know, if anything. That's why I was asking. Does that mean it gets increased by the elemental damage I'm using? Probably. That might be why it's so good. Yeah, see, it doesn't enchant my weapon. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, it doesn't change your enchant on your weapon, so it's not electric now. Huh. Nifty. I was wondering why they made it so powerful. It's because it's uh, its own unique little thing. Man, it crushes, dude. It just crushes. I can get on that box. That didn't release very many. I saw it coming. <laughs> Nothing I can do about it. <laughs> I have no dodge option. <laughs> Fighter pawn, do your job, please. Yeah, I died because he hit me nine times in a row. Don't have any way to avoid damage. I don't know why he was on me. He was on my fighter, and I, when I moved to the left, he got on me. Just literally crushed me. I mean, he hit me nine times with a massive attack. Just couldn't, couldn't do much to it. How far back is this? That's actually not that far back. Shall I tell you more? This axe chopped my freaking head off, bro. It's the same as Agro Flare. Also has the gray colorless uh, background. Ah, gotcha. Yeah, I tried to get the heal off, but I couldn't. Because I literally couldn't do anything. He's flattened me on the ground. Round two, apparently. Didn't know there was going to be a round two. A plan for one round, but okay. Because I'm out of stamina by the time I get up here. Now I got my stamina back. This one does eat stamina pretty heavily. This is why I like that fire ability, because it deals with these groups real quick. And you can kind of focus down the target. Brace, get out of my face. Now we're doing damage. I couldn't... The tree was in my way last time. I was like getting a really bad angle. Yeah, that, it actually takes quite a bit to kill that guy with that ability. I'm not sure if the ice one was better. I know for a fact the fire ability was way better against that Mazar. The fire ability crushed him. Oh, did it reset? Yeah, it's on rivet now. Let's see where the Cyclops is up here. 
Player Ragdoll makes fighting big boys a lot more brutal and funny. It is quite hilarious. Sometimes it can get real funny if they throw you a real massive distance. My favorite's when uh, the Cyclops grabs you and throws you off a cliff and you land in the brine because it's like it really doesn't even affect you that much. So if the Minotaur is there, the Cyclops is not up here. That's interesting to know. No idea why, but it's apparently a thing. Alright, let me see. I can heal myself, can't I? It's nice to have, actually. I mean, if you're wanting to play without a mage, this is actually pretty effective. It's a very good heal. So a quest for the Glimmer Coal we find in Digger's Cave, because it looks like... Oh, the green stuff? Or the gr gray stuff? There is for the green stuff. That's the blacksmith quest. I don't know about the other one, though. Yeah, see, an AoE from that fire ability is what you need in a situation like this. That's the one weakness to Sagittate. Is it's really, it's not even really a weakness. It's just that it's not for this. It's for high damage. I can't get it to work. It won't. It won't use the ability. It keeps charging it up, and it won't work. There we go. It's um, it's for singling out targets usually. I mean, you can hit multiple, but it does less damage that way. The Medusa throwing you off her head into walls makes you feel like a movie fight. <laughs> that is quite funny. I, I like fighting the Medusa because there's a lot of interesting things that can happen in that fight. I want you to get away from me. That's what I want. I don't want you to be near me. What if I have a pawn catch me from up here? Would that work? They did it again. It'll, like, activate the ability and then take it off for some reason. I think I'm pushing a button too soon. Because it's pretty slow going this way, killing everything like that. It's really strong, but it's pretty slow. Although, I think it is better than... Nah, fire is pretty good for the GS audience, too. Here, an enchantment of coal to freeze our At least it didn't decay from Goblin Slayer? Yeah, no kidding. Here we go again. If battle cannot be avoided, tis fight or die. Those things try to catch you off guard. They really do. They try to jump on you immediately. What do I have here? I have sleep. I could use that. Hit the wall, so that was convenient. I almost wish it was more of a... loud than anything else. That way it could land on the ground and enemies walking through it would kind of take more sleep buildup. Man, there's so many goblins in this cave. Second you think you got them all, there's two more. Nice. Have you used the Talos to beat the two dragons? Where do you pick up the worm crystals after the fight? You don't, I don't think. I don't think you can get to them. Talk about the cutscene, I believe. I don't think you can get to him. Maybe the first one? I don't remember the first one's at. The first one, you might be able to go up the hill and grab. I can't remember. if The second one, I, there's no way to get that location from what I know. 
Yeah, I think it's more of a just a show-off cutscene fun moment thing than anything else. It seems we have enraged From what I can tell. Might we not use their rage to our advantage? I Let my magic grant you an elemental. I will not fall to Just so many goblins, bro. They're the most annoying variant of goblins, too. Usually they're not too bad, but if they start to just rush you... As an archer, there's nothing you can do. You, they're, like, they're too fast. You gotta be able to get your shots off. That's why you're not supposed to use skills. You just regularly shoot them. I really want to kill him with that ricochet thing, though. Man, he's being weird, is he not? Not hit his head. <laughs> Would not target the head. He's moving too much. All right, I have an idea here. I might be able to throw down a pawn, maybe heal a little bit. Not what I meant to do, but that'll work. I pushed the wrong button, gosh darn it. I was ready and everything, and it didn't charge any... Oh, because he... I wasn't targeted on him yet, that's why. Yet another path to victory are myriad indeed. That strategy never would have occurred to me. Now that is Let's see, I think I go over here. Yeah, here it is. The Arctic ability, I'm interested to see if the ice ability was better for dragons. I think it might be, but it's hard to tell because this one can deal ice damage. I think, as long as your bow is enchanted. Maybe, maybe not. It seems like it might override it for just general magic damage instead. It's just so good at pinpointing some of these heavier units. Like, what an amazing ability. It feels more satisfying to shoot than the regular attack, too, because it's got more of, like, a thud behind it. Ricochet arrows in this cave is so good. Oh, yeah. Did I have it in here earlier? I think I may have used it. I, I might have switched off. I can't remember. I think I ended up switching off before that. But, yeah, it would be amazing here. Dang it. I should not have picked that up, but I did. Let's see. There should have been a cliff somewhere that I can use this on. Be a lizard. The structure of this place eludes me yet. It is quite confounding. We mustn't leave the arisen astray. Let us be mindful of our surroundings. I don't think any of them even aggro properly. They're all just like yelling at me and not and not actually chasing me. You said perfect charge. I haven't even seen a perfect charge. This perfect charge, like when you get all of them up, I don't, I don't know this perfect charge thing you're talking about. I've never seen it do the glow like Archer does. A fine place to harvest some ingredients. 
Shall we see if there's ought to be found while we're here? Missy, it should be in the stats. Do, 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 do. A lock on pinpoint rivet pinpoint conversion. Okay, choose pinpoint that strikes quick fire. Fire a tree of magical arrows that disperse can be deployed while moving, pierces targets with arrows. It doesn't have a core skill for that though. You hear a sound? I don't know if I've ever seen anything like that. Arisen. I know of at least one location in the vicinity that may be of interest to you. Shall I tell you more? One other thing. Climactic? Is it in there? Climactic arrow is the one you said. Increases harm inflicted with pinpoint volley and rivet shot if loosened the instant the bow is fully drawn. Hey, there's no indication. I, 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 like, I've literally been trying. There's no indication. Trying to figure that out. I, I've never seen this. I've played hours of Magic Archer. I've never seen an indication for that. Is it really a sound cue? Do it sooner? Okay. Yeah, the archer was the same way. I had to do it really soon for archer to get it off, too. There's no- there's no sound. I don't- I don't- what... <laughs> Oh, it makes a sound if you shoot it off. Okay. Maybe? I got nothing. I'm not hearing anything. Maybe like the circle that's outside of it. Yeah, I don't know. See a flash upon releasing the shot if you did it right? Is it the, like, white color on my character? Uh, yeah, I'm not- I'm not seeing it. It must- it might be the white color that's flashing, but I'm not sure. Does that work with any skill? Some of these core skills are not well explained. Increases harm inflicted with pinpoint volley. So no, yeah. Rivet shot. If loosened the instant the bow is fully drawn. Does it count up the little things? One, two, three, four, five. No? Yeah, I got no clue. It's not, there's no indicator on there either. It must be the basic attack, though. No, it should be all skills, because they're all rivets, though. So. Ooh, there was an AoE heal. The bow sights flash for a brief moment at full draw. Okay. Because my bow's in an element that I can't see it, I don't know, I'm not seeing any flashing. I see a little flash on my character. That's about it, though. There's nothing here. Huh. That might mean there's a minotaur to my left. Did I charge that all the way up? I don't remember if I did or not. 
Ah, yeah, that's a cool looking. Oh, that looks really cool, actually. That is a heal. That's a really nice heal animation. That feels like something that could be in a completely different game, actually. Looks really good. One of the things getting patched is pawns will stop highlighting open chests. Ah, nice. You pull back the string all the way, not when it fully locks. Oh, okay, that makes more sense. Why would you do that? Maybe it's better with pinpoint? There it is. No, it always does the flash. No, nope, it didn't that time. It did that time. What the freak? This makes no sense. <laughs> okay, so it's actually... Why would you do that, though? Why wouldn't you just charge it all the way up? That doesn't make any sense. Let me see something. I gotta compare the shots when I shoot something. So far, this makes no sense. Because, like, you could just charge up more bolts and do more damage anyway. What is that? Is that a Cyclops? It should be a Cyclops. A big boy. Alright, I got my heal. So if I do an AoE heal, does it heal me all the way over here? Yeah, it automatically heals you when you use it. Sweet. Okay. Basic shots. So it's for pinpoint, it seems. Does it not do it with skills? It's got a very linear... I think it's only for a basic attack. So if I hold it forever, it doesn't do it. This feels completely pointless. Because you can still hold it for like four seconds and it still gives it to you. So it's just one of these things you don't even need to worry about. It's automatically going to give it to you. So that... Okay, one, two... After a two seconds of holding it, it still does it. Yeah. So you just... It's, yeah, just let it go. You don't even need to worry about that one. Okay. But if I hold it for that long, yeah, then it'll do it. I got it now. I thought you guys were saying I could use it with my other skills. I don't think you can use it with your other skills. Let's try this one. Or do I have anything else? I'm no. Nah. I don't think that matters at all. I think it just automatically is going to give it to you. You're either going to get it or you're not, and it really doesn't matter. Most of the time, you're just going to get it for free. I thought you guys were saying, like, it was a super... Like, it was like Archer, where if you time it just right, you know? Like, there's a super slight timing to it. This one's a massive timing. It's just going to give it to you, like, 80% of the time. I got you. Okay. Confidence and cooperation gave us an edge against our foe. With the rivet, you get the full lock on with the perfect with good timing. Gotcha. That's what it seemed like when I just did it. 
Yeah, so what we're talking... Okay, here's here's what it is for those who are, are confused like I was. <laughs> I was very confused for a second. There's a core skill called Climactic Arrow. Increases harm inflicted with the pinpoint volley and rivet shot if loosened the instant the bow is fully drawn. Right? When you do it, look at his character. There's a slight glow. But watch him. He holds it for a second. You got about two to three seconds where you can hold it. Red wolves. We're being and it'll still give it to you. So like if I do this, I'm already holding it. But if I'm on the target, there you go. See the difference? There's like a little glow. Yeah, my character glows golden, basically. I actually can kind of tell the damage difference now. Yeah, it's a super lenient timing. Super lenient. Basically, it incentivizes you to not hold your bowstring and then wait for enemies to come into you. It wants you to pull the bow back in combat. Okay, I get it now. Yeah, I never noticed that because I never thought about it. That's the thing with some of these core skills. It's like some of them are just active and you don't even think about it. Like there, I just got it off. But this time, since I'm holding it so long, boom, I didn't get it off. The damage, I, look, the damage is noticeable. I one-shot the other guy. I didn't one-shot that one. So that's cool. All right, I get what you're talking about now. Cool. I'm telling you, when you said it the first time, I was literally just sitting there like, what on earth are we talking about right now? I still don't think it works with skills. I was trying to see if it did, but... Oh, crap. That's the wrong ability. It's fine. We're almost in town anyway. Damage difference can meet breakpoints on enemies to kill in one shot. Instead of two or... So it's like a... Yeah, we're going to be more important on weak spots. I get you. Cool. I don't really use the basic shot that much. That's probably why I didn't notice it. Does anyone need recovered real quick? I love that heal. That is an awesome looking heal. Look at this thing. It's massive. How cool is that? I think it might heal everybody in the area. I gotta try some. She freaking took no damage. That did not help me. I want to see if I could throw her off a cliff and then shoot my other pawn and if it'll heal my pawn down below. I think it will. No harm in picking a few. All right, she took damage. Now, if I heal... Recovery arrow... On Grace... Did it heal Oleo? Have to find where she's at. It did not. Okay. So they have to kind of be near each other, and then it works. That's that makes sense. That's fair. This might be worth a read. Get back here. Don't worry, just waiting on my dialogue button to show up. You're no Thank you. Soldier, are you. So dumb. I expect your journey was a long you flash time. when the heal is full charge or fully me. charged, so maybe gets a buff if fired then. I'd not recommend camping. You'll awake neath a blanket of ash. The heal seems Can really good, is my thing. It's actually surprising me. Uh I need to rest, that's what I need to do. Good sleep will ensure we are prepared for the morrow. <laughs> Almost died, sorry, that was right in the mic. Good morrow, everyone. Come. We've much to be I tried to block it and then went towards the mic instead. Cause I'm a genius. Okay. I need some money. You're no soldier, are you? I'd not recommend camping. You'll await neath a blanket of ash.
I think this one matters, right? Yeah, 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 this one. I can give you a roof over your head at least. Much obliged. Gotta buy my port crystal thingies. Oh, uh, fairy stones. Well Alright, we got the dragon. And then we'll switch off of uh, the shot. I just want to test it on a dragon one more time. Well, oh crap, I gotta sell. What was I gonna sell? These. Nah, don't sell that. That's actually really valuable. Ta-da! I think I only bought one. Yeah, I did. Always a pleasure. Here we go. Alright, let's go kill a dragon with this ability. I want to see how efficient it is. Because last time, he was mostly dead by the time I used it. I think the ice one's still better. For dragons, specifically. I don't know if you saw my message about dropping meat for wolves. Oh, yes. I have tried it before. Here we go again. It does work quite well. Definitely makes them much easier to take down. I like that. I don't even like the heal as much. I like the effect the heal has. Like, look at that. That looks so cool. Why feed wolves and you can feed on them? Yes, eat the wolves. Why would you punch me like that? Stupid lizard. I can heal myself. Oh, so cool. I have an idea. For science! What? I didn't take any fall damage. I'm immune to fall damage now. It really wasn't that high. I want to see how much healing you get from just shooting off the heal. Like, if I don't charge it at all, how good is it? Might be hard to test still, because I don't know. It's a full heal. Huh. It'll heal about half of my HP bar, I think. Now that you said that about charging it up, I can't not see it. That's the funny thing. I seen the white flash you're talking about right there. There it was again. Oh, it's, it's such a specific timing though. It didn't do it that time. I think it's at the last second, maybe? Like, as it... as it hits? That's a tough one. Have the Capcom brought back the playing catch their pawns thing? Yeah, it's very fun. I did it with pigs a lot in the first game, it's hilarious. If it does work on Sagittarius, it's very difficult to do. The excessive amount of time that I'm not able to play the game from that right there is kind of crazy. Like, that's a long time of me just sitting there being unable to do anything. They stun you for, man, three, four attacks in a row? It's pretty brutal.
Yeah, I'm not sure about this one. I see the flash, but it's nearly impossible to time it correctly. That doesn't seem to matter too much. I like that heal, man. <laughs> Bro got stuck in a cutscene. It did kind of look like that, didn't it? The dragon up there somewhere. Get down here, idiot. He loves to go up there, and it's like, why? Seriously? Seriously? How did that not hit me? There was no way that wasn't gonna hit me. I just didn't take damage. Dude, the whole... This freaking area is so hard not to take any damage. I can't outrun anything in this entire area. Okay, I can use the uh, heal arrow though. I'm trying to spam it, but it's a little hard in between my other attack. I don't think he uses hardly any stamina either. I think that one's pretty easy to just shoot off. Alright, ready? We're gonna use Sagittate on his head. Yeah, but freaking goblin, bro. One teeny little goblin. The damage seems to be more And the ice attack, potentially. But the ice attack is just gonna do its own thing, and it's never really gonna miss. Oh, yeah, this definitely does way more damage, though. The other one might be more stamina efficient. This one is very rough on your stamina. I was double-checking to make sure I wasn't heavy, because I thought maybe I was. Oh, it staggers them out of that so easily. The amount of attacks you're hitting on the heart is incredible. Wow. Oh, no way, dude. What's he doing right now? Oh, he's trying to get her off of him. The other one is a little bit easier to spam. The other one has more attacks. They, they kind of have a similar output and damage and stagger. I'm having trouble distinguishing which one is better. Because they both kind of go through walls, too. That's not good. I think probably the ice ability still did more damage somehow. I don't remember the name of it. It's the first one we used today. Nailed me. Yeah, very little stamina and automatically heals you. Stalled, honestly. Okay, staggered him. Nice.
It's up there. I mean, it's one of his best attacks. Just trying to compare the two. I'm not sure which is better. They're close to equal. They might be the top two skills for the class, really. The absolute power they hold is ridiculous. Curious about Fortalis? Sounds good if you have a melee pawn. Yeah, I'm gonna give Oliel a uh, sword, I think. I'm gonna let her go ham for a little bit. Basic attack with cold? Uh, I could I could try, yeah. Remind remind me, Ernie, before we get off. I will I'm gonna do the other skills first. Uh, before I sleep and respawn that Drake, but I will try and do that before I get off today. We still got plenty of time, but I did not disappoint. Oof. That was close. What if we do it off the bridge? What if we do this off the bridge? I don't know if this is possible. It might be too high. But it just might work. It's gonna do even more damage to Grabbins? Yeah, I'll try and grab it. I think I think I have it. I'm pretty sure. I might not, though. I'll have to see. If anything, I can always go buy it. It's not a big deal. In some instances, the basic attack of this class, because of what you just said with that counter, like the exact timing thing, makes it stronger than skills, which is weird. Zero health. Zero health. Zero. I shan't allow any further harm to come to you. I think maybe this one's stagger. Uh, the stagger really is the thing about the basic attack. I don't think the basic attack staggers that well. Okay, to me? Now oh, they're being stupid. I gotta go get them. Now oh, they're coming, they're coming. It may have the strongest base attack in the game. It's crazy. Yeah, I think you're right. I think it really is. It's a very, very powerful basic attack. Warrior might have the second strongest. Warrior has a very strong basic attack as well. Why disappoint you, master? Not quite. I need a better angle. I think I can get it from here. Hopefully they don't aggro because that'd be really annoying. Okay, maybe? It's out of my reach. It's a bummer. Uh... Yeah, that adds up. <laughs> Stupid hills in this game. Makes no sense. Just randomly slide when you were standing there perfectly still. Alright, so the, the, I think I might be able to do it. I gotta get like a different position. It's too high up. It's too high up. But if I can find a better cliff. I kind of want to see how high I can manage to do this. Uh, where is Oleo? 
I could do grace too. Pray seize this at once, arisen. All right, I got a plan. Ready? Well, that's actually not that high. Oh, she auto revives. I forgot. Arisen. That's not helpful. I shall see it done. You seem to have been chilled. Are you all right? Okay, I gotta find a cliff. All right, right Do there. See that? I'm coming to your aid. Yes. That is what I wanted. Thank you, Master. I only hope I did not disappoint. Oof. Nice. Not quite as high, not quite as high as I wanted, but it's still pretty good. I think Magic Archer needs Warriors Augment and Knockdown Power Rings to reliably knock down with other skills. I have, I have the Augment on. I don't have the rings. The rings, I could definitely easily do. The only reason I didn't do the rings is because I knew that if I had them, it would be a little bit too ridiculous. So I put on stamina just to give me a little extra edge. Let me switch that up. I think I have them in my inventory. Maybe. Stagger and knockdown. Right hand. Stagger and knockdown. Left hand. Yeah, okay, here's double rings and warrior. So that's an extra 200 stagger. Mayhap you will think this a trifle, but we could add a warrior to our ranks. What say you, master? None are more suited for the Oh, I was going to switch off a Sagittate. I wanted to grab those other two defense uh, skills. Make Oliel the main damage target here. So I guess the knockdown's kind of null and void until we fight another dragon. This looks as good a place as any. I've never heard such nonsense. Oh my word, I can't do anything. I have a bow. I think stupid. If we use it well. You're no soldier, are you? I'd not recommend camping. You'll await. Shut up, lady. I need to give her Dragon's Dogma, and then for me, be a Magic Bow. Yeah, what's it called? The Gramer? I don't even have it. Is it really from the Dragonforge guy? I think I have the one from the Dragonforge guy. Always a pleasure. I'm pretty sure it's the Blackwing Bow. No, I bought this from the elves. I think I bought this from the elves. Ah, okay, that makes sense. That's why I've been confused. I was like, I think I have it the entire time. I don't. I I bought this one from the elves. A long time ago. It's been a while. All right, we did... Let's see, recovery arrow was the last one we stopped on. So we need a life-taking arrow as well, which is going to replace... Martyr, which we did a couple of it insta kills. It's fun. Um, and then we'll replace support, supportific with Fortalis. You could actually make a really cool support build with the sleep one as well. I didn't think about that. Okay, so life taking. Let's read these so I make sure I know what I'm doing this time. Arrow and Fortalis. So life taking arrow, an advanced form of victim. Let's see. Looses an arrow hex with magic that zaps the health of hostile targets in the line of fire. Grants it to your allied pawns. The more targets the arrow hits, the more health will be recovered. So this is a life zapping type of thing. An advanced form of Bardison erects a barrier around an ally, blocking incoming attacks, dealing damage to the attacker. Stronger the attack received, the more powerful the counterattack unleashed. This could be really powerful. Much obliged. Recovery arrow is just better. Might be worth a read. Shall we take a closer look? Yeah, I, it sounds like it is actually. Oh. 
about to fight another griffin and I saw the maelstrom my pawn summoned. And I was like, nah, I'm good. <laughs> yeah, you gotta be careful with sorcerer pawns. Some of them that are so aggressive with maelstrom, they just constantly have it. All right, we're gonna go with go. Get Oliel to be aggressive here. Which one is Fortalus? Um, that was pretty powerful, actually. Can we please climb the the rock? Please grab. It's not that hard. Jeez, bro. It actually seems pretty good because it does more damage than my pawn does, which is weird. What if I could put my other pawn? Where's my other pawn at? We ought to consider this a lesson. I don't really like it that much. Again, I don't want my pawns to be the main characters, but it is kind of a neat idea. I feel like this with warfare, maybe Trickster's damage buff. Be a pretty cool support type of playstyle you could do. They're just pawns do stuff like this, and then you're like, "Why am I? Why am I relying on you?" <laughs> All right, Oliel, go do your uh, thing. The result of volcanic activity. Remain focused. Go. Thank you. I'm not sure how the life taking arrow works. Because it doesn't seem to latch on to any of the enemies. You can definitely protect your pawn a lot better, though. Look at that. Defend a mage and sorcerer well? Yeah. Calm and straightforward sorcerer pawns will seem to love the maelstrom spells. Or the master spells? Yeah. It's very quick. It's a very quick activation. As soon as I basically activate it, boom, I got it. You really gotta be playing around your pawns. The recovery arrow, I can't seem to... No, recovery arrow is good. It's the other one. Life taking. I can't get life taking to do anything. Is it just zap from the area around her? I, can't, I don't know. Yes. Okay, it zaps. That's interesting. So it kind of has a little stun to it. It's kind of cool. It, like, does two instances of zapping that steals health. It's pretty terrible, though. I'm not gonna lie. What's the point of it when you can just spam this? Like, you can just spam healing. Oh, did it reset the pinpoint? I gotcha. Mage Pawn uses the Master Spell in every encounter if enemies live long enough. I could see. Yeah, they, they really do. They activate it quite often. Um, okay, let's activate life taking. I want to see what this does. Life taking. I think... I don't know. It's hard to tell what it's even doing. As it heads towards the pawn, it staggers the enemy? Yeah, okay, I see what's going on. So what it does is as it heads towards the enemy, it basically sucks in the health of the enemies around you. And then when it hits the your pawn, it heals them for however much. I think it does stagger. 
Which I think might be a good advantage to it. But the stagger amount seems drastically low. The shield ability is ridiculous. I could just spam this all day. It's actually really strong. How long does it last, though? It shouldn't last forever. Maybe it does. No, it does not last forever. It's about 8 seconds, I think. It seems around 8 seconds. How many hours does that save have? I think I have... 180 on this save-ish. It takes a good amount of stamina. It's a good amount. It's not a lot. Not a little either. You can basically take a pawn and prevent all attacks for that pawn. The problem I have with any of these playstyles where you're protecting your pawn or buffing your pawn is that they, they consume a massive amount of stamina to the point it's really not worth it. You might as well just use your own skills. The life-taking arrow is a little bit too difficult to use. You gotta, like, shoot your pawn, but you want the enemies to be in the way. I think it does stat- I don't know, it's hard to tell. I see, you want to be, like, as far away from your pawn as possible, so it zaps health as it goes in. Doesn't seem worthless. The problem is, she's not really taking that much damage, either. It's so- I think it is stunning. It's just so hard to tell. Let's wait for it to be unfrozen, because otherwise it does nothing. The amount of health it zaps, it seems pretty low as well. If it does, even hardly any. Yeah, that definitely is doing stagger. How much is it worth it, though? Probably not worth it. More about healing than damage, so recovery error is just better, really. Yeah, but I was thinking maybe if it did enough stagger to be worth it. But I don't think it does. It does a, a significant amount of stagger. I just knocked him out of that attack completely. Actually, it makes it pretty good, because you can keep enemies from attacking your pawn altogether. What's this do to big guys, though? Probably nothing. I'm actually starting to like it. If you spam it, whatever enemies attacking your pawn can't attack them. They just kind of sit there. I think I actually just killed him with it. You gotta use it in a real weird way, though. You gotta be, like, between your enemy and your pawn. Which is not how you play with anything else. Of course, that guy was there. Okay, she took damage. I just don't see how anyone's playing like this. Like, it's that it's something you can do where you're going to stun the targets over and over, but I don't see how anyone wants to play like that. It's pretty slow. It did say it heals more and more enemies, so it could be better in crowd situations. Yeah, we need, like, a lot of enemies. There was some earlier, but I wasn't using the skill correctly at the time. See, look at the left. He's staggered. Hmm. I doubt there's going to be anything up here. Ah, a ballista. These have quite
quite a long range. This There's a golem. So this could be a decent test. Yeah, if it hits your pawn too early, it does nothing. But you really can protect your pawn really well. That's actually better than the defense, honestly. What if I fire it... at random? I think I have to aim at the pawn. This also here yourself? I cannot tell. Let me take some damage. Thank you. You let this stop you. Took some damage. My pawn is all the way back here. No, it does not heal you. I just knocked a succubi out of the air with it. So I can use this to protect her for a bit. Give her a little bit of stagger. Yeah, it seems to do nothing on big bosses, which is what I thought would happen. They're both doing nothing. Well, good pawns. I mean, I'd be able to infinitely heal them. Look at that, I staggered him. Oh, it's actually pretty good. The amount of stagger it's doing is really, really solid. I don't know if it's because of the rings I have on or what, but... It's got a wide range of stagger as well. The big problem is, at the end of the day, you're not really doing any more damage than any other skill that you have. It's a cool idea, though. Alright, we can't beat a golem. I don't have any skills for that. Unless Sagittate? I don't remember if Sagittate hits it. Yes, because you guys said it was physical damage, didn't you? Hello. I can take him down. Ain't much, but it's some. I love when they get their heads ripped off. <laughs> Good CC plus heal, but bad damage. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking as well. I like the idea behind it, but the execution is pretty, pretty meh. No way that didn't break. I did everything I could to try and kill that, and I still couldn't. Oh, wait, here we go. It's not working. Yeah, it didn't lock onto her for some reason. Almost no healing. Huh. That's a very good heal. Huh. That sh it might not work on golems very well. Run out in front of it and heal yourself? See, I don't think so, because I don't think it... 
Let me try. I don't think it works like that, though. It's too fast. You can't even outrun it. Kind of a cool idea, though. <laughs> Magic damage is so bad against Golem. It's crazy. Alright, its head is broken now. And I believe we only have two left. If he ever turns around. Okay, he just broke his own thing. I didn't even know they could do that. He just stomped on his own crystal. Weird fight. I knew that I could Weird fight. Okay. Let's go to Batal. And we can fight the Chimera in the back when I go get that weapon. This is, might be better, so they close in on the seals more. Yeah. They feel like they're usable. Again, I only think, like, if you're going to switch from Trickster's weapon to Magic Archer's weapon on a Warfare build, I feel like that's the only way to use it. Otherwise, it's just kind of... They're not going to deal enough damage to really be better than your own damage on magic archer and then if you're playing my pack's grown rather heavy Let's trickster you'd have less ways to get them to stay alive so this gives you the best of both worlds sort of i need what 110 I won't be able to do the good enchant on it, though. That's the sucky thing. Dang! Full on everything, bro. Ah, there's two more. Uh, the helmet and the hammer. Okay. Alright, I don't think anybody got grabbed. Shall we get I also rest, don't care. Yeah, I have- I should have enough. I have- I think I just have just enough. I had a couple of my inventory, so I probably have more than that, too. Ouch. So sleep felt really good. That was kind of a non-attack option that Magic Archer has. Sleep felt really good. The heal feels really good. I like that one quite a bit. The other two I'm iffy about. They don't feel like they're that important. What's the point of a defense skill if you can just infinitely heal yourself and your team with this? You know? I'll collect that. That's a bit unnecessary, in my opinion. So the defense skill I don't like. The other one I kind of like, because the stagger, but it's also very weak. Definitely not good. There are some Saurians down here. I might be able to get some use out of them, though. It's a neat idea. 
But I feel like the, the bubble shield especially should be maybe two hits instead of one. No, that'd be too strong. One makes sense since it does be. damage. I imagine we would not escape a plunge into the water's depth. Do I disappoint you, Master? That did not work at all. Okay. Mission failed. In relation to that, after we call on you to carry the burdens we cannot. I must thank you. Your toil keeps me light on my feet. Griffin! Griffin! No, he's... Oh, he totally sold me. There he is. Now he sees me. Come on, buddy! Alright, life-taking arrow. Where's my pawn at? Go. Seems like it's... Wait a minute, wait a minute. Why did it just take so much health? What? It's a percentage. It has to be. It's taking a percentage away from his health. Look at the damage I'm dealing. That's what the... the heal. Huh. It's, it seems weak on these guys, and then it's doing a ton of damage to the Griffin itself. I don't know how much Oliel's doing. She's doing a lot, I can guarantee you that. Freaking... Love that, dude. Why are they being so aggressive? I've never seen them be this aggressive. They've rolled like nine times. It did a lot of damage. Either that or Oleo was stabbing him. I, I don't know. It's hard to tell. Partially charged recovery error heals wandering pawns too. Yeah, that could be helpful, yeah. This one's just bad though. I mean, unless the damage is percentage-wise too. That one might be too. That seemed pretty good. Why are you on me? No one knows. It went away though. It does not last very long. Huh. What about these guys? Okay, interesting. It knocks them and deals damage. Wait a minute, I'm not even aiming at a pawn now. Okay, auto track towards her because I was aiming at her. What if I just shoot this up? It works. Yeah, okay, I don't even need to aim at a pawn. Look at that. What? Stumbled upon something very odd. It wasn't doing this a second ago, when we were in the other area, but now it's letting me stagger everything that I shoot at. Fortalus is stronger than more damage an attack does. Oh, it's stronger than more- yeah, that's true, so it'd be better against a boss who hit him. The problem is bosses don't really attack that well. I guess maybe a dragon. A dragon can do a lot of damage, so then you'd block with the shield and get a nice counterattack. 
It's weird. That's the thing is it's weird and it's not very obvious how good it is, but it doesn't seem bad at all. Arisen. I know of at least one location In terms of the damage. I, I, so weird because earlier it was doing nothing and now it's all of a sudden just being kind of crazy. We'll test it on the Chimera because I think the Chimera could be a good target for this. What about a rat? Does it kill a rat? Yeah, just insta-kill the rats. Huh. They're, this I think, passive. I'm not sure if they're actually counted as enemies. Since times of remember. Draco yeah, I don't have this bow. That's funny. I had no idea. Especially effective against the draconic species. For some reason, I thought I had the best bow in the game. I guess I did not. Sonic blood flows through the then I bid ye farewell. I do Not so that it matters, I mean. Remember. But imagine Draconic how much damage I could actually do to a dragon now. Blood flows through the then I bid ye farewell. What if I upgrade it with I don't have Dwarven. Because I haven't done the quest on this character. Or on this world. I need to do it in the Elvish town, which I'm nowhere near. Ugh. A problem. Uh, maybe we'll worry about that another time. I would like to see how much... I'll switch to it. I'll just use it in general. How about that? I won't even upgrade it. We'll just see what the difference is between those. Oh, yes. I was going to switch this. Okay, so even if I don't have pawns, is this worth using? Possibly. You have my protection. You could also just shoot them, though. They're not that hard to shoot. The distance is actually pretty big, though. Okay, it kind of tracks something there. I don't know what it was, but it tracks something. I... I think it might be good for controlling groups. Uh, this class doesn't have too many abilities that are good for that. Because you don't have to aim in general. Just kind of aim in a direction. Let it go. And watch this. Look at that. I don't know if it does more damage per enemy. I think it only heals more. I got an idea. What if I do this? I take off Oliel's weapon. I make her go melee the Chimera. And we can see how much damage I do. She's going to do some, but it's not going to be significant. It's going to be a pretty minimal amount. So it's low, but it's constant. This could be good early on. If it is percentage-based, it may be scaled with my stats. That's the only problem. If it doesn't scale, this is the best attack early on. Now, I'm imagining it does, though. I assume it does magic damage. Really good stagger. Okay damage while your pawn goes ham. Because if my pawn had a weapon right now, she'd be destroying. This is actually this is gonna be really solid for groups. And it's got a long range, so I can heal her from very far away.
It seems to be doing the same amount of damage it did to the Griffin. That's my thing. So if it just always does the same amount of magic damage based on your stats, it could be good for almost every enemy in the game. I don't know how I feel about it, because it's obviously not that good. But it makes for an interesting attack. Perhaps this has no bearing on the matter, but might I add, huh. I do believe our party would stand to benefit... Just has to sleep against some small enemies, and it can sleep multiple if they're grouped up. The yeah, it seems decent for some of the golem types. How big it takes on Gregory? Yeah. That'd be interesting. Let me think. Um. I don't know. It's still pretty weak. Like, that's... Ah, it's tough. It, of, of all the three, it might be my favorite now. Of the three, it might be my favorite. I, the heal's probably better, because it heals you too. I, that other thing doesn't heal you, so that's kind of a... a negative. It is nice to be able to heal yourself pretty much whenever. I think it did... But you can literally... Watch, this kills all the birds. And the goats. It should kill the goat. Yeah, look. Yeah. It's just a homing missile of death. Just this orb that flies through the air sucking everything up. I need a good spot for this. Where is a bunch of goblins? There's some asps outside of town. I wonder if it would work on the asps. And then there's maybe some... There, Yes, there's some uh, goblins. Or no, hobgoblins right outside that too. Alright, I got a plan. Got a plan, boys. It's working. My one question, though, is that if you're early on in the game, is it just going to be so weak that it's not even worth using at all? I can see that being a possibility. Look at the low stamina region. Just unbelievable that they did that to this, this hill right here. A massive steep hill, and they're like, you know what? No stamina regen. Good luck. I actually don't have any items for that right now. I have a bunch saved, but I don't have any on me. Yeah, and then I'm trying to think of another one. I can't, did I already kill the griffin here? No, the griffin flew away. Is the griffin in his nest? Maybe. I don't know, though. There's two griffins. Well, I don't know which one is which. If that's the same one from the nest... Then I could go over there and find him, but... Alright, and then we'll sleep ten days after that, and we'll teleport to where the dragon is and go kill the dragon. Because I want to test that bow. Have we tested this on a dragon? I don't think we have. We tested on a golem. It did nothing to the golem. But the golem is immune to magic damage. So that makes sense why it felt like it was doing nothing. Because it actually was. Just remember I saw a video of someone running a full party of warriors? Yeah, I've seen the same video actually. Running a full party of any class can get very funny very fast. Should be right down this hill, I think. How good is it on the Medusa? Yeah. It's gonna be a warfare thing in the story, pretty much. You should kind of fire him off pretty fast, too. That's not bad.
That's not bad at all. Is that the upgrade? It's probably weaker. Yeah, the problem is I really want to do it with the dragon forged. I guess it doesn't matter. I can always undo it. That is not bad. I mean, it's not better than your other abilities, but look at the damage. And I think it's infinite. I think it goes until it hits a wall. At least it looks like it does. They have no idea where I'm at, by the way. They ran all the way over there. Um, Let me jump down and kill a couple more things with that. I'm, I'm actually kind of liking it. Enjoyed it when I went full brawler against a Medusa. It actually worked out well. Dogs. Why does it deal so much damage? Has to be because of my level. It has to be. I can't think of... There's no way it's this good. Kind of feels like a magic missile type of deal. You just aimlessly fire them, and it's infinite stagger for the entire- This is such good group control. Sneak attack bonus damage. <laughs> I don't know. What do we think? I don't know. I don't- I don't hate it. I kind of like it. If you're trying to protect your team, this is the best way to do it. Nothing can attack. Okay, let's see this. That automatically tracked. I didn't even aim at her and that tracked towards her. Look, I'm protecting her. Oh my word, it's actually crazy. She's just killing everything by walking around the map. Can't wait to play this when it gets hard mode. The wolves are going to be terrifying. Yeah, no kidding. And the cool thing is it goes through them. So if it hits the enemy, it isn't wasted. It just keeps on moving. Can I just fire these around the map and kill a bunch of stuff? No, they have a distance fall off. It's pretty far, but it definitely disappears after a while. This is a really good, like, stealth attack type of thing, like you said. You definitely use it for that. Where'd that griffin go? Did you guys hear that? Because it's slow. And the stagger would keep them from alerting anything else. Huh. Anything else we see? I mean, the desert is empty right now. The one time I want stuff, there's no stuff. I heard a griffin, but I cannot, Thank for the life you. of me, figure out where he's at. Right. I just cannot tell. I, like, I want to give it a good ranking, actually, because it feels pretty solid. Oh, here's the griffin. Here he is. Come on, buddy. Round two, I hope. I don't know if it's the same griffin or not. Where are you going? Stupid Griffin. Griffins have been real weird today. They've been not existent and then just not that interested in me. I don't have much to offer. Dude, I know you freaking see me. Get over here. Maybe he can't see me from where I'm at. Oh, now he does. Come on. Bro, are you serious right now? Is 
This is the weirdest freaking day of my entire life. None of the griffins want to fight me. Half the time they randomly drop on your head. I can't get these ones to even come near me. Huh. Alright, we need to try something else. I bet this would be good if like you let it off in a cave to alert yourself of where enemies are at. What fell from the beast? Does it breathe its Ten percent from the ambush augment would be good. That you might you might be right about that, Vinny. They know you're testing magic archer. Yeah, it's gotta be though. I'm staying away from that dude. I'm staying away. He's too he's too OP. Actually the entire desert is empty. We can kill that cow. Arisen. Oh, here we go. Ready? One location in the vicinity. Yeah, that augment might be really good. Tis a hobgoblin! That's my magic spawn to an event boon. It's kind of a weird way to play. But it works. When tar, be sure to avoid open flame. Nothing can get near me. I just found magic archer's defensive option. I did it. I solved it. You let that go, and then you can wail on the enemy two or three times while they're stunned. Let another one go. There we go, dogs. What? It's crazy good. It's crazy. Either I'm coping right now, and I'm trying to find something that doesn't work with this, or it's actually really good. Now, against Saurians, it seems a bit weaker. Some of the Saurian variants are very resistant to... I think it's once they get knocked down, they take more damage, though. Oh, that's the wrong uh, attack. Yeah, you gotta knock them first, and then it'll it'll siphon their health after that. You know how well this would deal with some of the goblin variants, though. This would be incredible. The heat-seeking missile of doom. Like, look, I don't know if there's an enemy over there. What if there is? Boom. Check it out. Imagine playing solo Magic Archer. You'd want this. I think. Here, an enchantment of cold to freeze our foes. Oh, here we go, here we go. Big enemy. Seems a bit weak on the ward. Need to get up somewhere. It can't hit me. It seems a bit weak on this enemy. Again, it was weird because it was destroying the griffin and now it's bad against this guy. I'm out of here, bro. I'm not staying up there. <laughs> These guys do have kind of a decent health bar, though. The stagger seems very, very limited on this guy right here. It's actually not doing much. So it doesn't seem to always be the perfect option. Yeah, because it hasn't staggered him at all. The Hobgoblin Gang on Volcanic Island are doomed because of the skill? Exactly! That's what I'm saying. They're toast. Probably because it's holy damage. Roxarians are resistant to holy. Oh, are they? I didn't even know that.
What is happening? I, I'm really starting to like it the more I use it. Thus the blind debuff didn't return. I know Garm had a breath that caused blind. Yeah, thank goodness it didn't return because that sucked. I hated that so much. It's like you got blind on your character and you were blind for 10 minutes. It's so annoying. Alright, here we go. Here's another enemy that we haven't tested yet. Pretty low, but the armor may actually be protecting it a bit here. Yeah, I think I'm knocking the armor off. There we go. Oh, it's... It must deal some type of damage, because it's very, very good sometimes, and then very weak other times. What if I aim for the head? Does it actually deal vital spot damage? It does vital damage! That's why the griffin was dying so fast. The griffin was getting his head attacked the entire time, because they have a massive weak spot. Yeah, it attacks vitals. If you aim there. If you don't, it won't attack them. I believe this is intended as a means of transport. It would be interesting to see where it might take us. I believe is there a campfire anywhere here? I kind of want to see... how it does against this next section of the game. There's a bunch of harpies, and there's like some goblins. This is, uh... a good test here. He said, this is ridiculous. That's what I'm saying. I thought this was a piece of garbage. All of a sudden, it came out of nowhere, and it's starting to do pretty good. All right, can I climb that? I should be able to. Sunset draws near. We shall have it was a nightmare with the room with the three garm. Yeah, there was a room that spawned three garm, and it was absolutely horrible. I remember that. Can it be used as a light source? Wait a minute, there's a lich somewhere. Well, on the map, somewhere there's a lich. It's pretty far up. I don't want to do that. I think there's a lich down there too, but eh. Got the chills. It's not worth traveling down there. Now I'll resume the magic archer leveling after seeing the skills. It stops at rank 7. Try this out. Try this out, and uh, next time I stream, let me know how it did on your, like, lower level character. I'm wondering how this would do with lower levels. Because if it does no damage at all, that would kind of suck. It wouldn't be that good, but if it is, it still has high damage. That'd be kind of nice. Because I feel like... Especially bigger monsters, it's not going to be able to take them out like this. Three Garms, two Giant Cyclopses was crazy. That one room, bro. That one room with the two Giant Cyclopses was one of the craziest rooms in the entire game. You could get some really nutty encounters. Like, three Garm, two Cyclopses, and death would randomly show up. And you'd go, guess I'm gonna die. I got AOE control. I can control the battlefield now. Whereas before this class was damage, now I can control. That looks promising. Any ideas as to how we might reach it? I shan't let them harm you. The knockdown on harpies is unbelievable. It's actually unbelievable. That's what I want to see, how level will affect it. Yeah, because if you're still really low and it does not much, it might be worth it for the stagger, but... I mean, if it's too low damage, it's not going to be that great. 
The thing is, guys, you can let it go right next to you. Right? And if you do, it might protect you from a hit or two. If you get it off in time. It's so like all those goblins that jump at you. Activate this down a hallway and follow it. And they won't be able to jump you. They'll be staggered before they can get to you. I want to see if my rings are affecting it. Is the stagger really that good? Or is it my ring... Okay, I switched bows. I now have way less stagger. Probably about a th so close the call offers no under half of what I had. So if it's worthless now, we'll know. During my travels beyond the river, may I show you to its location? No, it's the exact same. Damage seemed relatively similar as well. There's a cave. I could try it in the cave. Okay, damage may have fallen a bit. It's hard to tell. Hmm. Might destroy flying dragons then? Yeah, we really need to try it on a dragon. That's the big thing. Death isn't a big deal because it's really easy to be sleep immune. But if your pawns are dumb, they're done against them. Yeah, true. I actually think this will be better without a pawn in a way. Sadly, the Saurians are a little bit too resistant to stagger for it to be the perfect option, but it does work. Uh, the name of this skill... Actually, I have it equipped. It's called Life-Taking Arrow. Life-Taking Arrow. It'll say on there, it'll say it buffs pawns, so like heals pawns or whatever. So it seems like a pawn skill they'd use it for, but I actually am using it for damage and it's just working. I think there's more in this cave. I'm hoping there is. Kind of a small light source as well. It has multi uses. A gore chimera. Okay. Alright, not chimera. Gosh darn. Uh, gore minotaur. Okay, damage is definitely lower on a lower bow. I think? Oh, yeah, we said it hits vitals, so I have to get it to hit the vital. He's not aggroing. Does it not aggro? It should. It was aggroing earlier. I think he's just stuck. I think the, the bow mattered a little bit. Possibly. Let's switch equipment and see. Oh, yes. The, your weapon does matter. It, it's not in a massive amount, but it's enough to notice. It looks like maybe 10%. More damage, possibly? Maybe not even that much. But again, you're not going to use it for a main damage source. You're going to use it to, like, clear out a bunch of enemies that are fighting you while you're fighting the boss or something like that. Huh.
That's it's it, interesting, bro. It's very interesting. Just yonder looks to be a good spot. Crazy how well trained pawns you can find in the first game. No Found a level six Strider pawn on a PlayStation of full Oblivion gear. Dang, somebody wasn't playing around. You'll like to grow overburdened if you keep picking up. All right, so we got a we got a little a little thing working out for us right now. It's actually really, really cool here. Oh, this is the guy that gives you the uh, helmet. He's a one-time spawn, I think. Every little trinket you find. Let's go find us some more enemies. I. It just seems like a solid option, man. What else are you going to be using? The only other thing you have in your toolkit to do what this could possibly do would be the fire arrow. The fire arrow does is locks you in place. This one doesn't lock you in place very long. It also does not require aiming at all. I mean, you just kind of let it loose. Feel like you have to walk too much in the post game to find somewhat challenging enemies. So different from the Everfall where the cool part was getting there and fighting all the cool rooms. Yeah, so for me, there's two sides of the coin. Number one, I did not like how there were a lot of dungeons in the Everfall that were just fight enemies and there was no boss room or the boss room took forever to find and it was at the very end of this long nonsense stuff on the other hand there were a lot of rooms that were just bosses and it was a lot of fun here you have the end game where you can fight a lot of stuff find some cool armors some cool enemies but you do have to do a lot of walking around the world so I think the Everfall was a better idea and if they had done just bosses for the Everfall, I would have liked it probably way more than the end game here. I still think the end game is pretty decent. I like that I can keep fighting constantly as long as I keep walking, because there's usually a lot of pretty unique encounters. Not necessarily unique, but there's a lot of, like, dragons and wargs and stuff all over the place. Everfall was definitely nicer for not having to walk around, though. Just get to fight stuff over. Especially jumping down the hole was pretty fun. So this nullifies humans. But yeah, I, I get you, Lopez. My thing is, guys, this is one of the most annoying caves in the entire game. If they respawned. If they didn't respawn, I might have to sleep. And I may have just found a way to nullify the entire thing. I think less, looks like lesser enemies might respawn. Big stuff, maybe not. It's got a decent stamina cost to it. I mean, it's not super spammy. Wait, I can kill other pawns. Or are they random NPCs? Everfall is also a decent place to prepare new players for BBI. That was a huge advantage of it, yeah. They kind of told you that there's going to be new enemies and that you're going to be thrown up against a lot of stuff. It looks like this is not respawned. Okay. So now we know what we're doing. I really, really want to test this game. What time is it? Ugh. Okay. I gotta go sleep 10 days. And we're gonna run from... Batal? No. The Volcanic Isle back up to Batal. Because I want to see, first off, does this do good damage to a dragon? That's the most important question that I have. Um, number two, does this deal with that cave? Because I think it might.
The other thing is, look at this. It's not just attacking a small area. It's attacking a massive... I think if I go downhill, it'll actually hit longer. Seems like it might attack the townspeople, though. It does attack NPCs. I think. Yeah, I think it might attack NPCs. No? It attacks guards. So it attacks enemies that can attack you. NPCs are safe, guards are not. Guards are getting destroyed, but... What about merchants? Are merchants safe? Merchants should be. So maybe don't use this in town. Let's go see if she's back. So I'm still in combat. I gotta finish off whatever... Okay, down there. Uh, maybe let's not use the orb. Let's just freaking use it. I'll kill the whole town, how about that? Don't use it in town, though. <laughs> you really don't want to kill everybody. It's taking them out very quickly, too. Alright, that's probably still not it. Mm. Ah, I got an idea. Nope, can't sleep there either. I leave town and come back. I don't know. I've never actually attacked a guard, so I don't know how it works. It's killing those guys, too. It's gonna kill everybody. You get to pick up and throw the other NPCs enough for their HP bar to be visible to use skills on them. Oh, okay. It crushes those goblins. What's that? I'm having my pawns wait here. I'm gonna go back in town. Aha! Uh -huh. I did it. Nice. Life taking air is awesome with the uh, Magic Archer Warfare 3 DPS setup. You know, so I'd not recommend camping. Yeah, it sounds like it'd be pretty good with your buff and your pawn. Give you a roof over your head at least. What was I doing? Resting for 10 days. I gotta get the dragon to respawn. Yeah, I'm actually liking it, man. I'm liking it. What she got? Drenching arrows. Sweet. I do need those for my I archer. Now when I randomly decide to soldier, ice stuff. It's actually not that expensive, though. Alright, there's two. Yeah, I waste a bunch of money this way, but I don't waste fairy stones, which is the part that matters to me. I don't want to waste fairy stones. Alright, so we're going to see how good it is on a dragon, which I'm very interested to see. We'll get to test it against Succubi and a bunch of goblins. Test the basic attack? Yes, I will test the basic attack. I forgot about that. I should be able to. Neither of these are going to kill the dragon that quickly. I doubt it. You know, soldier, I'd not recommend. Camping. You know, soldier, are you? Are you? What is this? Three or four? Shall we get some rest then? Gosh, counting is hard. I think it's. I think it's four. I'm never paying enough attention. 
He may respond in less days than that, but I always do that to be make sure. One of my thieves stole three stones from a spirit earlier. Oh, three of the fairy stones? That's awesome. Yeah, I'm gonna have to run with the thief. I never do. I don't even think my pawn's been a thief since the very beginning of the game. And I didn't have her use Pilfer, but I know a lot of people can get some cool stuff from Pilfer. Especially those. Like, that's random, but that's also really cool. What are you up to? You're no soldier, are you? I'd not recommend camping. You'll await me the... We must rest. Also, I'm finding the world much smaller on NG+. I've done so much more in so little time. Yes... The main reason for that is once you know where everything is, you can actually get to it pretty quickly. And there's there's benefit, there's pros and cons to that. Number one, the pro is the world becomes much easier to travel. So like, say, the first time you play it, it seems like getting from Vernworth to Batal is going to take you forever. In reality, it doesn't take that long, even if you walk and don't take the carts. I'd not recommend camping. The con would be that it feels like there's less to do. Um, but I always feel like there's enough monsters to slay, so I, I don't have an issue with that one. You're no soldier. I'd not recommend camping. You'll await me At this point, with how much time I've played being in the NG Plus that I am, I can pretty much get anywhere in the world without too much hassle. It doesn't feel that annoying to walk anywhere. Now, I would take a cart from... Batal to, like, rest point no gate if I really need to get there fast. You'll await me the good but I don't have to, obviously. I don't know why they have this curtain in the way, because it's really stupid. Some of the houses in the game are like that. Like, if you're in the house, it's very hard to see anything. You're no soldier, are Found a really good ring for Sorcerer, the Ring of Recitation. You'll await me the blank. Shall we get some rest, then? I think... I think I have that one. I do have that one. I think I have two of them. Alright, once again, I wasn't counting, so I think we're at, like, eight. You're no soldier, I'd not recommend camping. You'll await me. We must rest. I think we're at eight. We need two more. I'm very excited for this because if this can hit a weak spot, dragons have a massive weak spot. It should target his head the entire time. And after it targets the head, it might target through his body as well. That's what I'm interested in. Because what if it hits the head and the heart at the same time? That would double double my stagger potential and damage potential. You're no soldier, so I'm add that in camping. with like You'll await me the, Shall we get some rest then? the frost ability. Then it could really just like stack stuff on top of each other. That could be cool, actually. Alright, let's do this. Uh, we're gonna switch abilities real quick. I wanna throw on that no ice soldier, ability just in case. I'd not recommend camping. You'll await me the blanket of I can give you a roof over your head. Much obliged. It's been about 20k on sleeping. You know it. You know it. Oh, what does this say? <laughs> that it would melt a dragon? Me. That's what I'm hoping. Here we go again. If battle cannot be avoided, tis fight or die. I am well aware of the particulars. Look, I can follow it. And be completely safe. I will protect you. Well, I could until this thing showed up. Also, somehow sorry and still managed to be annoying with it. I think I can stagger him off the of walls now, though. Yeah, basically, if you have hallways or lines of enemies, this is going to completely nullify the entire challenge of them. Save return to title screen makes respawning uh, monsters faster, at least. I It doesn't respawn master monsters, though. Archer to our ranks. 
I should be glad to fight alongside them. Archers are masters of trained warfare after all. From my knowledge, the only way to respond to monsters is to sleep 10 days. I don't know anything about saving. Maybe it respawns basic enemies? I'm not sure what you mean. Thoughts on the nerfing Dragon's Plague by making it more visible? Yeah, I'm fine with that. I mean, I, I don't care for it really at all. It doesn't feel like it's... Yeah, I think making it more visible would be fine. That That is the problem currently, is it's not visible enough. Even if you stare at your pawns, sometimes you can miss it. So, yeah, that'd probably be a good idea, actually. Is that the dragon? Okay, here's the dragon. You ready? Yeah, it's how I farm monsters. I don't know if little... It should work with little enemies, too. Made a straightforward pawn with red eyes. I live in fear. <laughs> That's funny. Yes, land on top of my head. That's totally cool. All right, I'm gonna let a bunch of them loose. See what happens. I think it's hitting my pawns, and so it's not reaching the weak spot yet. So far, I'm seeing very, very limited results. The heart's not exactly open yet, so we'll have to see when the heart opens. The damage may increase. There we go. Yeah, damage... Damage is much, much more. I don't think it's going to knock him out of this. Yeah, so it's not really something you want to be using on dragons. There's that basic attack you were talking about, though. So yeah, it's not for dragons. Which I assumed would be the case. The basic attack is, though. It's actually really strong. We'll fight you activate it now. But you're healing your pawns at the same time, too. We would do well to seek the high ground when fighting. This is crazy. It's demolishing the dragon. That's not a skill. This is my actual attack. Well, that's interesting. Yeah, you're right. Magic Archer's basic attack is actually stronger than some of its skills. Especially if you time that correctly. Huh. Be Dragon's Dogma 2 with all your pawns afflicted with Dragon's Plague? Oh, boy. Opens up the heart for damage. Yeah, well, look at this, though. I wasn't even using that bow. I'm using the black wing. I also have this one, especially effective against the draconic species. I wasn't even using this one, though. Imagine if I was. That's the thing. That's the thing, Lopez. Imagine the damage. I'd have to upgrade it, because currently this one's still better, but... It could get even better, dude. It could get even better. 
We might have need of it. I've got a really solid... Solid idea what I want to do with this class now. A life-taking arrow, I think you should always have on. I think this is highly efficient at... Keeping you safer... And staggering smaller foes... Very, very often. This thing seems ridiculously powerful. It seems like an option that you're gonna pick up and go garbage, trash, never use again. Uh, when it actually has like secret power. And that power is Magic Archer's only way of not taking damage. Which to me sounds awesome. But yeah, apparently Magic Archer's basic attack is busted. A cheat code to make the game just a bit harder. Play Warfare and recreate the vocation you were going to play. Yeah, that's a cool idea. I think they're behind me. Look at this. Just siphons. Huh. In all reality, for me, though, I think if I wanted the game to be harder, I would just play solo. I think it's pretty much that simple. I get that, yeah, it's... it's. There's no hard mode. Maybe it's a little too easy at times once you get upgraded, but... In all reality, if you really want to make it that hard on yourself, you can just play solo and it'll actually be quite a bit challenging. Thief with the warrior armor is still silly. Oh, you're saying you wear armor, but you play thief of warrior? That's funny. So you could be like a big tank and a fast thief guy. <laughs> that is kind of funny. I think I would fold. This is crazy. This is unbelievable right now. This is might get an S tier on my list. I'm not even joking. Look at that! It protected me! See what I'm saying? This is getting an S tier, guaranteed. It's insane. What if... See, remember we went down that path, and there was like... Not doing that much damage. I don't know what the deal was. Let me go check it out real quick. I want to see if it does. Earlier it was being kind of bad, but... I wonder if it'll fix itself now. I'm actually being challenged in my duo playthrough because I'm using, uh, used to being a tank. Ah, I got you. Our respective abilities are unique as well. Let us utilize our individual strengths wherever possible. Let's see. Come on. So you just set off a bunch of them. Because they don't... Like, you could just have as many on the field as you want. They don't disappear. That's the crazy thing. So they stack really, really quickly. Yeah, it completely melts groups. Now, you are killing your own teammates. You're killing pawns. I don't know why it attack pawn. It attacks pawns. It does, though. I don't know. <laughs> it just kills them randomly. These guys definitely just spawned in, right? Unless they were up on this cliff, which they might have been. I think they stack. Dude, where did they come from? They have to come from the top, maybe. See if there's something big over here. Might be... Okay, perfect opportunity. There's a ton of enemies right here. We're gonna let this fly and see what happens. So I'm attacking the Minotaur, and while I'm doing that, I just killed all of the little guys that were in my way. And I don't believe he's on me. I think he, he's on my pawn. So you shoot off one of these, 
Then you shoot a basic attack. Then you shoot off one of these, and then you shoot a basic attack. And that's a really good combo that you can kind of spam the entire game. The ability that I have to just delete stuff before it gets to me. That's what I'm talking about with this. It's unbelievable. It's one of the few ways you can damage a big target while also damaging smaller targets. How crazy is that? And all I did was stand there. I was able to take out everything instantly. I gotta stop picking crap up. I keep doing that. It's habit, man. I can't I can't stop myself from picking it up. What's up, Chica? How's it going, bro? Only reason I play Warfare is to have the option to equip whatever armor I want. Some classes' armors are just ugly. Dude, I, I agree with you, though. Because for real, we tried everything we could to make Magic Archer look good. And he's got the worst armor in the game. It's horrible. That and Trickster, they both have terrible armor. What if you just did basic attacks? That would work pretty well, true. But the thing about the basic attacks is they only target... They do high damage against one target. Or you can, like, split it up and hit a bunch, but then it does much lower damage. I think pairing it up well does pretty good. Just yonder looks to be a good spot for harvesting ingredients. No harm in picking Basic attacks are stamina positive and rival skills. It's crazy. Yeah, that is the crazy part. I, I don't feel like it's intentional, but maybe it is. It really does rival all the skills. I mean, we used it riveted... Uh, what was the one we used earlier? So Frost Hunter Bolt, right, is going to hit the enemy multiple times, but its damage is a bit lower. Whereas your basic attack does both, kind of? I mean, it does both. It does high damage and it hits over and over, so that's cool. You feel the ground tremble under Possible for your pawn to collect scars? Yes, my pawn has like a ton of scars, actually. Remember earlier, and I was trying to use this, and I'm like, this is terrible. What's going on? Now I love it. It's one of the best skills in the game. It's mainly the stagger component. It really does stagger everything in your way. Love thieves, though. These are freaking great. Now what I do is I do this. It's a fun way to play. A very fun way to play. I actually feel like I don't need a mage. That's how crazy this is. Imagine playing... Okay, I got an idea. What you do is you do Warfare, Trickster, and Magic Archer, both weapons, right? You're gonna use... Recovery Arrow and Life Taking Arrow. And then you're gonna use the Pawn Buff and Rearmament. That's four skills. You now have the strongest pawns in the game. They can't die because you're infinitely healing them, and you heal. Oh my word, that's such a fun build. Can this go through walls? I don't know if we... I don't think it can. I think it does. My dude's about to go through the freaking water. him a couple of times. Get a life seeker off. I wish it healed me. That's the only complaint I have. But I get it because that'd be a little too good. Right? 
I think it's stupid that an enemy can just beat on you while you lay on the ground. If I'm gonna lay on the ground, don't let... Let me get back up when I get hit. It's really stupid. That's why that mechanic doesn't make any sense. Like, it's fine until that happens, and then it's just like, wh what are we doing? Yeah, I thought that might happen. He was being a little too movie. He's all over the place. Like, if you're gonna do the down mechanic... The next attack when an enemy hits me should get me back up. It should un... like, stick me from the ground. Why did he get to chop my head four times in a row? That don't make any sense. Telling your pawns to wait while you put the boss to sleep for double damage set up. Yeah, I like that quite a bit. Yeah. Yeah, I get that it does make sense realistically, true. This is a situation I wanted to test it in. Look at this. There's so many hobgoblins. And they're just all getting destroyed by this. It's so good at clearing your path. Like, again, hallways. Hallways are your best friend with something like this. It works in open areas, too. But in a hallway, they can't go anywhere. It's just, nah, I'd win. <laughs> Arisen, I know of at least one location in the vicinity that may be of interest to you. Shall I tell you more? No. Shut up. How many times she said that today? Shall I tell you more? Would you like to know more information about the surrounding area that you've explored about five times? This today. Like been five times we've been here today and you want to explore. How about no? See, I think this damages this enemy. Let me see. Or NPC. Yeah, look. Haha. <laughs> For some reason, random pawns it just murders them. I don't even feel bad. It, I figured it out. It stops random pawns from talking to you. Ha ha, I did it. Solved the game. Magic Archer is the fix to everything. If you just kill everybody, they can't talk to you. Oh, it's a griffin. Get the frick down here, bro. This is a griffin that I never get to fight. He's coming. He's on his way. He sees me. Yeah, he does. Come on, buddy. Hey. Ah, this is the one I fought earlier, too. Oh, it destroys Griffins, bro. I don't know why. There's so much damage. It makes no sense. I, it has to be that it just hits his weak spot the entire time. It just completely destroys their health bar. I don't get it. I don't get it. Every other monster, it's relatively weak. At least at first. And the griffins are just annihilated. Yeah, look at this awesome climbing device arisen. Exactly. Freaking ladders, my dude. Freaking ladders. You make a great pawn, Sheen? I would, actually. I imagine Look out. Sorry, I preemptively killed you. This is the cave I really was hoping to use this on. I'm very excited right now. If this works the way I think it's going to. This is going to change this cave. Because it's such an... Oh, look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Freaking cheese, bro. A hallway. I told you. 
Well, problem is my pawn's in the way, so it's not working properly. Yes! It's beautiful! Kill everything at the same time and heal your pawns. What kind of a game am I playing right now? That's crazy. <laughs> specialization skill that mutes your pawn, but I don't know how to get it. Yeah, I know there's a couple of specializations I don't have. Actually, let me rephrase that. I don't have any of the specializations. I have two of them. Now, the one I want is the crafting one. That one's pretty good. I had to get the elven one so I could talk to the dumb elves, but... I'll look that stuff up when I need it, you know what I mean? I don't need it right now. Yeah, why use Bolt Chain now? Oh, that's a good point. You said Bolt Seeker. I was trying to think of what skill you're talking about. Yeah, Bolt Seeker is borderline... Uh, what's a good word for that? It's borderline dookie. That's the, that's the correct word for that. It's a dumb word for it, but it's accurate. There's no chance, bro. There's no chance. The only problem with the Bolt Seeker is that it really does require a little bit too much effort to get going. Like... It just doesn't really go where you want it to. You, the free aim only shoots one bolt. Yeah. I want to like it more than I do, but I just don't. This is crazy to me. I just completely nullified one of the hardest add dungeons in the game. I think this might be the hardest. I mean, there's just a lot of small stuff, so... Not like it's that bad, but... Takes off armor incredibly fast. Incredibly fast. Also doing the Sphinx quest right this time. There's imitation Sphinx mothers. Oh. I tried. I briefly met the Sphinx earlier. Uh, we tried to kill her. Didn't work out very well. I think it accepts anything with mother, father, and parent in it. I think. But I think it has to be from the Capcom ones, though. Pawn still doesn't have her weapon equipped. That's how good it is. Exactly. Doesn't even matter, bro. They can't touch me. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. I'm telling you, if this works as good as it does right now, early on, this is going to be insane. Ah, oh, That's not good. Did not remember that was there. Mainly, I looked at chat for like a half a second. Are you in need of healing, Arisen? Can you fight? To arms? 
Oh yeah, that's what I want to see. Look at all those guys. Yes, dude. They're dead instantly. I think it does go through walls a little bit. If for some reason it goes through cave walls. I don't think that's intentional. Doesn't feel intentional. Oh, I hate this spot. Like, I just gave myself a chance to get up here. See, with the basic attack, I can single out a target, but I can't really deal with two at a time that well. As long as I shoot it down the whole hallway, I think it'll get him. I wish it had, like, a sucking power. Like, it would pull in enemies. It doesn't quite do that. Now, it's already arguably too strong, but I'm just saying that would be even cooler. I just took out the entire cave. I think I may have taken five hits worth of damage. It wasn't a lot. This is an incredible skill. It's just got so many uses is the thing. It, this reminds me a lot of Sorcerer's uh, electric mind thingy, where it's just basically used to defend you. If you really want to, you could use it just, just for that. Is that to freeze him? Yeah, now I'm doing good stagger and I'm hitting him like that. That's great, man. On bigger monsters, big monsters are so big that the radius of the orb hits them for like twice as long. Just because they're, it's just going to travel along them for a lot longer. So that light on top, the dome, that is the mage master skill. That gives me infinite stamina for a time. Good morrow, everyone. Come, we've much to be getting on with. Ready? Kill the bull. We're going to head over to the... Because this area... Listen, because this area is so close to Medusa, I'm going to head over there. I just want everyone to know... I should have been off like half an hour ago. So when it's an hour later and I'm still on, I want you to remember that I said this. It's a very cheesy skill and I love it, dude. I love it. I'm all for cheese. You could just send it at random targets. Like, I just send it all over the map. It's gonna kill whatever I send it at. I thought there was an enemy there. Apparently I was wrong. I kind of want to see what this does to the Medusa. The Medusa is a massive enemy lengthwise. This could either be really good or really terrible. Those are really the only two options. There's nothing else. Dry off as soon as you can. Think this was intended? Yeah, probably. <gasps> that freaking sucks. It's that pawn right there. Or no, it was a bandit that did that. Can I even get over there now? You know what? Watch this. I don't watch this. You can't do anything right now. Never mind. Never mind. Yay! 
Sit down, lady. Why did she even break that? Still can't use it. No idea. Oh, because they're engaging in combat. Stupid pawns. They're always doing something I don't want them to do. Alright, I gotta teleport out of here. I was gonna walk over, but I literally cannot now. They broke my bridge. I guess maybe sleeping a day might fix that, though. I don't know. Whatever, bro. No way. It hits all those enemies at the same time. It's crazy. Here we go. Let's see if it does anything to the Medusa. If I back up, I'm gonna back up on the end of her tail and I'm gonna hit her for a longer amount. Stagger? Not quite. One, two, three, four, five, six ish. See how many times it hits? Huh. It's pretty crazy. Surprising me. Just after everything. You just kind of spam it. And it just hits stuff. Like you don't even really try. It just does work. And bonus. It kills deer. Which. You know. If you hate deer. I do think this would maybe be a bit weaker early on. But. This has got a lot of potential. A lot of potential. We could add a What's up, DJ Morrow? How's it What's going, bro? Just drop in to say hello before some Remnant 2. Nice. Nice. You ready for the DLC, bro? Looking pretty fun. I'm excited. It's just kind of funny because it's so slow, you literally can follow the missile, and then it just protects you as you move up into the battlefield. Like, it's just really funny to me. Definitely better single target damage options, but this is crazy for groups and defense. Yeah, I mean, obviously a lot of the stuff we've used today is way more powerful. But look at this effectiveness at just... Keeping harpies off of me, you know, keeping dogs off me, all this stuff. I'm amazed, really. Again, Magic Archer is a powerhouse. It does not have the ability to dodge attacks or 
really avoid damage at all. It doesn't have any good way of doing that. And I think this is the tool that they gave us without actually saying that, which is kind of neat. This kind of makes the shield bubble, the fortress thingy, kind of meh. I, I don't, I don't see any need for that. That's kind of pointless. There's just no reason to use that when you can infinitely heal like this. Okay, there's a big guy. Invoker Archon. Does sound kind of fun. Does sound kind of fun. Yeah, it's going to be some nice options. It's going to be some nice options. Oh crap. I ran out of stamina. Wouldn't it be funny if it like zapped stamina for you? That'd be crazy. I don't feel like the Cyclopses did that in the first game. They literally run up to you, try to attack you, and they move past you as they attack. It's like the weirdest thing of all time. Man, the stagger is just so good. With the veracity, I should have expected. Mm, yeah, that's true. My word, this ox cart has been destroyed. Brought that is the true. Brigands, all the claws of monsters. We ought to proceed with caution. What the heck, bro? 116! It's crazy. This is unbelievable. Alright. That is nutty. Let's go over all the skills. This has been a fun one, bro. I mean, Magic Archer is just a blast start to finish. Everything is just really, really strong. All of his attacks have at least some use, and they do a lot of damage. It's unbelievable just playing this class. Fighting a dragon is a completely different story with this class compared to a lot of others. It's just night and day. I actually think I had the most trouble with dragons with warrior for some reason. Boy, no Every other one of these has been a joke. Literally just been trashing everything. All right, start off with Frost Hunter Bolt. What do we think? Frost Hunter Bolt is I would probably say S tier because, I mean, it attacks so repeatedly if you get it going, and it's just going to demolish whatever you shoot at it. Plus, it freezes by itself. Um, Its raw magic damage is incredible. Auto-aim for itself, lasts a long time. It's good against dragons, completely destroys dragons, actually. Good against most targets. I actually only think the target it was bad against was a griffin. So yeah, I think it's S. I'm interested in how Invoker is going to stack. Like, could we be able to run Gunslinger Pistol plus Invoker and get Hyperconductor? Oh, that's a cool idea. Get like six abilities? That'd be nuts. What if the Ring of Recompass buffs magic damage? Maybe it would work with Martyr's Bolt. I don't know. But yeah, I'm going to go S with that one. That one feels crazy good. Gives Ice buff too if not using a Pawn. True. Golems are immune to it. Are they immune to him? Yeah, they were immune to it, weren't they? I'm still going to go S tier, though. It was incredibly powerful. Incredibly powerful. We've got a couple other options for golems. Uh, most stuff's immune there. Condescent Orb. I actually didn't like this. I think this was... Uh, 
This was pretty weak. This did very little damage to almost every target. What it does is it, does, it applies burning, basically. I thought it'd be good for undead. It really was not that good for undead. And I think Blaze Fang Arrow is just way better. This is either D or C for me. I want to give it a C to be lenient, but I honestly think it deserves D for how bad it actually performed. It's just a burn stuff, and that is it. You give it a C. Okay. I feel like in certain situations, maybe you want... Oh, you said it was good against Griffins, which I never got to test it against, so that's fair. It does at least do damage over time. And it was okay for Wolves. I guess that's fair. C for Condescent. Alright, that makes sense. You guys are really being logical here, and I appreciate it. <laughs> yeah, C's fair. That, that's a fair assessment. What's up, Van? Rude Dr. Build still going strong? Heck yeah, dude. Wait till... Uh, Brew Doctor 3.0 for the DLC. I'm coming out with it, bro. I'm going to work on it, hopefully, this weekend. I got it ready already. I just need some footage. Thought it was okay against Undead. Maybe C. All right, we'll give it C because I, I do think it it could be fine against Undead. It just wasn't amazing to me. I think Blaze Fang's still better. Ricochet Hunter. Now, this one is weird because you would think... It's amazing in caves. It's un it's unbeatable in caves. It completely instantly kills everything. Now you would think that because it's good in caves, it would be bad other places. It's not. If you get direct hits because of the auto machine gun, it's actually really, really good. The problem is, do I want this all the time? Maybe not. This is very good, though. Way better than Bolt Chain. It's your best lightning ability. Because Sagittate's not a lightning ability. And so this is going to give you that really nice extra lightning damage. Do we need lightning damage? Yes. I like lightning damage. It's pretty good. Maybe against ogres, things like that. I want to give it an S. I'm going to give it an S just for being the best lightning ability, if anything. I think it's, I think it's really, really good. It was an S in the first game. I think it's an S here. Even though it is situational, I'm still going to I'm gonna give it an S. S indoors, B outside, so maybe A. I think if we're going to use it for what its purpose is, its purpose is indoors, let's, let's, call it a, let's call it an S, just so we can... If we're going to use them for what they're used for, that, that kind of makes some sense. So, you're, There's a lot of Ks in this game compared to the first, so I think it's fair. Uh, Saporphic Bolt. I don't know about this one. Sleep is really strong, so that's instantly putting it high up on the list. We've got reasonably quick cast time. Uh, oh, you know another advantage of Ricochet Hunter? It's pretty good end game. There's a lot of those caverns. You know, like in the river part? It'll actually bounce off of those pretty well. I don't know why, but I noticed it was. Sleep. Anyway, this is what we're talking about this one. Puts enemies to sleep. Um, I'm feeling A. Because you only get about one or two uses of it per fight, so it's not like the best thing in the world, but it can greatly increase your damage. And I mean, you can put enemies to sleep, so that's really powerful. Sleep situational, better in certain setups. Definitely better for Warfarer. Um, it's, it seemed good here. The problem with Magic Archer specifically is, again, we discussed this, there's no way to exploit sleep efficiently. All of our attacks, unless Sagittate. Sagittate could possibly exploit sleep pretty well. That's the only one. Everything else attacks repeatedly versus instant damage. You want very fast damage like a warrior could do. But being able to neutralize enemies is very powerful. You're just probably not going to use it too many times for battle, like once or... T I feel like two casts per enemy is about what you're going to get regularly. You could probably get more. I'm going to give it an A. It's also a little bit harder to use in combat. You got to use it at certain times, otherwise it doesn't even work. Blaze Fang? Ooh. What do you think about Blaze Fang? I kind of feel S for Blaze Fang as well, just because it's really, really powerful and easy to use. Like, there's very little aiming to do here. 
What's up, Jared? How's it go, bro? You can take out a large group. The AoE is incredible. It has the best AoE of any attack in the entire game, I think. The AoE is absurd. You don't even have to hit anything and automatically tracks onto it. It's our best fire damage ability. Yeah, we're going S. I'm feeling that. Arctic Bolt. Is not an S, I don't think. Um... Yeah, the damage is just incredible. Yeah. I'm I'm Arctic Bolt, I feel like is a So this is a weird one. By itself, it's probably an A. By itself, it's probably an A. Very, very high stagger, very, very high ice damage, so good for dragons, good for certain enemies. Can basically knock back any small target, deal high damage to them. But the problem is if we're playing Magic Archer, a lot of our abilities already can do stuff like Stagger. Like, Frost Hunter Bolt does more damage than this over time, and also staggers because it hits so often. So, I don't know... I feel like maybe it's a B? I don't know, probably an A still. It's a very strong ability. Depending on where you're at in the game, too. I feel like Arctic is better early on, too. B, I think. Long charge up, lowest damage, but high stagger. I, I'm going to agree with you on that one, too. I was thinking the A or B, because I think the long charge up is the biggest issue. To get the most out of it, which is the really high damage, you do have to fully charge it, which kind of sucks. So it is very good. We'll give it a B. That's fair. What's up, Jared? Said I'm jealous. Just had surgery two weeks ago, and it's going to be another two weeks before I can get back in my wheelchair to game. Oh, that's unfortunate, bro. Be late to the invoker party. Well, we'll have the builds ready for you, Jared. How about that? All right, Arctic. That was good. Bolt Chain. This is an easy C tier. I actually am refraining from giving it a D. I genuinely... This was bad. This was bad. It does no damage. Even on small targets. It is a stagger only skill. And it's not very good at that. The main issue I have with it. Is it takes too long to set up. Like once it's set up like that. Like they have in the picture where it's sparking off multiple. That's very good. But it takes so long to get that to happen. I think it's equal to condescent. I feel like some people are going to like it. Some people could make use of it pretty well. I just, I don't know. It seems real iffy to me. You set it up correctly. It did, it did do decent. My gut says D. I really didn't think it performed that well. Attach it to multiple areas on a monster. Super low damage. I gotta go with my gut. I gotta go with my gut. I genuinely don't think it's ever worth taking. That's the thing. A D category for me is like, it works, but it's just not ever worth taking. I just... it. There's so many things that do better for Stagger. Especially now that we know the other ability is really good. So, Sagittate, I feel like it's an S just because of its raw power. It's super fast to activate... You can aim very quickly. I like the way it targets. It targets on the enemies fast. It's very pinpoint accurate, which we don't have a lot of abilities that are like that for this class. So it's good for weak spots. Very good on dragons. Very good on Medusa. Um, is it worse than Condescent, though? Bolt Chain? Honestly, yeah. Bolt Chain doesn't do hardly any damage. I feel like Condescent at least applied Burning. If you charged Condescent up, it did do burning, which was pretty decent damage. I don't know, that's kind of the mindset I'm going into with it. Sagittate, yeah, we're going to have to give that an S. That's one of your best abilities. The stamina management is maybe the weakest part, but... Neutral damage, yeah, just always good. I mean, I don't know of any enemy that I hit with it that I just didn't... Dude, it was always crushing. Amazing for Chimeras. Completely obliterated... 
the Griffin. I mean, that Griffin got destroyed. Uh, very good for all the smaller targets, like Saurians, things like that. Yeah, it's a very nice one. Recovery Arrow. I'm going to have to say this is a B tier, mainly because you don't really need this most of the time. Most people are running with a mage. Now, if you're playing solo, this is obviously a must-have. You would need a heal. Maybe A tier, because it is a heal, and you can heal your pawns fully. And it does do very, very solid healing. I, I was very surprised by how much it actually healed. It was pretty solid. From a distance, you can revive pawns too, which is very useful. It's just you're not going to want to use it all the time. I'm going to give it an A. I, my gut says A on that one because it's just really strong. Even if you don't need it when you're running a mage. If you're not going to run a mage, it is going to be something that you're going to want. So I, I like it quite a bit. And it's a very fast one. Like You don't even have to activate it fully. You just throw it off. Very, very good for healing. Life-taking arrow. This is an easy... Unbelievable S tier. Cannot believe how good this was. Was phenomenal. Very, very surprised by that. Unbelievable. Just completely staggers everything in your path. Uh, deals very solid damage. At least later on, as far as I could tell. Heals your ally. Spammable. Reasonable stamina cost. It's amazing. I mean, this is just truly an incredible, incredible skill that really seemed like it sucked at first, and then it was great, because the stagger on it is just really nice to have. Seeing good healing on my end. Yeah, that heal is really, really nice. So we're going to give that one an easy yes. I have no idea how that came out of nowhere like that. That feels like another Divine Defense from Fighter type of deal, where it just seemed like it sucked, and it was incredible. Just unbelievable skill. Fortalis. I don't know. Uh, my gut says D because there's no reason to use this. You could just infinitely heal your pawn with life-taking arrow. So. Didn't see much with it. Yeah, I didn't even use it much. That's the thing. It, you don't really see it that much. It feels like you have to spam it really, really often in order to get much use out of it. It does actually work very well. I mean, the enemy... The problem is it's just... Unless you're going to play a Trickster, Warfare, or Magic Archer hybrid of all three, this is going to be very hard to make use of. There's just no reason to have it. And let's say you have a Warrior Pawn, and maybe you know he's going to be getting all the attention. Yeah, it feels very mediocre. I'd love to test this one more, but it just... I don't even want to use it, really. It's just not... It's not good enough. It requires that an enemy actually hits your pawn, which might not ever happen. You know, usually it will, but it might not happen that often. And it's equal to the damage they deal. So, sometimes it's going to be good. Sometimes it's going to be... I'm just going to put D. I don't like that skill. I think C for most people. Like, if you wanted to use it for its purpose, it's probably a C, but I'm going to put D overall. Like, you just don't need something like this. If you have two abilities that heal really well, life-taking and recovery arrow, why do you need a defense option like that? I don't know. Not feeling it. Depends on how much damage it reflects in bosses. That really would be it, yeah. It just... It's really hard to test that, unfortunately. Martyr's Bolt, I think we decided it was an A. Um... Because you've got to consider the downsides. And the downside is that it's going to completely destroy your health. Which is a pretty big downside. Uh, the damage is S tier. The damage is probably S, S tier. S plus. It's way, way good. You can hit multiple enemies. You can hit groups. You can hit everything. But I think... It having that downside does make it a little bit weak. Like, you're not going to want to use this all the time. Notice when I played with it, I only used it like four or five times. Because I'm like, whatever. Now, I'll say this. This is going to differentiate depending on where you're at in the game. So if you're early on in the game, this is going to be one of your most used skills. Because every time you get to a bonfire, you can sleep. So if you're near a bonfire at all, you can instantly kill the biggest enemy in the game. 
get a ton of XP, level up, get some materials, and then go sleep and get your health back. All heals are also not that expensive. Um, the problem is end game. When you get to the end game, this starts to suck real, real bad. Because unless you have a ton of all heal potions, uh, you really don't have a way to cure yourself. Because you can only sleep 10 days total. I think you can change classes to heal, though. Still, not, not that great. That's a pretty big downside. So yeah, I agree with giving that an A. I feel like we'll get a lot of comments on that one, people being like, it's definitely S, but... The problem is, is it that's a pretty big downside. You gotta consider it. You're not You're gonna be a little bit lenient sometimes to use it. You're gonna be like, well, do I wanna use my health right now? Maybe I'll save that. So that's something you gotta consider. You wanna compare that to Frost Hunter, where you can spam that all day and do infinite damage? Yeah. Yeah, we'll give that easy A. Damage based on health number or health percentage? I think it is health percentage. Let me check. Uh, bu 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 bu. Fires ultimate magical bolt in exchange for a temporary decrease to the user's maximum health. Reduced amount determines the bolt's potency. I would assume it's a percentage. You don't know whim. You've naught to loot. So there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 12 skills. Let me read back through them again one more time. Frost Hunter, we gave an S because we saw what it could do. It's incredible. Good stagger, good damage. Condescent Orb, we gave a C because it's really not that good. Uh, but in certain situations, it feels like it could be a useful tool. We've got Ricochet Hunter. I put an S. It could possibly be an A for some people. I feel S. This thing is amazing when you want to use it the way it's supposed to be used. Sleep, put A, because it's a bit situational, but very good still. Blaze Fink, it's an S. It's AoE and damage are unrivaled. Arctic Bolt gets a B. It's the only B on the list, actually. It's both very good and not your best option at the same time. Bolt Chain, I gave a D. I really didn't like this at all. I know people were excited about it. I did not like it. Sagittae gave an S, because it's obviously good. Recovery Arrow, we gave an A for healing. Good healing. Life taking got an S because it's insane. Borderless I don't really care for. It's a D and then Martyr's Bolt, which got an A. And you might I feel pretty good about that. That's a pretty good set there. That was a really fun one to try. I'm telling you, all these skills are really, really fun. The ones that I didn't care for were the ones that I really... I already knew I was kind of not going to care for. And then there was a couple a couple surprise hits, too. I've got to focus. Shift of what business have you here? The big one's going to be the Fortalis. I just don't see how Fortalis is that. Like, it's kind of neat. But it doesn't last very long. That's the big thing. It lasts about six seconds. So you have to use it in the midst of combat. And they have to be a very aggressive enemy that's going to be attacking. Not super ideal. So. Alright, there's Magic Archer. That was a fun one. A lot of really good abilities. A lot of really good abilities, actually. And what's funny is the basic attack on this class is probably better than all of them. Really, it's insane. Because it doesn't use stamina and does probably equal damage. It's unbelievable. What's up, Turtle? How's it going, bro? On the Dragon's Dogma grind? You know it, dude. You know it. Yeah, my only wonder is that... Level 116 is how that life-taking arrow performed. I wonder if it's a bit weaker, lower level. But, not too big a deal. Where's my equipment at? I'm not wearing any rings? Okay. How does that make any sense? It doesn't make any sense. What happened to my rings I was wearing? Hmm. No idea. I had rings on, but... Anyway. Yeah, very, very cool. That's an exciting one. Uh, Magic Archer is definitely the best class. I think, as far as I know so far... From my knowledge, I, it is going to be a tough one to rank. I'll eventually try and rank it, but it's going to be a tough one. I think number one is Magic Archer... Because its damage is unrivaled. 
Yeah, you don't have a way to dodge, but its damage truly is unrivaled. Like, there's nothing better than this class in terms of damage. It's unbelievable. Number two, we have to give to Thief, because you literally cannot die. you just be invincible to damage. Three, I'm still going Sorcerer, because Meteoron completely destroys this game. Took him off to test the stagger of the life-taking. Oh, true, Ernie. True, 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 true. It was still being very good, too. So we've got Magic Archer, Thief, Sorcerer. After that, I'd probably say Warfarer, just because he can do anything. Which we haven't really recorded or tested anything on yet, but we will eventually, likely. Um, after that, I'd probably go... Archer. Because Archer is actually really insane if he uses his abilities correctly. After Archer, I'd probably go... Either Fighter or Warrior. I'm not sure. I, I love them both, but I don't know which one's better. I think Fighter's better at killing dragons. Warrior's better at killing a lot of other monsters. I'd honestly say Fighter's better than Warrior. In terms of survivability, like overall gameplay. Like you, you can block a lot of attacks. You've got good access to air damage. Warrior really, really sucks against Harpies. It's a, it's a big issue it has. I, Adam, these two are really close. I'll have, to de I'll have to be real careful when I decide between those. But I think Fighter's probably better than Warrior. Then Mystic Spear Hand. I know a lot of people love this one. I think it's just weak. And I, I don't think it's that weak. I just think in, if you compare it, it's not as strong as some of the other options. It is very good, though. And then after Mystic Spear Hand would go Trickster, because Trickster is more powerful than Mage. Uh, it is a powerful class if used correctly. It's just boring. And then Mage is last because... If you're ranking Mage in terms of pawns, it's the number one class. But no Arisen is using Mage. You're just not. It's not a. It's not an Arisen class. It's a pawned class. So It is very, very, very strong for its Master Skill. But you're just not going to play it for being, you know, actually being a mage. You're going to always choose Sorcerer for the extra damage stuff. Sorcerer has better damage abilities anyway, like Thundermine. Thundermine, Cesium are amazing. Agro Flare, fantastic. I think Warrior kills dragons faster using Heaverward Sunder. Can two hit the knockdown dragons for big hits. Especially considering Warrior has Dragon's Fight or Dragon's Flight for the extra damage. That is true. I was considering my time with it not using that ability. Warrior may be maybe better. I'll take a look at some footage before. Warrior is very good. I'll test it a little bit more, but the knockdown of Warrior might beat Fighter. It might beat out Fighter. They're very close for me though. They're both highly aggressive melee classes. And if used correctly, both of them are incredibly efficient in the way that they fight. I'd say Archer is the only one that moved up for me. I, a lot of these I thought would be in similar places. Archer is the only one that got way moved up. I thought Archer was one of the worst ones, actually. And now that I got to test it, it's, it's one of the best. It's really fun. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, that is... Magic Archer. We will do... Uh, Let's see. Today's Saturday, so Tuesday Remnant 2 comes out. I'm going to be playing Remnant 2 Tuesday and Thursday. I think what we're going to do, I'm going to make a channel announcement probably for those who don't see it, but what we'll probably do is I'm going to play Dragon's Dogma 2 every Saturday. Same time as today. And I'm going to record all the stuff I want to record for the game. Now, that may change eventually. I may do it more, but for as soon as Remnant 2 stuff coming out, I'm going to have to jump on that for the at least this next week and the week after. So, we'll stream that Tuesday, Thursday, and then we'll do Dragon's Dogma on Saturday. Record the rest of the stuff that we have. That'll give me time to catch up on the... I got Archer and then Magic Archer to work on, too. I actually have the Master Skills I can do as well. That one to talk about. What's up, Sebastian? So, yeah, sorry, bro. Wish Holy Damage is a little more available rather than Mage being the only one that has an ability. 
Yeah, holy damage in the first game was kind of the most used, and now it's not really in the game too much. There's a couple weapons that have it, but that's about it. I don't know. It's weird. All right, everybody. Thank you very much for watching. Appreciate the uh, support. Love talking to you guys. I'm going to go get something to eat and hop off. And I will uh, catch you on Tuesday playing some Remnant 2. And we'll work on that Dragon's Dogma 2 content. I'm excited. Also, I am I am currently playing the Outward 2 demo. I have that available to me. I was given it by the devs. So I'll be making a video on that. Although it will take me some time because i got to compile all of the information together. So, cool stuff. But yeah, thanks everybody. Have a good night, good day, whatever it is for you. I'm going to catch you next time. See you later, guys.